Ladies and gentlemen. Uh. Yeah, we build on topics, whether conscious or cosmic. It's never nonsense, mega levels are microscopic. It's a killer priest project, AD control the rocket. Before we land a plane, many things we engage and explain. The unexplained, without mass. Welcome to the Killer Priest Podcast. What up, everybody, man? Welcome to a, it's off the hook right now, man. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to another episode of Killer Priest Podcast. I'm your host, Killer Priest, and to my right, Man Kevin Kev- Roddick, great. Yes, yes. And, but should we, we, we give you? A, <laughs> should we get him? I gotta say, AD first, and then we gotta bring you in. And none other controlling the rocket. It's none other than AD A Dizzle. Yeah, what's going on? Welcome back. It's gonna be a wild show tonight. Watch yeah. out. So now we are gonna go to the right. Yeah, we go to the right. Yeah. Capra. And who, who's on the end? Yes, yes. Uh-huh. 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 Rasul Allah 7 from the Lost Children of Babylon. Oh, man. Do you, you come in peace? Saying? Yes, I do come in peace. I come in Is peace. Any, any, I, I do come in peace. Salam alaikum. Okay, okay, you okay, know what okay, mean? okay, all right. All right, so we're going to start this right, man. I want to say uh, shout out. Where's our moderator? Uh, we have Jody up in the building, South Worth Jody, and we have Twilight. It's a couple of shout out. Oh, Danny Salinas. Yo, yo, yeah, it's a five up. on yeah, it. Yeah, Welcome yeah, back, Rasul. Peace to the gods. Yeah, peace, peace. Um, okay. Peace to the gods. Peace to Danny. Yo, good looking, man. Um, Deadbeat Void. He says, peace, Macapara. Uh, oh, another five from um, Alan Castle. He says, all hell, Lord Pickle Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you a funny guy. We got somebody that's gonna come in and explain that, man. We have to explain that. We have to get to the bottom of this, um, um, Lord. I mean, this, uh, um, Pickle Man. Pickle Man. Oh yeah, you know we gonna is? have. You gonna no, have. I asked, I asked Chuck Morgan yeah. about that. I spoke to Chuck Morgan. Is gonna be on the show next Wednesday. Ad, we got a pencil that. Yeah. yeah, Chuck yeah. Morgan. It's about. It's about to. We about to go all the way in. We yeah. about to explain it. We about to go. We gonna break it down. It's about to yeah. go back. Uh. Oh no, the shout out to Jax Lane. Good looking brother. He says, Priest, don't the music in my life. Yeah, we got some music. Uh, <laughs> oh, yo, uh, they, um, Dimitri is asking you a question, Rasul. Yeah. Have you seen a. Oh, I didn't see. I, didn't, I, I seen a little bit of it. I didn't watch the whole thing. So they can s- hear what he's saying. He's saying, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Rasul, do you see the unk beat down to Hootie on Monday? <laughs> yeah, I, I seen a little bit of it. I seen a little bit of it. But here's the thing, you know what I'm saying? You got to understand that Unk is using some of the same scientific tactics and methods that I used against against uh, Tahuti. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. But why do you think that, that Tahuti was more successful with you than, than, than Unk? Well, I think that's a little bias, I think. <laughs> it's biased you opinion. Think, because you think, you, you I think, think that I, you won? I think, yeah, I think, I think, I think, well, I think, yeah, of course I think I won because, because I think the primary sources that I brought Mm -hmm. was, was, was pretty, was, was, was a, was a great argument in terms of just the engineering skills and certain things, certain secret engineering, engineering skills and tools that the ancients used. Right, right. There's other stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. All I mentioned on the show before that they, they do have private museums where they have actual uh, artifacts that they, they took out of Egypt that they do not show to the public. Right. Yeah. Like the drill. You, well, I, I think there's one, there's one museum you can go and look at that. But there's certain other things that they have that they just simply don't show to the public. Like the Egyptians... Like secret. Secret, secret, secret uh, artifacts. Yeah, like, right. for instance, the, the Shis Dis that I showed, mm, right? Yeah. They, that's in the Cairo Museum, mm. right? But there's other e- is evidence of um, Egyptians actually having uh, uh, c- 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 cylindrical lenses that they found buried in, buried in certain tombs or temples that they found in the desert right. that they simply just can't... They don't show it to the public. Right. And these are technological marvels right. as far right. as for Egypt is concerned. Facts. And maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe for Egyptologists or for, for that particular branch of science, right. I'm not an Egyptologist. There's no such thing as Egyptology. 
I'm a comedic, uh, you know what I mean, tologist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because they use... Right. Yeah. You said it right. He's getting that up. Yeah. Shout out to Kane. Because that's where the battle comes in at. Yeah. It's a battle against uh, Euro, the Euro ideology of Egypt mm -hmm. versus the African ideology of Egypt. Yeah. Right? Okay. You follow? Yeah. So there are certain scientists, French scientists, English scientists, and the likes, German scientists that actually have artifacts. They went in there in the 1800s and in the 1900s and they took things out and they just simply not showing it to people. Fact. Right. You know what I'm saying? It seems like you needed more time. Yeah, I needed more time. Explain that. I needed more time. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. Yeah, I needed more time. But they do got the cylindrical lenses. They have uh, other drilling uh, tools. Right. Uh, things that they just they just don't want to show uh, because, um, you know, it just disproves a lot of their so-called theories. So they got to they gotta constantly keep pushing Egyptology. Yeah, Egyptology. Right. So yeah. people can go to school to their universities and, and pay millions of dollars or thousands of dollars, mm -hmm. right, yeah. to, their, to their institutions. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To go to school to learn about nothing because they don't know nothing. Yeah. Well, we got we had Unc come through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got Unc on standby. It was off the hook last time, man. It was crazy. You know yeah. Everybody going to yeah. reach out yeah, to him. That. Shout out to Kane I've Beastie. Kane, uh, he says, my hip-hop dream is Nas, J Electronica, Killer Priest, Conway, and Black Thought Collabo. Ooh, that'd be fire. That'd be, that'd be hot. Fire. I wonder how that how, went. How would, how would that sound? J yeah. Electronica. Yeah. I don't know, man. Is that, that's a hardcore... Line up of guys, and I'm always going to give it to the Mel Chesedick of hip hop. So, <laughs> you know, first. <laughs> who would go first on that? No, nah, yeah. no, nah, you priest, you can't go first. Yeah. Oh man, you had to that's go in the a, middle or in the end. Yeah, no doubt. That's a that's a lineup, though. Yeah, that's a lineup. Yeah, you know? lineup. Shout out to Kane Beastie, man. Maybe we can make that happen in a, another lifetime. <laughs> Maybe it can happen now. Yeah, it can happen now. I was thinking Conway should go first. Yeah, Conway definitely. Yeah, because uh, with seniority. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, that can happen. Shout out to our uh, coach Kandaka in the building. I see you. Peace, peace, Danny Devine. Thank you for always showing love, uh, Jody. All right, so we are gonna get into this thing, man. Coach got me. <laughs> like, oh, okay, that's from Optimus. Oh, okay, Mega Eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we was building. So right now, I got this book that just came. Mm. Word. Shout out to Dr. Josh. I remember a while the Dr. Josh came hmm. and uh, hit me with this book. He said he was going to send me this book, and he came on to the podcast. The name of the book, the first book I got is called, is by Dr. Josh Bowen. Hmm. You probably can get it on uh, eBay or well, Amazon, my bad. Yeah. Amazon, you can get it from Amazon. Hmm. And uh, I think that directly goes to it. It's called The Atheist Book Handbook to the Old Testament, Volume 1, by Josh Bowen. The Atheist Handbook yeah, to the Old Testament. That's kind of an interesting name. Try yeah. to put that in perspective. Hmm. Yeah, Digital the Hammurabi. I had a song called Ghost Hammurabi. Mm -hmm. Ghost. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, shout out to Kane Beast. He said Conway would set the uh, tone, make it happen. I think so, yeah. He definitely would. Hmm. He did. Hmm. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah, he's definitely dope. Word. Um... But we have to make that happen. We got the horsemen right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that and I respect all dope. those MCs he set up there. That video is dope. Which the one? Port, the one that yeah, walks it now. The, that shit is that shit is dope, yo. Yeah, you come out the portal. I was yeah. watching that last night. Yo, you know what? That shit is dope, yo. Johnny Arcade, yo. Yeah, yeah. That's who did the video. Yo, that shit is crazy. Johnny bro. Arcade, man. Yeah, yo. The that cat we dope. like, the Danny Selena yeah. has put yeah, us on. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't, Donnie Arcade is dope. Yeah, he's Shout on the point, man. Big up, big up to Donnie Arcade, yo. Uh, somebody said, uh, oh, GCT24 said, Wise Intelligence, Killer Priest, and Jizza. Now we talking. Wise Intelligence. Shout out, man. Yeah, yeah that'd be crazy, too. Wise mm -hmm. Intelligence, incredible. Yeah, yeah he's real incredible. Yeah. He's really yeah, he incredible. brings he brings substance to the mind. He's on point. You ever meet yeah. Wise? No. Yeah. yeah he's a man. militant guy. Yeah. Real militant. Like like cannabis, a little bit more. Yeah. Sounds so good. He, he's, oh, yeah. Yo, he's a little bit more militant. Oh, he's more militant than cannabis. Yeah, okay. just on a, just like, you know, just on he's you know he's Israelite. Well, at the time yeah. he was. I don't know what he is now. Mm. And he's living in Philly. Okay. And I used to hang out, not hang out with him. I see him all the time. Just talk to him. He was just always like, you know what I mean? Just on his thing. Like, mm. <laughs> yeah. And, As he should be. You yeah. Know. So yeah, why yeah, yeah. you I respect yeah, yeah. it. I, I respect That's what that. Kevin said, yeah. yeah, what Kevin said, you should you yeah. gotta stay militant. Gotta yeah. stay militant, bro. These days and time, there's no such thing as being out of order. 
Indeed. And that's where we that's where we at, yo. How we put how we gonna put things in order, man. Uh Conway uh Conway was smoke Jim Jones. Somebody said that. Uh Adam Stacks. Yeah, I like I love the rap talk. Uh Poor Righteous Teachers. Indeed. Indeed, that's where you're from. Y'all check him out. Uh Kane Beachy said Jizz is the greatest lyricist of all time. Dark matter. And we waiting on that dark that dark matter, man. Word. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to to the genius. Jizz a genius. Jizz a word. Uh Universal Allah said Rakim Wise Intelligence Born Allah from West Coast. I haven't heard Born Allah. Born I don't know who that is. Yeah, from the West Coast. First two you said was dope, but who would do the beat? Shout out to Kind Hearts also. I saw fourth uh fourth disciple name up in there. Um from Aurora Borales. That's right, yes, I boy. Yeah, shout out to um everybody who's been supporting, man. Everything is going up, man. I and today, Garfield was supposed to be on. Oh yeah, but he didn't. Yeah. He didn't come on. Garf Garfield, man. I, I, I ain't it. gonna lie, man. Through the through the last couple of years, listening to the uh, what's that? The Amon Ra Squad. Mm -hmm. What are they call now? The Dang Dagger Squad. squad? I don't know. Uh, hold on. Anyway, but I had a chance. Now, to, the Dagger Squad and the Amon Ra Squad are two. I different knew it was two different squads. Mm -hmm. But I knew that. I, I used to listen to all them guys from when they was with um. The Amon Ross squad. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie to you, man. Yeah, man. They, they listening to them guys convinced me a lot of stuff about just you, just pseudoscience. Yeah. And just go, how, learning how to go, learning how to drift out of that world of just pseudoscience and just being a part. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was a New Wapian. Yeah. Before that, I was a, uh, I was a Sufi. Yeah. I was a Sufi, pure Sufi. But you know what the and, and, you know the thing that people miss though in the in the conscious community is that when we become conscious, mm -hmm. it's like okay we conscious right and then it's like okay well we know it was a kingdom that was built right right so once you become conscious to me is you have to figure out mm -hmm. what is going to be your position in the kingdom yeah yeah you know what I'm saying yeah and when you understand your position in the kingdom then you play your position in yeah. the kingdom. And that's what we, a lot of time, like, you know, certain people be like, okay, well, I'm going to be a, a merchant in the kingdom, or I'm right. going to be a, uh, I'm going to practice Reiki in the kingdom. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? Some queens be like, I'm going to be a, 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 a you know, a, a practitioner of herbs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, alchemist. You know what I'm saying? And But some people, when they get into the kingdom, they don't figure out what they're good at. So when they don't figure out what they're good at, they become just asteroids. Right, right. Literally right. just floating around in space. And it's like, those are the ones that you have to watch for because they're still not grounded yet. They still haven't found their superpower. Yeah. And I think that's, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that's that, important. That's what happens because when I, when I, when I, when I became a New Wapian, mm -hmm. I, was too, I was too caught up on like wanting to learn the mysteries of Egypt, right? Yeah. I had all kinds of different books. Yeah. And I thought that when and I was a lot of I was really into like conspiracies, like I was into this conspiracy theory movement, listening to Art Bell, Coast to Coast Radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used and, to listen uh, to that too. That's right, crazy. Right. Yeah. And Bill William Cooper's book, The Behold the, the Pale, Pale Horse, Horse at that yeah. time, yeah. at our age. Yeah. That was like the Bible for conspiracy theories. Yeah, because it was like, you know what okay, I mean? Okay, you this is what you see, but right. let me show you what's behind the curtain. Right, right. So yeah. so I kind of got caught up in that. So mm -hmm. what happened was when 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 I when I came up amongst Doc, Dr. Malakazi York's teachings or Iman Issa's teachings, right? Uh -huh. I looked at it like, uh, you know, going thinking about all the other leaders. I'm like, yo, he's a little bit more on point mm -hmm. because I already had I already had, had known mm -hmm. that information before I read Doc's books. Yeah, you follow what I'm saying? So it was yeah. easy for me to agree with him. Him yeah. being a Muslim himself, like I wouldn't have never followed Dr. York if he wasn't a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Because that, because you gotta look at it like this. If I agree with William Cooper, uh -huh. right? Mm. I'm, I, did I go and run and follow him? No. Mm. But Dr. York, he was he was a Muslim. He could speak Arabic. He knew the Quran. He he, you know what I'm saying? He knew. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Sunnah of uh, Rasulullah Muhammad. So it was easy for me to like, yo, what's going on? This guy's like me. Not yeah. saying I'm like Dr. York, but he's the same. Yeah. He, yeah. It was evil. It was it was easy for him to draw an individual like me in. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. What, young? Young and being a Muslim. Yeah. Young and knowing Muslim. the language 
or how to talk to me. Yeah. So you could use the Quran to talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. So you. So he know my. He knows like oh, and if you know comedic information and knowledge about things of that nature in history, you're like okay, yeah, well he's right about that. Yeah. 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 But then there's other stuff he'll put in there. It's like oh, I never knew that. So yeah. you want to get you, you're very inquisitive about well, what do you mean about that. So you you start buying the books. Yeah. It's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. That's that's what happened. Like I kind of got caught. You can't get caught up in that. You got to fulfill your own destiny. Like, no, you know it's mean? very important. Yeah. And, and um, I want you to tell the people. You know what I'm saying? Because what you're doing right now is you revealing something. Because Doctor York, would you agree? Yeah. He he abused his he abused his power. He abuses it for those who let him abuse to let him abuse him. You know what well, I mean? Yeah. And here's it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well, uh, no, no, no. Well, he abused he, the power. He, yeah. Yes, yes, he did abuse the yeah. power. Yeah, yeah, he, de he definitely did. Yeah. But for those who didn't let him abuse, like this was there to, this, this, just to learn the information, <laughs> right? I got a former like, one. Like for, for 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 instance, like he would always say, like back in the nineties, he would be like, "Yo, you got to move down the the Edington, <laughs> Georgia, right? Right to." to, to if you want to get on the, on the ship and get out of get get out of here and all that, you gotta go, come down here. So we was all like, "Damn, yo, we gotta go down there." Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we gotta go down there and we gotta move on to land, or we going we ain't gonna get on the ship, Nibiru, right? Mm, Nibiru. But really, that was just a tactic to just get the cats to move down there yeah. to support the movement. Mm. But people literally think, literally thought that Nibiru was coming. Wow. They thought the spaceship was coming. Man, I would all, I was all I was one of those guys <laughs> that never thought the spaceship was really coming. Right. Just to keep it all so the way. So he was an unbeliever. What you made you? Well, you well, at? well, well. Yeah. I, I was a skeptical. Right, skeptical. I was yeah, skeptical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, because like I was Dalton like, yo, Thomas. I'm not gonna leave my grandma. I right. live with my grandma at that time. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. I'm gonna just get up and leave grandmoms and get to go down there yeah. and be on York's land. Building, building all, you know, building. The, yeah. the, <laughs> no, for real. You know, you gotta think to like that. But I'm gonna tell you something. He built some beautiful. He monuments, did. He yo. did. He did. He yeah. did. You know what I'm he he did. built some beautiful he monuments. Did. He did. But to me, the thing that always gotta be built first is the army. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. Word is bond. No, well, still, that's word is bond. That's straight off top. The that gotta be built first. Military. Bro. Like if you're yeah. not connected to no soldiers, then you always susceptible. Or if you're not a soldier yourself, you always susceptible. Yeah. But so you know what it was? So you got the militant. We, got the, that, that's, that's I'm not going to lie. Bro. I was so one of those brothers. Lie. Listen to me. Listen, I was one of those brothers, right? Mm. I really felt like I was, I, was, uh, I, I was a part of something. You mm. know what I'm saying? I, I felt like I was, you know, I really felt like this is the movement that's going to change us as a people, as a whole, as, as uh, at black people, Africans here in, uh, in America. Yeah. I really thought that. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I thought that, you know... I thought we were gonna beat out the Moors. Mm. I thought we were gonna beat out the Nation of Islam, right? I, I feel, really felt like that, and we all. I thought that Doc had the had the had the greatest idea to bring us all together. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it, and it, and it he, he it had everything. Dope. Yeah, it was. He dope. had the we had the language. Mm. We had our own books. We mm. had our own land. Mm. We built pyramids on the land. The now I hate to say it, the illusion or the allure was there. Yeah, y'all accomplished saying? a lot, bro. We, they, like, that's they, not yeah. even a, a if or maybe. Not to say that I built anything on the land. No, I mm -hmm. didn't. But you know what I'm saying? I that, that was that, that, that was yeah. that was my family at one time. Well, my tribe still I still consider them consider it yeah. because I was a part of it for a certain yeah you know, long mm -hmm. period of time. Mm -hmm. But again, yeah, I kind of saw it. I looked at it like we was. You know, I was one of those individuals. I'm pretty sure, Unk, because you know, Unk was a new Wapian too. You know that, right? Mm. We got Uncle then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. You didn't know that he ain't well, say that. Up. Yeah, we got Uncle on standby, right? Yeah, Uncle was a new Wapian. For what? Yeah. Uh, so was Tahuti. Uh, Tahuti yeah. was a new Wapian it's, it's too. Pretty, That's cool. why Tahuti can. <laughs> oh, excuse me. He could debate so well. Oh, Tahuti. All right, so Tahuti and Uncle were both Dr. Yes. The Dr. Yorkers. The, yes. Mm. I think that Tahuti. Was a guy like Chuck Morgan that was Chuck actually, Morgan. There's a whole bunch that, of like, like, yeah, we all we all come from the school, all of us. Mm. 
It's so what real. about Wesley yeah. Snipes too? Was Wesley Snipes? Wesley Snipes yeah, did, yeah, yeah. did Wesley Snipes. Mm. He made y'all uh, watch a movie, right? With not knowing. No, no, no. No, I heard not. stuff that he, he had a green room or something like that. No, you talking about Doc? Yeah. Doc. Oh yeah. The green I can't speak on the green room. I wasn't in that era. Yeah. I come from the Nuwapian era. That yeah, was, he used to play a movie. That's the Ansar era. Yeah. He used mm. to you got like, the, the Chuck Morgan. Yeah. You know, like I want to ask Morgan. him about that. Chuck Chuck Morgan, yeah, the, the green room is real. And he wow. used to play a movie, but nothing was on there on the screen but colors. Yeah. And it was just, <laughs> you ever saw, <laughs> you ever saw, no, for real, it was just colors. And then Kevin he, he just probably hearing some of this stuff because we from the East Coast. I'm from yeah. Philly, he from, he from Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Doc, Doc had communities <laughs> in Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And real, we, had, yeah. we had communities yeah. in Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. See, so, I never, I've never read a Malachi York book. No? Nah. nah. I, my, I got my, um, yeah, yeah, you my read. knowledge <laughs> in a whole different way. You know? Right, 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 right. You yeah. read one of his books, and then oh, you're like, man. Well, man, your eyes will stay right in the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. <laughs> you can't come out. But Chuck is going to, um, yeah, he's going to break some of that stuff that. down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. uh, he's going to break some of that stuff down when yeah, he comes. That's but, wild, though, yo. That's wild. Like, I've, I've never read. My whole school of thought didn't come from the Wapian. Um, my school of thought just came from really just watching nature and looking at the glyphs. Observing mm -hmm. nature. Yeah. You that's know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, yeah. you learned the real way. Yeah, I, I just watch the glyphs and watch nature. So that's like, when I look, when I step outside, I look at the sun, I look at the moon. Mm -hmm. To me, that's like living beings. Right, yeah. right. Somebody that's looking at them, their eyes might not be centered the same way, but I know that that's the universe looking at me. Mm -hmm. Because when I look at, you know what I'm saying, the eye of raw, the left eye of raw, the right, uh, the right eye of raw, Mm -hmm. Behind him, it was eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let me know that that was a face. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's That's the hard. face. That's and the, Say that and again. It's Say the, that again. The, the left eye and the right eye are raw. The reason why they had eyebrows mm -hmm. behind them was because that was an image of a face. Right. So it's like when I look up at the universe, when I see the sun and the moon, I know that I'm looking at a face. Mm -hmm. Right. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so hard. I, that's yeah, hard. That's hard. Like you know what I'm that. saying? That's how I look at the universe. Everything around us is living. Exactly. Like and you're talking about with, with the trees and the, how they giving us fruit and stuff yeah. like that to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you said, it's a gift from nature. Yeah. It's yeah. a communication. Yeah. But yeah. now we pay for everything. So we in that realm of set where, you know, if you want any kind of luxury, luxury, anything like that, you got to pay for it. And Yeah. Because we're under the rule of yeah. some negative forces, that stuff that is free and that nature is communicating with us, trying to communicate with us every day. Like you said, uh, yeah. and once you notice it, yeah. it's like an idea that was there. Let me clear this up. It wasn't a green room. Mm. It was called the purple room. Purple. Who said that? The Hakeem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, it was called the green room, yo. That's what they called the, I think it was called the purple. No, it was green, yo. The green Whatever room. color. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was green, yeah. yeah. Hit up so, S S. Text text Chuck Morgan right now. Uh, he'll you, get he'll give it to you. Okay, keep keep it going then. Yeah. I'm 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 gonna get. Do we have a? But yeah. Uh, what's up? But okay, here's the okay. thing. I want to you know clear up some things. Mm -hmm. Like somebody said, uh, I'm not from pure Sufi. I said I'm a, I'm a. I'm just using that as a pure like you know I just use that as a, use that yeah. word as an expression. Yeah. I'm from a, a real Sufi Tariqa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, and my Tariqa, the first Tariqa or the Bayat that I took. I spoke about this Angozi, to Angozi, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I took my bayat with the Sufi Tariqa in Philadelphia called uh, the Bal Mahayadeen Fellowship. Mm -hmm. Sheikh Muhammad Rahim Bal Mahayadeen uh, mm -hmm. was of Sri Lanka, and he was taken from Sri Lanka. He was found, and they say they found him in. The, it sounds crazy, just just like Muhammad's story. Mm -hmm. But they found him in the, the, the uh, uh, jungles of Sri Lanka. And uh, some people found him, and they talked to him. And they liked the way. They, and they, they, anyway, he found his way to Philadelphia, and he, he established a Sufi school there. Yeah. And the Sufism is the mystical uh, school of Islam. Me being born and raised a Muslim, mm -hmm. uh, I was able to be taken to that Tariqa, and they, I, be, I, was, I, I, I was made a Sufi there. Mm, what's that? And from there, that's that? when I started my uh, spiritual journey mm, into okay. the Kemetic schools into the pan-Africanism and the likes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, like I said, following uh, Dr. York uh, uh, was cool and all that because he was a, he, his foundation 
comes from the Sufi expression from the Kalwatiya order mm -hmm. uh, and in, in the, all the various Sufi orders from the Sudan. Su Sudan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which, who I, who I identify with. Mm -hmm. The Nubians. You know what I'm saying? The yeah, I got a good question yeah. for you. What was, and we're going to do this right, right now, what was Dr. York's first book? That's a good question. Uh, wow. That's a good question, Priest. Mm. Uh, there's somebody that can answer that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, Chuck could probably answer it. What about, but he uh, put out... Um, go ahead, I'm sorry. What about, what's the name you think you get? Uh, Brother Ankh? Could I answer you? I don't Might know not. if he can answer that. Maybe if he's if he's listening, I don't know. Um, but I think it was... Uh, see, he, what hap see, that's a good question. See, what happens is, is this. There were some books published before, right? Shout out to Hakeem. Called, called um, Bibles and Interpretations, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that was written by a guy by the name of Afro Ono, right? Have you ever heard of him? Mm -mm. Have you ever heard of him, Priest? Yeah, you bring him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Afro Ono? Uh-huh. Afro Ono wrote the books, uh, uh, Bible Interpretations, uh, read, read, wrote another book called Behind the Nine Ball. Yes. yes right? And... Uh, the, uh, another book called uh, Na The Nature of Nature, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Dr. York put his name on there and said he wrote those books. Come to find out from various other people that did their own research, I ain't going to say their names on the platform, that that come out to this be false. This is the path form. No the platform. path form. <laughs> yeah, I like that. The path, the path form. The path form. Yeah. And I don't really want to say their names because then it's like, oh, they're going to be trying to get, no, nah, that ain't going to work. But anyway, mm -hmm. those books wasn't written by Doc, right? Mm. Because he said it in his own, he said it in a lot of his older publications that he wrote the book, the books, uh, Behind the Nine Ball, Bibles and Interpretations, and I think it's another book, maybe um, The Nature of Nature. Come to find out this book was written, written by a guy by the name of Afro Ono, hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And his real name is Eugene Brown, right? Mm -hmm. And he, he, in these particular, in these books, he, it talks about the various... Things like nine ether, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Using using the interpretations of right knowledge, right? And various other teachings that Dr. York put in his books. In my in my opinion, I'll say this on, on, on the show, mm -hmm. that Dr. York utilized that information better than anybody. Mm -hmm. Because he was it was it was the way he, he used the scriptures and mm -hmm. how he used uh Egypt Kemet, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. how he Used the various other forms of uh, the Quran, the Quran, uh -huh. uh, the Torah, and uh, uh, Hinduism, and various different things that kind of compiled it in. Now it is pseudoism. Hmm. It is it is pseudo. But the whole thing, I think, what he was trying to do was destroy religion. Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's my. That's what I got from. That's what I got from studying hmm. all of his books, including the Wapo. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For my, if I gave you, a, if I gave everybody a scientific analysis of Dr. York's work, mm -hmm. is this, 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 is to destroy the monotheistic religion. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, do you, so, uh, so uh, if, if that's what you want. If that, as well, far as if you want to deal with York, mm -hmm. you know what I'm well, saying? A lot of people try to, you know, to boost mm -hmm. their own religion. There are a lot of people try right. to knock they down use, other religions. Knock, knock yeah. down other religions. So but was, but we you know you gotta think, you know, like, if you're a Muslim Christian or uh, oh, uh, Hebrew or so-called mm -hmm. Jew, mm -hmm. you know, I say oh, so-called. I got somebody because, calling in, hold on, because this uh represents what he what he had to say. What up, brother? Tell the people who you are. You on live. Peace, everybody. This is uh Brother Malik, aka mm -hmm. the Cuban Crisis. Uh-huh. Um uh, yeah, yeah. Brother. What's up with you, brother? It's Rasul. It's Rasul, man. Rasul, what's going on, man? Yeah, I yeah, know we're going to do, we do the tea ceremony in a minute. Hold on, just because it's about to be on. We yeah, got to turn I'm on. saying, you know, you ain't, see, you ain't see me? You ain't see me on the show? Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. What was the good? What was the good? Mm, go ahead, brother. I'm the, I'm, Why you I'm ain't say, yo, you should have said peace, Sue? I ain't see you say you just wanted to go all the way in. I know this brother. <laughs> no, it's so good, but let him, no, let him, go, let him go. Let him go. Let him speak. Let no, him go. Like the people, those who don't know who I am, I'm the brother who had went in on it, went in on it, uh, Prince York on 125. Oh, yeah, yeah, I seen that. The Cuban brother. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We oh, wait a minute. Prince York is Dr. York's son. Just letting the people know. Mm. So, yeah. this is Malik who said he went in on Dr. York's son. Mm. And yeah. what was the turnout, brother, according to you? He walked away. There was nothing for him to say. We got that song, Just Walk Away From Love. He, was, he, yeah, he, wasn't, away. he wasn't very happy because <laughs> they came they came to, uh, when Amaraz Squad was supposed to debate Seti and Young Pharaoh, it was called um, Papa Meta Netzer. They didn't show up, so Amaraz Squad showed up and the Duapians showed up. There was a video where I had um, addressed the Duapians there. They, weren't, they, they don't like them. Uh-huh. Who, who you saying I'm don't a, like him? You talking about Sarnetta? Yeah, I seen that. Sarnetta and, 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 you know, yeah. the Israelites and all. Yeah, well, they shouldn't have been there in the first place. Nah, they just wanted publicity. Yeah, when man, they can't, they can't, they can't, they're, yeah, I was kind of wondering why, 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 the, why they were there. See, the problem is, let me get in. Rasu, let him, okay, let him ahead, talk. Let him finish ahead, his thing. Ahead, he ain't ahead, even ahead, say ahead. what he got, can't, can't call to say. Right, say, sorry, say right. what you got to say, bro. <laughs> I was going to say that, you know, just for the record, I was never um, a Yorkian. My brother was an Ansar. You called me Yorkian. So York, that, that's what they use, the Yorkian. Like the, I was, they I called was, us Yorkies. My brother, my brother was an Ansar, so that's how I got acquainted with it. And then I was in Zulu Nation for most of my life. So I to deal with Zulu Nation. Oh, you got they a lot to deal with. They abide to regurgitate the teachings of York. So, what you say? What happened? You know, and then, <laughs> so dealing in Zulu Nation, they about to regurgitate your information. He wants to be Oh, yeah. Your- who, who, who wants to be what? Hold off on him. You're going to let you get him, Russell. Hold on. Right, right, right. Right. Everything's in patience and time. Yeah, we yeah, don't no, let you no, get him. No, no, no. I see you jumping out the cage. You ready to You ready to put it on him? Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Man, ben, Biner, ben Biner wants to be your... So, oh, yeah. I um, thought he bit mostly off of, I thought Zulu Nation was copying the 5% Nation. No, 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 no. Okay. That's the way I, that's Bam, the way I said it. Bam took, Bam took Shahada as an insult mm. in the 80s. So what they did was they took bits and pieces of information. For example, okay. in the Universal Zulu Nation, it talks about says, Universal. Universal Zulu Nation. It says, what does Universal Zulu Nation stand for? Knowledge, wisdom, uh, that would be the five percent. That would be the five yeah, percent nation. Got, All right, go yeah, ahead. I'll let they, you build, brother. They, go ahead. Mm-hmm. So they, so they took, they took bits and pieces, but overall, mm-hmm. if you listen, like in the late nineties, with Bam Bada, when it was the United Nwaki Nation or more, Bam then created a Zulu Constitution book. He then made a brown book, a yellow book, a green book, a red book, those same books that York had. He then changed his name to the Amin Ra of Hip Hop. Ra spelled the same way that Wapis would spell Ra. Um, he wanted to have his own land. He wanted, he, he, he wanted to have sovereignty. And in 95, something I discovered in 2016, I had no clue of this, but in 95, Bam Bada registered the Zulu Nation as a is a religious sovereign organization. So overall, he just he he emulates York whenever he talks. All he's talking about is basically York things, you know, reptilians, extraterrestrials, <laughs> UFOs, <laughs> UFOs, stuff like hey, that. Hey yo, you know yo, 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 you know that they talking about UFOs though, right now. You know that, right? This is all over the news. <laughs> Okay, I, you can't, y'all can't, it, it, oh, 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 oh. It, it, you can't, y'all can't say that UFOs ain't real no more. I ain't trying to say, you just, don't just throw no, no, UFO no, no. in there no more, yo. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, this is my personal Because now, because now UFOs, not to say that the, the uh, not to say that the white man is making UFOs real. I'm not mm-hmm. saying that. What I'm saying is now the subject is being talked about. Uh-huh. It. We've been talking about that. I told y'all about Bob Lazar. I told y'all. My, now listen, listen, personal, you, you know, personal, don't just throw personal. UFOs under the boat. You can't do that no more. <laughs> my personal my personal position is there. I don't find it hard to accept that there's something out there. All right. But, but, does it look like a pickle man 
with some tiny whities on your chili belt. Does it look like cream? Does it look like this? I know. I don't know. It's messed up. I'm not going to draw pictures of it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It could be a plant. It could be... Yo, so hold on, though. Uh, when, you seen the, when you seen those books with the depictions of it in the books, in, 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 in the master teacher's books, uh, right? Because you know, it is what it is, right? What did you think when you saw those, 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 the pictures of Africans depicted as divine beings? What did you, what did, yeah, what did, when you read the books, everybody had doc books back in the 80s and in the 90s. What did you think about that? We got our teacups. No. I thought, I, I want to know where he was smoking. Even, even back then, you had some bull, that's bull. I you know never, you like, you know you like the black picture when, of even, Jesus. You know you like the black picture even, of Jesus. You was reading those books with him, man. Come on, man. I like, I like <laughs> I know the you, black Cuban. Jesus picture. I like the black I know you, Jesus picture. Bro, bro. I know you. I know you. You was with us no. on the streets of Philly, y'all. I like it. I you, like you was with us on the streets of Philly quarrel. propagating the books, brother. <laughs> Come on, man. I met Rasul. I used to go, my my brother who we met, who used to be Ansar. Yeah. I used to go to the classes on Wednesdays. Yeah. Because I, I wanted to hear firsthand, not secondhand, not thirdhand. I wanted firsthand what it was they taught. So I went there just to learn what they taught. But I never believed um, in anything that they were about. Okay. You know. You but, had the um, books, though. You had the books, as time, as time As time went on... And as so I like, learned, so more. brother, you went down, you went down there, like, like you just, you was just, you just there, but you didn't, you didn't believe in none of this stuff. But you, you just, just wanted to, to be part of the in crowd. Yeah, yeah, because on, no, 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 it wasn't because I wanted to be on in crowd. Russell, stop. stop. <laughs> I just, no, that's. I mean, we just asked. That's the God. I, I just asked that. The Sundays, God. The God asked that. Sun, yeah. on, on, sun, on Sundays, we had a regiment. Well, on Sundays, we a regiment. No, no, we didn't have no rep. You we. I don't know, yo, I'm yo, listen. About, I'm, not, Russell, I'm not talking about you with New Orleans. I'm talking oh, about oh, me and my brother. Oh, oh, yeah, I know. We, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. we would go to Nation of Islam on a Sunday, and then we would go to the New Orleans class. And then after we were done that, since we were in Philly, we would go to different bookstores. So that's just something we would do on a Sunday. You just upside down. I know. So that's, that, was just, that was just something we personally did. Mm. But um, yeah. I just wanted to, there was something I did want to address. Oh, now, as far as as far as and in? you know, if you guys don't, if you guys don't believe me, can't wait till Chuck comes on. The my, the quote unquote oh, monuments yeah, like on the, the land, like those pyramids that were built on the land. Yeah, York paid York paid oh, twenty sh- the twenty century on uh, twenty century one twenty twenty century one the the people who do real estate. Mm-hmm. Oh, twenty first century. Paid, Yes, he went and he paid them in Atlanta because they have the sim- the sign outside their corporate building. Mm. He paid them to build that black pyramid. Wow. Those 20, other pyramids wow. were built by people on the land. Mind mm. you, the people oh, that built them on the land. They, this is a bomb right here. They never, they never, they never got paid. The people who lived <laughs> on the land who built the other structures never got paid. When Wajahu lived on the land, if it wasn't for Wajahu mm-hmm. and two other people, York wasn't thinking agriculture. Wajahu wanted a piece of, can we get some of this land so we could grow some collard greens or something? Wow. So York permitted him, was like, okay, you can grow some of this food. So he wasn't even thinking on the lines of agriculture. Not even. Okay. Wow. Wow, so that's what was crazy. he? What would you say? What was his main motive then? No, no, no. <laughs> then, what, then Wajalu said, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what was nah, his main he motive? Said, the Wajalu said he ain't say all that. He just said they should start. They just, they just start. They was to start. They was planting stuff from the beginning when they Wajalu, moved down there. Wajalu, Wajalu told me that personally. If you want, you could call, call, get contact with yeah. him. I'm sure I'll get his number. You got his number. And Oh, you no, get his number, yeah. Oh, all right. No. Um, but my position that I take on York is this. That York is a white supremacist with a black face. 
That's Why that's that, that, that that's not a, that's too much, yo. Oh, you got to throw, drop a bomb to that too. That's crazy. Let's go. Two See, bombs. See, you two said bombs. that before. You can't say he's a yeah. white supremacist with a with a black with a black face. You Listen, get, what, I don't agree. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, okay, you know, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let him finish. Hold on, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna look. Let him finish what he's saying. Right. Let him let him throw out his hammer. Let me grab my hammer, man. Cause he's about to get on in here. Yeah, you gotta get the Thor hammer out. out. Here we go. <laughs> Let this man finish. You go, and then we will get this shit yeah, on and popping yeah, because yeah. he's making some crazy statements right yeah, here. Come yeah. on, come on, come on, bro. Let's White go. supremacists in right. you know, a black face. <laughs> no, that's a, I never heard nobody say nothing like that. Yo. If, yeah, if, if, if you can allow, I mean, can I, allow me to talk. Let, let right, him talk. Let him okay. talk. Let him talk. Good. You gotta get this out, bro. Okay. All I'm asking is let me talk with no interruptions. That's all, all I'm asking. Good. Got gotcha. you. In 2017, there was going to take place a debate with three or four New Albions versus me, Chuck Morgan, Majahu, Michael Bossier, uh, Brother Tarnoon, and a bunch of other people, and it was going to be on a platform called... Six oh, yeah, Tarakoon. Tarakoon, I remember him. Tarakoon. The New Albions... Tarakoon, the cartoon. The New Albions... The, yeah. the New Albions backed out the debate. Mm. They backed out, Okay. That was my, because they wanted, they called the debate. Not only did they call the debate, but they called what the topics would be, right? Mm -hmm. So the position that I took, because of my personal ideology, is I'm into nationalism. I support black and brown power. That is my political thinking. I call him a white supremacist because... When you look at the schools of thought that he taught, he lied on every school of thought for the purposes of economics, for the purposes of exploitation. When he was an answer, he did not teach correct Islam. He did not accept the Hadiths. What's the proof in the pudding? He wrote a book called Sex Life of a Muslim. In that book, he, did, he, did he write said that, that anal sex, Ooh. he said anal sex is halal. Hey, the Quran says why, why, you putting that, is why are you putting out, why you putting out, yo, <laughs> why don't you let them read the book? You ain't got to say all that. Every time when y'all talk about York, man, y'all got to go all the way oh. deep into the sex stuff, man. Just, There's just, a lot of stuff going on. Like, yeah, it's like, yo, you ain't got to say that, brother, but you, you try to like, you let know. Let him finish, let him finish. That's crazy. Say what he got to say, he making some bold statements yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. You shocking, uh, you shocking, uh, uh, Rasul's about to Because yeah, I never read, read that book. Uh, you never read no, that. I never that read that. What is called? What's the name of the book? I'm right? a Muslim. I would never read a book it's, like that. It's called. It's called. Hey. Rasul, let me talk, bro. Uh, <laughs> it's it's called, just, next time you just saying. You just sound crazy. All right, go ahead. It's called what? Okay. <laughs> Ain't no sex, sex with a Muslim. Life. No. <laughs> no, no. It's called, it's called sex life of a Muslim. Sex life of a Muslim. Six okay. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. did it right. Now he he York made something. He made something halal which is haram in the religion, right? Right. Now, to get into the sex life of Prophet Muhammad, you have to read the hadiths. And he rejected the hadiths. More proof he rejected the hadiths. Bushwick Avenue, as y'all mentioned earlier, the man had to sell a quarter of oils and incense of $100. If he did not, he could get, that, he could get jumped. No, he said... He oh, may not... He, he, he I got me to explain this to Priest though. Because oh, Priest don't know. He's not an answer. Yeah, but. Alright. Alright. Right. I'm sorry. Let him talk. Let him talk, Russell. As soon as he get it out, then you can go. We're going to let you out the cage. You can yeah. <laughs> go ahead. My brother, my brother, who was an answer, he's a Muslim. He said, I'm not going to accept the Hadiths. Because he did not make his quota of oils and incense because he was sick. That was one of the things that would happen to you. All right? Another thing is if you were married, you couldn't have sex with your wife. When you what? had sex with your you wife, you walked, you would walk <laughs> I up. I don't know about that one. But go ahead. Russ, you would walk up Bushwick Avenue to a place called the Green Room. And when you go there, you were given a limited amount of time. The men would sleep in one building 
and the women and the children were sleeping in another building. That right that there goes like against the religion. <laughs> that right there goes against the religion. The point I'm making that is that in all these religions he taught, he was always the main focal point. He was the imam, he was rabbi, he was reverend, he was an Indian, he was, he's raised up in York, he's the super duper Freemason, the Shriner, this reincarnated pharaoh, he's from the, 18th, the, the, he's from the 18th galaxy, the ninth planet, or wherever he's from, he's from the Sudan, he's from Ghana, he's from Boston, he's from here, he's from there, he's from here, and throw, and throw the whole, whole planet, right? Everything circles around him. The women had to be put on welfare. They were called holy whores. That's what they were. That's what they were. Called. And that's what they were called in the, yo, in the community. Yo. Yo. Shy. Shy. Go in, bro. Let him go in. Let him go in. Let him go in, Russell. Come on. Yo, now, yo. The, ho- the holy whores? Know, I never heard how, of that. How, how, did he, how did he get the money for this? Because he pimped the people. He wow. pimped the people the same way, the same way a capitalist. The same way a he did the same thing and he lied on top of that so that's why I call him a white supremacist with a black face he's a capitalist that's cool. he's a predatory capitalist he's a predatory capitalist on top of that so not only did he use people and abuse people and psychologically abuse people but he molested children he raped females that produced children hey, yo. he did a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> now you look at you look at all the stuff that he's done, it's a facade. It wasn't done out of the heart. It wasn't done because he cared. This is the same man that he when he was um when he was an answer, he said that that Dr. Ben was a big lit demon. This is the same person that was anti yeah, He did say that. I, I, I same, confirm this, that. This, 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 this was the same person that was anti Kimmy. Yep. All of a sudden now he's pro Kimmy, and he always had the same line. I had to get you through this school to get you to the next school because I had to prepare you. No, what you did was you would sit in your little, you would record your classes, and the person who was leading the class would have to go back to the land on a Wednesday because they're purchasing the books, and he would review the videos. So if people brought up topics that wasn't addressed before, he would go and tell his research department, a man that's from another galaxy has a research department, and he would tell them to go look up this information. Mm. He'd go look up the information, and he would pick and choose what the information comes out. So when people say, well, when York was out, how come y'all didn't debate York? Because debate York would hide from people and hide in another room at times. He was debated several times on AOL. He lost several debates. The reason why he left Islam is because Imam Bilal Phillips destroyed him. Uh, Imam Bilal Phillips was a book on the court, court, court of America. York releases this big, thick book called The Rebuttal oh, Book, uh, which, was, which uh, okay. was very thin, which was very thin, right? He had no rebuttal for him. So the all right, all right, right. Today, so let, let, why don't you let Chuck go into the go into? Cause we gonna have a whole show about that, bro. Because you you <laughs> well, going you on like, and on. No, you, don't you, like, know. you don't like the way he's talking about that. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, but I think it's I think that I think Look, Chuck I Chuck Chuck going bring going bring it. I remember the I remember the day in Philly, and I told I told Russell this in the inbox, and I was never offended because I understood that he looked up to York. There used to be a spot me and Russell went to called the Black Lily. Oh yeah. And I yeah, saw Rasul, and, and, and this is when York got locked up. I said, yo, what do you think about your man? Yo, he was fucking pissed at me. He said, fuck out of here. He was upset. So I understand, you know, he may, he has, he still has a love-hate relationship for the dude problem, you know. And so sometimes he may be pro, and then sometimes he's anti. And I get it because you were in a cult. And that's what happened. <laughs> it was a cult. And it, was, and it wasn't cold meaning cold man and culture. No, it was a cold. Yo, like, all right, yo. Hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. Cold. Hold on, hold on. Let me say this something. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, Let man. Me. First of all, yeah. don't be just jumping on here talking about, oh, because you was in the cold. <laughs> what I said was, listen to me, fam. What I said was, don't be talking about that sex stuff on the platform. 
I know you want to keep it raw. I know you want to keep it riggedy raw. You want to go on there on York. We going to do that when we get Chuck on on the show. But right now, this ain't this ain't this ain't this, you ain't you you calling in to drop a couple of jewels. And then you gotta now you gotta drop the juice. He done wrong, but he dropped. He's saying it's like come on, man. It's what this is about. You know, it's different people over here. This ain't the side netter show, bro. Yeah, so we don't, we don't, we don't. It's like what I'm saying is to you. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not saying York is innocent, bro. What I'm saying is like, come on, man. With the, you know, the way you coming is like. Like, I don't care. I never lived on, I never was an Ansar, and I never lived on the land, bro. Order the court. Order so, the court, yeah. don't look at me like I was a crazy cult, cult guy. I don't even know half of that stuff you talking about, really. You talking to Wajahu. Wajahu, Wajahu got the, got the, he got the real, you know. I don't know, man. The brother make the claims. you're defending something that you're admitting that you don't know anything about. Well, neither so do you. Neither, <laughs> neither do you. Neither do you. You, you got soul, it from Wajau. I read the book. I read the book. I what book? The book. Oh, oh, Sex Life, Life of a Muslim. Muslim. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> you don't got to go into the graphics of it, though, on this show. <laughs> Nobody I wants to... Who <laughs> went to the graphics? He uh -huh. said, yo, he said, yo, he... he yeah, I, I, I know about that chapter of the book is what I'm saying. I ain't trying to play you. What I'm saying is, like, you don't got to go... Like this is what it says. What it says inside the book, because it is pretty graphic. It's like let the oh, people read. read. The I never read it, but well, people say they. But people talk about what's in the book, so it's like let the people go read the book, soul. and then they can you know. But why? They can go from why there. are you catching? The reason I'm saying you catching feelings. No, I'm not right? catching feelings. I'm saying hold that till Chuck get on the show. That's what I'm saying, yo. What you talk about? You admit it was. You admit it. Was I a, admit it. Yeah, it's you true. Admit it, you admit it was a cult. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not so saying I'm not saying I'm not saying that. All right, so that I'm saying hold why, your so why, I'm saying hold your hold your. Why are you trying this? Why are you trying? You're on you're on this brother's platform every week. This is the first time I've. No, I'm it. not. And, and you're playing the FCC right now. Yo, I'm all saying. I'm to do all right, man. Go ahead, yeah. man. Go ahead, go. Ahead. <laughs> you you want to go go all the way in? Yo, we go all the way in, man. Hold but up, what bro. I'm saying is, let's let's do <laughs> let's do let's do that when Chuck get on the show. We yeah, have brother uncle. Like, Come on, yo. Brother uncle. <laughs> like, yo, you trying to? You really trying to debate? Like, I'm not trying to debate you. I'm saying, let's do, let's do that. Why you ain't? Why you ain't wait till Chuck get on the show? Then you could have called in. I, Rasul, I don't debate. You know why? Yeah. Look at every every debate you've seen in the conscious community. Then one debate where somebody said, "Oh my God, you know what? You're right. I believe as you believe. I don't debate." It's a waste of time. I have a conversation and that's it. All right, man. Brothers, I'm not tripping. It's like, you, you, you're getting a little, now you're getting emotional. It's like, I don't want to hear all that crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, we got Chuck Morgan yeah, coming on the, on the court, show. We got the Chuck court. Morgan coming. We're going to do a devastating in the show. Court, yo, order in the court. Yeah. Yo, we have that order in the court, man. I'm going to bang on this thing, yo. Yo, we got Brother Uncle here. Man. Yo, Brother uh, Uncle. What's good, man? What's good? What's good? What's good? Uncle, Uncle right there. What up? Yeah, uh, what's up, bro? How y'all doing, man? Yeah, no uh, religion around here, good. yo. That's how we doing it. Oh, no religion. No religion. I like that. Book for you. Yeah, yeah, no religion. That's <laughs> you dope. You done, you done stole the... Instead of true religion, right? True religion, this, one, religion. this is written by uh, Josh Bowen. This is the Atheist Handbook to the Old Testament by Josh okay. Bowen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, my man did this book. I know uh, Garfield got one coming. Oh, he yeah. got one out, too. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, so yeah, what, what, what's your take on what they're saying, man? Huh? What's your take on what they're saying? Because uh, I know they they said you were part of the New Wapian. Uh, yeah, I was part of, yeah, I came in doing the New Wapian joint. That was really the atheistic part of it, right? Mm. Uh, so for me, man, it got me uh, back interested in reading and shit, but it was it was a cult. And the only reason I didn't get, get fall prey like that, because I had a father figure, right, mm. that raised me. I had a mother figure that raised me. Right. And I had a pocket full of cash because I just came from Baltimore. Out of retirement, you know what I'm saying? Right. right. I don't want to get into all that. Right. So I was good. All I needed to do was just read, you know what I'm saying? Study. And we were sickly talking about the Bible and, and how crazy the God was in all the religions. Mm. That's when I came in, right? So for me, it was a positive experience. And I want everybody to know just because of the cult, 
don't mean it's going to be all negative, and that still don't mean your ass should be in there. Mm-hmm. So at no point should I been in that nonsense, right? Because it was straight pseudoscience. That's why y'all see me go so hard now, because I actually listened to the best pseudo-sophisticate. He was yeah, on par yeah. with the European pseudo-sophisticates, yeah, yeah. right? He had a team of people to help them out. So that's why when I put together the Amara squad and other teams, right, mm-hmm. I realized, York realized early in the game that teams win Super Bowls, right? He mm-hmm. made it all about him, but he used everybody, you know what I'm saying, to get to where he was going. Yeah. At the end of the day, it was horrible. It was a cult, yo, and and the crime against the babies, yo, is a crime against humanity, yo. That's just how I feel about it, yo. So mm-hmm. Chuck Morgan, that's my man right there, right? Appreciate he, Chuck Morgan. He's gonna you know be what I mean? I learned a lot about the Bible messing with Chuck Morgan, yo. And really, it was Chuck Morgan, because he used to be on the Mo Better show. Yeah. It was Chuck Morgan, you know what I mean, that made me see, you know, how to play with that Bible, mm-hmm. how to use that Bible. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, hey, but, but York, man. What I, so hold on, though. Thing. Here's the thing. Uh, you know, you came in through a different path. Like, yeah. I, like I was telling Men Kepara, and the real Melchizedek right here, Killer Priest. Uh, I came in, Doc was able to lure me in through Islam. Right. Because if you go and talk to somebody and they can speak fluent Arabic or good Arabic and they know the Quran, you know the Hadiths, you know this, that, and the third, you can get a guy like me. Yeah. Because you know the language. Yeah. You know how to bro me in. So, yeah. like I said, I was able, you know, I always say, if Dr. York wasn't a Muslim, I would have never followed them. Because I had I had books already on uh, Israel Regardi, uh, Alistair Crawley, books mm. on uh, Sheikh, all the Sheikh Antadiop books, mm. all the mm. books, uh, uh, Ivan Van Sertima books, Dr. Ben, all that stuff, I had it already. But when I got the Dr. When I got the Dr. York books, I was like, oh, whoa, this is more of like a mystical, it was mystical. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> This is science. <laughs> right, hold on. You know, you laughing. Stop mm-hmm. laughing, bro. I mean, you got to understand my journey. You got the science here, and then you got the mystical path. Mm-hmm. Right? Me being a <laughs> Sufi, I was like, yo, this is the heat. This is the guy. This is the shake. You know what I'm saying? This is the right. imams of imams. This is this, this, bro, this is the Mulana. Right? <laughs> yeah. This is the true Mulana. Yeah. Okay. Right? Cause that's how I thought. That's how. That's how I was like, oh, yeah, well, this is who I'm going. To go with. Yeah, you, you know, he stopped me from going to Egypt. I had, a, I almost, I almost had a free trip, trip to, to Egypt. Right. In this program that I was in, and I was listening to all the tapes because I couldn't afford really at that time to go down to Georgia and really meet him. You know what I'm saying? And he told us not to go over there because the Arabs don't like blacks. So I was so caught up on the ideology from that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't take that free trip trip. To, to, to Egypt got you. with the people I was uh, affiliated with at that time, mm-hmm. the Muslim people I was affiliated with. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, everybody got into, into New Wapo at a, everybody comes from a, a strange path. Well, I just, I'm saying, but the, the reason I teach is because of my five year experience. Mm-hmm. And so what I needed to do was, I needed to figure out how do you defeat this crap right here? I figured it out. Get scientifically literate, right? And you can't get tricked. Similar as that, study the science. Hmm. So I think me and Killer Priest, we talked about um, uh, uh, evolutionary psychology, yeah. mm-hmm. right? That's a new field that's starting to boom. Uh, textbooks are starting to come out now. It's starting to be part of the literature now. So <clears throat> evolutionary psychology uh, seeks to answer the question, why do humans believe? Right now we understand, and I give you an example. Mm-hmm. So uh, when 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 Homo sapiens sapiens is in, uh, say the Stone Age, late early Stone Age, right? Uh, we need proteins, okay? So so those who craved uh, meats and proteins lived longer than those who didn't crave it. So we developed a craving for it. You need fats, sugars, right? Those who developed uh, 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 um. A, a, a desire to eat sugars and fats and proteins lived longer than those who didn't desire as much as they did. So we so we passed those genes on, right, to the next generation that would crave proteins, you know what I'm saying, and sugars, okay? So, so, so watch this. That same thing still happens today. And so when a McDonald's commercial come on, 
right? You see that burger, your mouth starts to water. Well, what the hell? It's taking advantage of your believing brain, right? It's taking advantage of that craving. It's not just right? that too. It's, it's also it's that. It's into it, right? Yeah. So this is the same thing religion does. Religion taps into the evolutionary brain so where humans just believe everything, uh-huh. right? So 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 in early Stone Age times, it was essential to believe everything would kill you. Simple as that. So if the high grass moved, you would believe it was a predator in that high grass, yeah. and you ran. You know what I'm saying? You believe that. Mm-hmm. So if you was walking down the path and the leaves moved, you automatically jumped. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Because you didn't want to get bit. So you ain't no hospital to go to. If you get bit by a snake or anything, you're done. Right? It mm-hmm. still goes on today. I was running the other day down the path and the damn grass moved and all this atheist stuff I talked, dude, I dove out the way. It was a little mouse going through the grass. But my but the mouse in the grass, right? In my in the evolutionary brain, mm-hmm. my, my first thing is to get the hell out the way. Not question it. You would think, I, hey, what's that in the grass? Nah, ain't none of that. I got out the way. Out and... So yeah, that's what religion does. Religion hijacks these things. Yeah. Right? That's why you believe in God. You've been hijacked. Remember, human beings are superstitious. Killer priest, we talked about that. When you look at a baseball game, right? And that batter gets in the batter circle. What does the batter do, y'all? He crosses his heart. He crosses his huh? heart. He crosses his heart, don't he? Do all, all kind of stuff. Look, yeah. he do all that, right? Yeah. Tap, get up at the plate. Tap the plate. Tap the cleats. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do, uh, hold yeah. on. Uh, do he, it again. Why does he do ri- that? He's doing a ritual. Wow. See, there you go. Well, maybe wow. that's some. That's, that's a part of the. That's a, that's a part of the brain. I'm gonna tell you that why. That stimulates yeah. why there's superstition and why humans react that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it has a lot to do with when you study, when we study, like I always study animals mm-hmm. to try to have some kind of relation to humans. Mm-hmm. When you look at chimpanzees. Humans are animals, though, but go ahead. What'd you say? Humans are animals. Yeah, we yeah. are. We are. But we're not like the chimpanzee. Now, humans are not like, And we're nothing like the gibbon. It was nothing like the gorilla, the silver well, listen, gorilla. Hold on, freeze, freeze right fact, there. Let me let me finish on. my point though. Let me Those finish my animals point. are stronger no, no, than you. Let me finish point. my point. Go ahead. Because yeah, we yeah. didn't we didn't already go in. down another yeah, avenue. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, this is always our problem. problem in these conversations. We go everywhere because that's how Malachi Yoke talk that shit. He had oh, everywhere on Gibbs Dallas. Did you not get to a point? Y'all like that? Y'all like that? You see how he threw a blue? See? That was like that was that's like that was a nice right. That was a nice right hook, brother. Yeah, that was a nice right hook, brother. If you read his yeah, books, you right? You read his books. His books went all over the place. Yeah, it and did. never got to the central question that he asked at the beginning of the damn book. <laughs> and then you buy another book. Anyway, the point I'm making here is that all right, all right, good. All right. religion, right? Mm-hmm. Evolutionary mind. The baseball player, right? right? The reason he does that, because the last time he did that, he got a damn hit. He Things that humans fail in, they create the rituals gone. around it. They create okay. rituals around things they don't understand, okay? And so the ritual, you keep doing it because you think you're going to hit. Oh, my favorite football team won when I had this shirt underneath my jersey. And you do the same damn thing. But watch this. When that same baseball player goes out to the field to catch the ball, he don't do none of that. Why? You can get into the Hall of Fame if you fail 70% of the time in hitting because you only hit 300. That means you failed 70% of the time, but it'll get you into the Hall of Fame. When catching the ball, baseball players don't fail that. They catch the ball the majority of the time. You really have an error in catching the ball. So you don't design a ritual around that. That's the evolutionary process at play. So so, so when Africans develop rituals, this shit ain't work. Because I can take it to the Sahara when they did rituals about the rain, trying to make it rain, but then you look at the grave sites, they didn't make it. Those who moved out of the Sahara and were later on from Egypt and Nubia were those who defeated the process of just believing and moved on to go to a place to get to water. Religion hijacks these things. People fail a lot in life, and whenever you fail, you're trying to find a reason why you fail. But go ahead, brother, I'm going to speak. Yeah, I just want to give that to you. <laughs> That's the I just want to give you why we do religion, yeah. why we believe. Just a little tip it up, but go ahead. 
I mean, well, that's, that's the process of learning. Uh, you know, failing is not really a bad thing. You can learn from failure. So I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Africans had to, when we talk about Homo sapien sapien, right? Mm -hmm. The Homo sapien sapien, out of the previous sapiens that failed, we're talking about the six Africans, right? That evolved out of Africa. When you talk about the sap Homo sapien sapien. Mm -hmm. So the Homo. I don't know what you're talking about. What I'm saying is, you talk about that's Homo sapien, and then there's only one Homo sapien. Well, that Homo sapien sapien, but then there was others. According to Sheikh Anta Diop, there was six species of Africans that evolved out of Africa, right? No, and that Homo was, that sapien was, sapien. Hold on, Homo well, sapien finish, sapien ahead, was the one was the one who actually developed the frontal lobe. They have the skulls for this. There's different skulls. Shake, look up Shake at the D up. I ain't yeah. gonna try. I ain't trying to argue with you, brother. This Man, going, you know I read this going going front and backwards. Yo, you right. know I, I'm saying well, I, maybe I, you, I maybe just not. I don't understand it, but the evolution of far. I is, understand it ain't six Homo sapiens sapiens. I just like clarity in this subject. This is my well, favorite subject. Okay, That's well, all. they that according to Shake and to deal. Deal. Yeah, he was just wrong if he said that. Yeah, maybe it's okay. Okay, he was the man. He was the mastermind. All right, according to whatever, but. Uh, he said, according to the skulls that they found, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, this is, you know, that, that the first African didn't have a frontal lobe, okay, meaning that it, that the the, the, the right. boy, you know, it didn't have a frontal lobe, and then eventually evolved to the to the to the species who is Homo sapiens sapien. He did have that that species had a frontal lobe, and he he, he was, began to to say that that's when you started where the Homo sapiens sapien started to develop arts. Communication and like maybe what you're saying is uh, uh, cravings for certain meats mm -hmm. or certain proteins. You know what I'm saying? My question is to you: When did they begin to migrate out of Africa, Homo sapien sapien? Because if if or sapien, according to you, whatever, mm -hmm. those were the, that particular species was the one who developed the ability. To use tools, mm -hmm. or rather, I say rocks, yeah, and just different things in his environment. Yeah. I always say that's what to, uh, separate men, yo. Yeah. Is a, a man that can use to tools, use. and a man that can't. You know what I'm saying? But uh, to get what you were when talking they, about, I said you, you didn't hear his question to you. Yeah, he was so wrong from the whole beginning. He kind of threw me. I was trying to figure out it, not because you so was wrong. Not trying to be funny, I right? Love, um, <laughs> but. But 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 uh what Homo Neanderthal. Listen, Homo Neanderthal sure, sure. Okay. obviously had a developed frontal lobe, right? They buried it, did they put well, flowers in it? There's they proof, created there's proof that the Neanderthal and the Homo sapien are separate, two separate forms of DNA. This has been proven. I mean why you why you cut me off though? I had to throw that in. No cut. Yeah, but you yo, messed it up. I like what that mean? I had to <laughs> throw it in. I had to throw it in. What the hell is going on? I'm trying to feel how that yeah, makes... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let go the brother go build. Go go I'm trying to feel how you... Neanderth anyway, homo Neanderthal, like homo sapien, Neanderthal is human, bro. You know that, right? Say it again, So much sorry. so that humans could mix with Neanderthal. You know that. Right, right, right. Well, okay. that goes back to what I was saying. Oh, sorry. That's go Sorry. Uh, try to keep my voice down. That goes back to what I was saying about... Um, the, the what Sheikh Anthony Diop was explaining, where yeah, you said had, Homo sapiens though had it was well, he said it's not true. He went, he talked about the first He's beings like, well, in well, Africa, well, man well, evolving well, in Africa, and it said he it went through a trial period. I guess if you want to, if I want to use for lack of a better word, evolution okay. no, I like that. of that being, of that no. being, and he says it wasn't until Homo sapiens sapien. Uh, evolved is when uh, they, the Homo sapiens sapiens began to spread and walk out of Africa, and he said there was there was six of them that he said three of them so four of them stayed and 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 uh four the three other three, three of them, the other three left Africa mm -hmm. and then they got caught under the glaciation or the ice the ice age so maybe they are the um, the, the Neanderthal uh, degenerated gene or DNA. So when the ice when the glacier when the when the ice melted, those sa Homo sapiens sapiens encountered that maybe mutated being, because it's been proven that 
the Neanderthal DNA is separate from uh, the Homo sapien DNA. This is proven. Yeah, yeah, you messed it all up, yo. Like that. Everything you Maybe just I said did. was the thousands that wrong about evolution. I ain't even trying to be funny. Well, but evolution. I don't want to, oh, no, you know, no, I got no, a, no, no, there's no, no, no. a Killer Priest has a rough crowd, yo. They was banging on me. Hey, hey shout out to Killer Priest <laughs> yeah, crowd, the man. Room. I love them, man. Yeah, the chat room, room. Yeah, yeah, room was I, no really, joke, man. Yeah. Hey, man, listen, man. I was in there tearing their ass up, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Typing in there when I went back. But it's I, I kind of really room. appreciate right, that. Right. Yeah, shout out to everybody watching, man. I, I really appreciate that, right? And, you know, I just was in killer pseudo mode last time I came on. Yeah. Ruthless. I got to be ruthless when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. But today, man, I'm laid back. But 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 evolution and uh, Neanderthal me, me and Diox, yeah. man, that was back in 1976. And now they 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 they, they mapped out the human genome. That is true. Okay, so I seen that. They just that finished. Day. Yeah, they found more skulls, mm -hmm. more things. And so, although Diox put us on the path of evolution, just like Dr. Ben did, because they were scientists, right? Uh, mm -hmm. She got Diox was definitely a mastermind. Yeah. Okay, and but. But I'm saying things have changed, so that's not what it is. We no longer look at Neanderthal as some brute in the cave. You just can't think that. Uh, a Homo erectus uh, traveled probably all the way to the Americas before Homo sapien sapien even arrived, right? So really, to be Homo sapien sapien is to be mixed with archaic species of human, Homo adultu, Homo erectus, Homo nalati, Homo neanderthal, right? All these archaic humans form what are now called homo sapiens sapiens. That's why the whole racism piece based off the scientific racism, based off of the color of your skin, really set us back as human beings. It helped enslave people, you know what I'm saying? To this very day, we still have problems over the people and the color of their skin. Based off a pseudoscientific idea that was promoted as science, because that's what makes something pseudoscientific when it's wrong and you continue to promote it as if it's science. So that whole race thing was pseudoscientific from the start. Right? So, so so the point I want to make here is clear. Homo sapiens sapien left Africa probably two times. The first time he left out, he got defeated by a uh, Homo Neanderthal. All right, disappeared. All right. Then another crop of Homo sapiens sapiens uh, leave out of Africa, and then they make a niche for themselves. And then you get the uh, quote unquote they call it the uh, the Gunther Dryer, yeah. which is the Ice Age. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's so you got you got to understand geology. You got certain ice ages. Okay. You got an ice age at 160,000 years ago, where you get uh, they call it um, Y chromosome Adam and Y chromosome Eve, where all living humans all living humans, right, come from these people that was in South Africa. That's why the Koi San, right, the they're the oldest people yeah. on Earth, mm -hmm. and they're not the darkest people on Earth. We was taught the blackest people was first. Now, that's just not even true. Right? Wow, wait a minute. Hold it, on, hold on. Let's yeah, slow that true. down. Yeah. Slow true. that down. Let's walk that down real slow. Mm -hmm. You're saying that the African is not the first <laughs> being? Oh, no, I'm saying, no, the African, no. All hominids are African because they started in Africa. Mm -hmm. Homo erectus is African. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in Kenya, at 3.5 years, 3.5 million years, Australopithecine is African, but it's not a homo. It's not a homogeneous family. It was a, it's, <laughs> right, it's a, it's a totally no, no, different that's, creature. That's what yeah. you're saying. That's, a that's what you're saying? Yeah. I'm saying that nothing is a total different creature. No such thing is on planet Earth. Everything so, is genetically tied so, to each other. Hold on, though. Things tied back to bananas. We have a common ancestor with bananas. Right. right. We have a common ancestor with vegetation. That's just re you know the three domains of life, of life: archaea, right, bacteria, and right. eukaryotic. That's the three domains, and everything falls in those categories. You, right. you feel me? Right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just make, I'm just trying to make you know, a point. Well, you know, ba banana, like, banana, that's an Arabic word. You already know. Bakukul, <laughs> bakukul is the is the African God way of you you say in Because uh, because you know why I wanted to say that to you, Aunt? Because the word bakukul, you can okay. find that word in in the ancient Americas. Doc, Dr. Ivan Van Sertema proved that because banana is really Arabic. Okay. It is. Bakuku is the real way you say banana in Africa. 
We don't say they don't say it the way that the Arabs say it. Just to, to point that out. So you you make an adult. You make, yeah you you don't, you. Don't, but here's my question well, to got, you, bro. I got, bro. I got brother uh, um, Ngozi and oh, on the phone. Okay. Oh, peace that's Ngozi. awesome. Here's the question. I'm glad he's on it. I want him to listen to this too. You, peace and love, man. Peace and love. My, my big brother, huh, going in, man. All y'all going in, brother Rasul. Peace. Good to see you, brother. Yeah. Peace to my brother Mikara, man. How you doing? Peace and love. Peace, peace and love. love, killer. What's peace. happening? Yeah, so so you talk about the homo erectus, the astral epithelium. You don't think that those were the all of those species evolved out of out, out of Africa, right? All of them. All, yeah. of them. all right, so that 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 kind of confirm. Oh, I'm saying doesn't doesn't that confirm what Sheikh Antadio was saying? Because he talked about the six species of Africans. He said, the, he, he said the six species of humans. Humans. Because there's, 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 there are multiple species of humans. We're the, our species of humans is the ones that survive. If you deal with taxonomy, you look at the term like gene, you look at the genius, you look at the species. Homo sapiens is the species of human that survive. But yes, there were multiple species of species of human that once roamed Africa. Like Homo, ne- Homo Neanderthalus came from Homo heterobiogenesis. You know, then you had Homo Rhodesia man, then you had Homo ancestor. Mm-hmm. Uh, Homo agastar, which is a form of Homo erectus, he left out of Africa first. Then you had a, like Mark was talking about, the prior out of Africa uh, model, where those Homo sapiens didn't survive. That was 200,000 years ago. The now, one that survived. I got a question for you. I got a question for you. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. Right I got a there. question for you, and it's a deep question. How did the original man evolve from the soil of Africa? With, mm. the, with the original man who do who? <laughs> How did the original man... Because we all say they come from Africa, right? Right. Yeah. How did the original man... What part... How did he come from Africa? What's the scientific process of how he evolved from Africa? Oh, well, it happened through time and sexual selection. I mean, Homo sapien is a process of hybrid itself. You had different hominids coming together, different strata of humans coming together to form what we are. They don't really know what lineage or line of human that we come from, whether it was a form of Homo Rhodesian man, which is the brother clad of Homo heterobiogenesis, mm-hmm. who came last in Neanderthal. But we do know that Neanderthal is a separate species of human that's not us, but his predecessor comes out of Africa, which is Homo heterobiogenesis. Mm-hmm. For our line, we could have been a phase of different hominids coming together to form into this close breed of Homo sapien. Like, for example, when you look at Jabel the Hood that they found in Morocco, he, 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 he was found up there. But he wasn't from there, you know. They tried. A lot of people try to use that to try to say Homo sapiens developed in the northern parts of Africa because it's closer to the Mediterranean. Yet still, you have another human like Jabel the Hood that was found in South Africa, uh, um, 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 which is which is which is similar in age. Uh, mm-hmm. Jabel the Hood is three hundred thousand years old. The one in South Africa is two hundred seventy-six thousand. And they just found the skull of a Homo sapien in, in uh, Greece. Mm-hmm. That was traveling with Neanderthals 200,000 years ago. So the thing is, is that what made us, that first wave of humans that left out of Homo sapiens, not Homo erectus that left out, because that was a group of humans that left out of two that evolved into other, its own specimens outside of the continent. But the first wave was unsuccessful 100,000 years ago, 200,000 years ago. The one that was successful was us. And we represent a phase of different processes of sexual selection picking up certain traits, like you probably got your front, the front part of your face, the way your face is, or the molar part of your jawline from a group of people over here. You probably got the rotate shoulder blade from the people over here. It was accumulation. Mm-hmm. Uh, accumulation of phase into Homo sapiens sapien. Somewhere probably around the Great Rift Valley near Tanzania, Uganda, and southern Ethiopia, where they found Homo Man 1 and Homo Man 2 at. Yeah. Yeah, well, I agree with both of you brothers, really. I ain't, I ain't trying to argue with you, yeah. Unc. What do you, you think, know I mean? about what I just said? What do you think? Uh, yeah, y'all, you, yeah, you, that, that, that. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, so, yeah, humans didn't come out the dirt. That's a that's a mythology. That You find that amongst mythology. Ain't nobody come from no damn dirt. Where they come they, from? Yeah. They come from the ocean? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not, evolution doesn't answer the question of where uh, uh, a life come from, it answers the question of how life diversified once it got to the planet. They start to think that maybe uh, life uh, was up on Mars first and, 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 and came to Earth. You know, when certain asteroids hit planet, knock dust off, you know what I'm saying? That dust and stuff like that. But here's so, the question. So, so we, got, oh, we, got a, we got a common ancestor with fish, tetelect fish, that goes okay. back 350 million years. And so we, so 
so so what we would eventually come from was in waters was in the waters that's right yeah so, shout out to stranger shout out to sea belts yeah sea bats yeah. 14. Yeah. he said explain the missing link or did he explain your question yet before i ask yeah. well, this brother uh, this he's, brother he's, asked he's, question. He's asked, no he's the going in. Let him go. he says uh explain the missing link from anthropod the, to modern and, humans. To modern humans. Mm. That's yeah, a good no, question. Well, don't go use ahead, that well, 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 people like to play. I'm not saying he could, but Uncle go into it as well. But the missing gap, just because things hasn't been discovered yet, doesn't mean that it, 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 it doesn't link. You know what I'm saying? And people yeah. like to find those gaps to place God in the pocket, to play that God thing. That's called the gods of the gap. Mm -hmm. Because there are gaps of certain things where it might be holes or what hasn't been discovered yet, they try to equate that to the idea of God. So it's something in science which shows if the further you go back in all of our genome, the more close you are to certain types of groups of species. Mm -hmm. You know, you have homeo toolkit or hoax gene, which shows basic limb proportions that every other organism have that shows the developmental phases of limbs. It's called the homeo toolkit or the hoax gene. Then you have something that shows somewhere down the line that you have a connection to your early primate ancestors. It's called chromosome 2 fusion, where chromosome 2A and 2B is linked together. So just mm -hmm. because they haven't found certain fossils doesn't mean that the traits genetically doesn't still exist in humans. Even when you look at the cortex or the base of your tailbone, at the base of your spine, that shows the common link. That shows somewhere down the line, 27 million years ago, you had a common ancestor with old world monkeys. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Not saying, not saying uh -huh. that's what you are, yeah. but I'm saying you have certain vesicular organs that's a reminder of different stages of what makes you are of what you are. Just because they haven't found fossils doesn't mean that they still, when it comes to the genome, you have traits in you that's not even wanted at this point, but it's still there as an old vestiges, as a reminder for those that's dealing with observation science to see those traits. Where did it come from? What is it there for? What do you have, what, what, what do you have a tailbone for at the, base of, at the base of your spine? What is that a reminder of? What, what is that? Not saying that you're a monkey. Why is it that chromosome 2A and 2B is fused together? Mm -hmm. Even though we got 46 yeah. chromosomes, the chromosome 2A and 2B is fused together as if we had 48. Like well, chip well, here's the thing. Us ask all the brothers. You know, I've been I've been talking about this and where does DNA? How did it evolve? Yeah. Where does DNA come from? Yeah. Well, and we can say, oh, oh, hold on. We can go. We can go into the scientific theories or certain facts that they that they have accumulated, mm -hmm. but we really don't know. We really don't know well, because I'm gonna tell you. Well, when, I'm you a, when you get into basic biology uh -huh. one on one it shows you the process when you understand eukaryotics prokaryotics uh bacteria and how eukaryotics formed into a nucleus which formed into the clusters of rna and dna ribonuclear acids to the active mm -hmm. nuclear acids which mm -hmm. formed into cells it makes sense if we understand the basic elements of evolution the problem with evolution or the problem with understanding science is mm -hmm. th they tell you the process of life which is based off basic chemical reaction yeah which is life itself but the problem is that when it comes to the abiogenesis, meaning, you know, A means no, bio means life, genesis means beginning, they can't tell you, they can tell you the process of stages of evolution based on pressure and natural selection, sexual selection, and different phases of evolution, which means change. Mm -hmm. But they can't tell you how or why it happened. They can't tell you, and they can tell you how in the process of the developmental phases of what we see yeah. based on whether it's micro or the larger scale of the macro. But what I'm saying is that when it comes to explaining why it occurred or how did life do what it did, that's when you have different people coming up with different theories of how it happened or how it occurred. But evolution is a fact. We can see that, based at the, especially at the micro level. You can mm -hmm. see the changes at the micro level. And even if you deal with accumulation of a, a bunch of buildup at the micro level, it makes way at the macro level. And yeah. we can see this on the surface. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I always yeah, look at the things that that sustain us, AD, water and change. flesh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I know that we all have that as a common, as far as you, you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Well, it can't what be, life can't. is, how life is sustained okay. with water and flesh, soil and oh, water. Yeah. So it's like, whenever when people tell me, oh yeah, we. Oh, oh you can put it to this one. You, when people tell me, yeah, like you know, you we all come from Africa. Then that's when my, you know, me being a creative person, it's like, well, how did we evolve from Africa? And then just listening to how you say that we evolved from Africa, it's like, okay, that makes a lot of sense. But, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 how life is created, I think that that's a very, very important topic for people because a lot of people always want to know how life is created and what sustains life, to me, is always a bridge to how life is created. You understand what I'm saying? 
Yeah, but yeah, I, I agree with you, brother. And if we just deal with the basic environmental factors and we understand epigenetics and we understand changes in the environment, wet phases, dry phases, different phases of nature going through different chemical reactions, if you have yeah. the six major elements that's responsible for life on a periodic table, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur, yeah. mm -hmm. and, it, and these things are going through different phases of wet and dry phases and thunderstorms and different things accumulate, you're going to have a buildup. But if we understand the basic elements or the basic components that makes up into uh, eukaryotics which forms into a nucleus, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and the nucleus which is gives what, you, what, what, what we see with structures because if you have a society of uh, back, I mean, pro prokaryotics feeding off a society of bacteria mm -hmm. which later on forms into eukaryotics which forms into the nucleus and then we understand how mitochondria work which is the powerhouse of the cell, you can start to see the developmental phases and a buildup of what we label as complex, complex structures. Complex well, structure organisms. You get know what I'm saying? Let me ask you and this then, one question. Yeah. Let me ask you this one question. I don't mean to cut your wisdom. Sorry about uh -huh. that. But uh -huh. all of those chemical reactions that you just talked about, right? Of how cells interact with the environment. The, uh -huh. the human body itself is a walking battery. You agree with that? I mean, yeah, I mean, the human body is, is, is a living organism. You yeah. know, we, 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 I mean, we depend on sleep, rest, food, nutrients. We need all that in order to survive and function. As long as we have the ATP function at a proper rate, which is adenosine triphosphate, uh -huh. the organism will be allowed to function. So every organism yeah. which absorbs, every organism that's living is a result of these basic chemical reactions until we lose ATP. Mm. Until those telomeres stop splitting, which is the lifeline. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what you think, Uncle West? No, nah, there ain't no walking battery, man. <laughs> we ain't no walking nah. battery. No, nah, I want to go back to the question. Oh, about let me stop. Let me stop you for that. What makes you think that we're not walking batteries? Yeah, that's, not even, that's crazy. But How is that crazy? No, 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 no. Listen, let me ask you a question. Do you charge I'm and decharge every? Okay, yeah, do you charge and decharge every day? Yeah, through through food. Do you right? actually? Do, do you, you actually? Hold on, me ask you a question. Do you? Let me finish. Let me finish. Let, battery, let, me, let me finish. Do you have stomach acid? Yeah. Why you want to do this to yourself, though? <laughs> no, I'm just as you said that we're not a walking bed. I just asked you a question. Do we because have you got stomach acid, which is not even made of the same? Wait a minute. That has that. That doesn't make you a walking battery. Let me finish. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Food. If I go get me a battery, right, the car battery that's in the in, in the car, right? So you think battery acid is the same as something in your stomach? Let me Just finish. My, let, me, let me finish that. Let me finish right, what I'm saying. Let me finish what I'm saying. Let me finish what go I'm ahead. saying. Go ahead. The cell. How do you make a battery from scratch? You need water, salt. You need lead and copper. Correct. Yeah, I don't know how to make a battery. Go ahead. But that's what you need. Those are the four elements that you need. Okay. To make a battery, okay. and that produces an electrical spark. As human beings, we are electrical beings. Correct. No. Oh, we're not electrical beings? No, we don't, nobody says that in science. That's something that we say when we talk and slick and want to put the flavor to it. So, we're, we're so human beings, beings don't have an electrical charge to them? No, you have your brain that sends out, uh, 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 you know, electrical charge to send a signal. Of course you have electricity running to you at low voltages. Okay, so That's we fine, are an electrical being. Yeah, but you, but you, you, you would say more you water beings but that's why I just try to explain to you. But listen, else. listen, that's why I'm trying to get you to understand. In order to make a battery, you have to have water. If your car battery dies right now, the first thing they're going to do is that if you go take it to get rebuilt, they're going to replenish the water with distilled water. That's how you replenish a battery. So what happens is, is that the human body itself is composed of water and Are flesh. The flesh holds the electrical current. The I'll water up, yeah. replenishes the electrical current in the body. That's why I'm saying we're walking batteries because we charge and decharge every day. So being that we charge and decharge every day, we compose ourselves of both negative and positive energy. So being that we have negative and positive energy as human beings, we are walking batteries. And when you understand how to make a battery from scratch, you will understand that the human body is no different. That's all I'm trying to explain to you, brother. Oh yeah, I don't accept that at all. Not I mean, but that's a scientific fact, fact, though. That's not something that I'm just making up. That's, that's not, it is, that is a scientific not, fact. I can bring it up. 
If, you, I, if, if I give AD over here, I'll come up here and show you how that's a natural fact because we're no, made I'm of flesh and water. Man, saying, listen, I ain't trying to be low to you. It's, I'm it's simply like, saying you like make like what Neil Tyson said, man. You know, we're, we're connected to the earth what chemically. It's like what Neil deGrasse Tyson said. He said that we're connected to the earth chemically, to the universe atomically, and to one another biologically. So when you say the term, the nomenclature is like Sam Battery. You know, again, we're living organisms. We're, made of chemical, we're, chemical, we're based on we're living organisms as a result of chemical reactions. You know, and that's just what it is. And if we understand that, whether you want to say a charge or whatever, a battery, we, we have a current. You know, all the components that makes us up organically is what we are. So indeed, in that same science, is, that's what I'm trying to get people to understand. That same science of understanding the human body, right? It's the same science of understanding life. When you understand how to produce electricity from scratch, right? Then you will understand how the body itself works because you will understand that that same science that you use to produce an electrical charge is the same science of how you produce life in human beings. But how is that relevant to what we're talking about right now? Because it's relevant. It's relevant because you said that earlier that we was talking about the beliefs of believing and why human beings believe, correct? Yeah, go ahead, tie it together, go ahead. Okay, so being that you was talking about how, why human beings believe and you were saying that, oh, well, you know what I'm saying, we do all these different rituals and this and that and it, the rituals, the reason why human beings are ritualistic and the reason why a man would go to a plate and constantly, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, go through all these rituals hoping that he get himself a home run is because we go through a ritual Every year, we go to a ritual called summer, we go to a ritual called spring, and we go to a ritual called fall. We go to a ritual called winter. So therefore, the human brain itself is used to going through rituals because every day it goes through a ritual. It goes to a ritual of morning, it goes to a ritual of, of evening, and it goes to a ritual of night. So therefore, human beings understand that since the universe itself is going on rituals, why wouldn't we go on rituals? All right, can I say this? Nobody ain't gonna say that. I was gonna say that's a bunch of bullshit, but I'm playing. I would be like, <laughs> I mean, you can say, oh, say what you feel. Why you always hold on, hold on. No, yeah, you can say what you want to say. I'm playing. No, you always, you always on, gotta playing. go. Hey, all unk, he came, he came off on that one. Unk. Yeah, I mean, what, yo, unk, man, you ain't gonna always like. Nah, we joking, uh, but of course. So now we now you always gotta pull the sword. <laughs> we joking like the FBI. Always gotta pull the sword. We can't loosen up. You always got yeah, to pull the sword out, though. I'm yeah. just saying. You nah, always I ain't had no sword. I was just having fun. All right, all right, all right. Nah, this you're, you're, not right right all right. Time, <laughs> you're not right all the time, Al. You're not right all the time, Al. No, hold on. No, see, that's the problem. I got a chance to say that to you, brother. Listen, you're not listen. right all the time, brother. No, hold on. First of all, I'm not a scientist. I'm a science advocate, science right? Advocate, so right. I, I rely like on the I like that title, science right? advocate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I advocate science and science. Still be a scientist. Business. Why you choose that so, title, bro? So hey, you just, so you're off, right. Bro. Let him talk. Okay, well, let me finish. So, time, so, you, so listen, you're right. Now, all I'm trying to tell the brother is, is that yo, I like the way you said that and the way you put that. But I'm saying that's not a scientific explanation of who we are. That's a ritualistic, uh, flavorful, cultural expression. Yeah, you know I'm saying, and I, and I feel that. <laughs> But 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 for me, we just it's can't. colorful. God, you say it's colorful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, it's dope the way you said that. So, but hold on, watch this. I can say we are the essence and the expression of the divine having the human experience. Yeah, I slick that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah, saying man. I'm being slick, Lord? That's what you're saying. I'm being slick. No, no, no. Listen, but watch this. Watch this. Ghost just said it. But we, we chemically we connected to the earth. We connected to everything. So bi biologically, bi biologically speaking, human beings are connected to everything on earth. That's why you can eat food. The only reason you eat a banana for sustenance is because you connected to that banana. If it was foreign, you couldn't eat it. You ain't eat no daggone uh, steel and get nutrients from that. So that's what I'm saying. So how could you say that human beings don't uh, 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 shouldn't because believe I'm, because, I'm, because of, oh, you're saying that they. Oh, let me finish. Let me finish my. Let me see what Go I'm ahead. saying. How can you say that human beings shouldn't believe and shouldn't be uh, uh, ritualistic and that those traits are something that's foreign to him when his environment says otherwise? I said, but I said, but I said, I was given a scientific explanation, mm -hmm. right? Why and who we was. You was given a ritualistic cultural, right, 
uh, African American <laughs> understanding the cultural we are, and it's nothing African wrong with American. that. Why is, so why is it African American? Yeah, because we're in America, uh, we're in America, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Our ancestors built this shit for free, right? We was the global economy, and it's our shit too. But why would you say that I'm saying this African American? How does that come out of me as Because you're in America, and uh, if you left, you wouldn't be able to leave without a passport to get back. You're uh, a citizen of America. And what does that have to do with the beliefs that you say, like? What is that to because African Americans, we we do things different from. No, other I'm not cultures. talking about that, bro. I'm saying, what does that have to do with a person being ritualistic? What does African American have to do with that? Because that's not. I just told you where rituals come from. You made your own smell, which was dope. I gave you scientific research hey, you on? on why we do rituals. Right? I'm not no. mad at you saying that. I'm not mad that you think okay. that summer in the spring and fall no. is a ritual. I, but scientifically speaking, nobody says that. Nobody says that summer is a damn ritual to the earth. A ritual to what? Now, human beings build rituals around the springs, the winter and summer solstice. They build structures to match up with the winter and summer solstice. Why but is that the important? Winter no, and God. summer solstice, right, can only be explained, right? Through what? Through astronomy, right? Mm -hmm. Through understanding of physics. You know what I'm saying? But 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 through a ritual, it's just that. It's just a conversation. It, it, it it's it, it's part of what we believe. But that's okay. Believing is human. I'm just I'm just making sure listening audience know I don't have a problem with the way you said that. But you can't go into a science class talk man uh -huh. shit. They're gonna laugh y'all the room. <laughs> Why not? Why would, why would that, 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 yo, all right. yo, yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta agree with you. They will laugh you out the room. And I, I remember being on, on, being up here a few times with that kook to and you know, you know, I was trying to, yeah. I was trying to Somebody say certain things, yeah, but, but, the, but here's the thing. Well, but, no, no, here's the thing. Here's, no, 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 well. Yeah. Uh, my whole thing is this. On, Listen, can we, can we the, a, but see, that's the thing that always. Your bill. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. As soon as you finish your bill, um, we got to do this. We have to. We have to do our because our, our tea ceremony. Yeah, yeah we got to do the tea ceremony. Damn, can't, damn, have, damn. can't have the podcast without <laughs> doing tea. What, what, what <laughs> you drink? Uh, what you drink? Because uh, we're doing tea. American. It's getting yeah, too deep we, right we, now. We drink. So it's getting. It's about to get real deep. <laughs> Yeah, and I can tell we're about to take it up to African American. How you not an African American? You got a passport. I'm talking about how how did my thinking all of a sudden? He's not saying. He not getting what yo, I'm saying. I got to honor the chat room. I know you don't want to be an African American, yo. We yo, some of the greatest yo. people on planet Earth, yo. Uh, we, know are, we, we are, we are, we are. We are, but you some of us don't like that. The African -American? No, you, the way you said it was sarcastic. You didn't say it as he, he it was said, an enduring said, term. Yeah, yeah, he, he said, said it like, yo, 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 the way that you speaking is is Afro-American and it's this. And I'm like, well, how's that? I'm I'm analyzing nature. Nature don't have nothing to do with any particular place that you are. You're just watching your environment yeah. as it is, as opposed to saying that all oh, this and that. Science is observation of nature, correct? No, it's more than that. We pulled the term up yesterday. <laughs> How is it more than that? And nature is everything. Because, because man, it's Sources. more than that. Because it's not only just a blessing. Okay, just okay, Lord. You're sitting around. Go ahead. See, this is what I got. I got to cut the cord, right? Uh -huh. Just because we're sitting around observing nature, don't make that shit science. What, what makes it science Yo, is hold, empirical hold. data. Oh, come on, man. Right, what sorry, makes it sorry, science sorry. is the empirical data and the use of the scientific method which makes it science. Fact. I need to stay strict to it, bro, because uh -huh. we so close. So let me, let me show you something else then. So let me show you what I'm talking right about as far as, as far as scientifically. So when I say people are realist, uh, ritualistic, right, because of their environment, right, their environment, that nature itself, goes through patterns every day. We go through a pattern with nature every day. We are not separate from nature. We are a part of nature. Like you said, we eat Correct. bananas because bananas relate to us. So therefore, if we eat bananas because bananas relate to us, then we understand that bananas, what? Come through to what? The springtime, right? That's the, favorite, that's the best time to eat them because what? That's a part of the harvest, right? So... Ritualistically, we understand that if we plant at a certain time, we yield at a certain time. Yeah. That's right. observation, that's understanding and observing nature, saying that, okay, we understand that during this time right here, 
the soil is right, the temperature is right, you know what I'm saying? And it's time to plant. We tend to that garden and we know that at a certain amount of time, we're going to yield at this certain time. That's from observing nature. So right. therefore, when we talk about being ritualistic and why we believe, we believe because we observe nature and nature has been the best, the best teacher to us. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't disagree with that. Because he said breast, I had to throw it in there. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Hey, also, I, that, I want to say this. Sorry, I've forgotten you all. Mm -hmm. break. What I'm drinking? But, what you but, drinking but, over there? But, uh, uh, we about to drink the tea. What we what, what I do is the uh, uh, the treat the tea ceremony. I know we didn't for um that we're about to do it now. So you can drink whatever you want. I don't care if it's brandy, alcohol, or water, or just yeah, I don't tea. Drink. Okay, cool. Let me All grab right. my drink. Hold yeah, on. grab your drink. Grab your drink. All right, everybody at home. All right, AD, you can hit up the music. Because um, I owe the chat room. This this is the greatest chat room yeah. on the whole web, man. Yo, the Rocketeers. Shout out to the Rocketeers yeah. and the Craftsmen. Because I didn't even shout y'all earlier, but y'all in the building. Y'all full-fledged and y'all up. 536 in the building. Let's get it up to 700 like the other day. Word. And um, we about to turn up. I'm going to go in a little bit more. And I'm enjoying what I'm hearing right now. Yeah. I love biology. When you start talking about biology and it goes into the God spheres of it and it goes into the energy of of how fruits relate to us. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, you know that's, that's, and how that's, fruits, that's, that's, how, yeah. how, 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 season it, how seasons, and that's crazy. Season, you put seasons on your food, too. Yeah, and that's a, that's a yeah. reason why for everything. So with everything, we do in moderation. Not too much of too much of anything makes it all right. That's why the balance is very important. You know what I mean? Hey, so I'm a part of this. Hey, I'm drinking my tea. I'm drinking my green tea. Hey. I'm drinking my dragon green tea. Fire. Tea by Tiffany. Look it up. Fire. Fire. Uh, tea by fire. Fire. Fire, oh. that's bomb Wait, right there. Already on it. All right, on it. yeah, he on it. He on he it. I'm gonna pour. Hey, pour yours first. We're gonna start it from the bottom oh. and come all the way to the top. But y'all got the same tea. What y'all got? Um, we got a. We got a. This one is called. I'm gonna get, let me get the name of it. Oh. Wow. Where y'all get it from? Um, this one is. This one's come from Chato. Chato means tea master. It's from a tea master. Ceremony, ceremony tea spot. This one is called, um, I got it out the bag, but it's called Butte Tea, and it's a mixture of green and black tea. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. I like that, Tiffany Organic Tea. See, this right here is matcha. This is right here from a tea master. So we up on you. We, I'm glad you're on your, you up on your tea yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, come on, shout yo, out Tiffany. To, shout out she to the- She put me on my tea game, yo. Oh, Tiffany? Tiffany? Look it up. Shout out huh? to Tiffany. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna look that up. Is a sister that's doing it? Yeah, Tiffany, oh, yeah, tea, tea by Tiffany, yeah. She could've called it Tiffany. Tiffany. Oh, <laughs> that's good, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> Tiffany, word. I ain't sure I, wanna get on. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah, tell me, come on. All right. All right, come on, we call. All right. Yo, all right, so, Brother Unk, you the, you the guest. So we're gonna um, we're gonna let you say uh, part of the ceremony uh, toast and uh, blessings to everybody. However you want to say it, bro. You can you know shout out whatever you want. And uh, is nah, listening. I just say I say the power comes in the build, mm -hmm. and the build is in the learning. Hey, one two. Out in the hey, hey, D, what you drinking, man? I'm drinking IBC root beer. Watch out, real sugar coming at you. Oh, this was hot. Oh, yeah. yeah, but the aroma and the beautiful taste of this is like berries. Oh, it's, like it's, the, that's what it smells like. Notes of. That was hot. Yeah, yo, yo, smell it. The smell of it is. <laughs> Got a little. Right, I tried to take it in. Yo, hey, man, did oh, you no. burn yourself up? No, no, no. Yeah, no. watch out, wait till next. I know, I know. I burned myself, bro. That shit hot. <laughs> I know, because we were talking so long, I let it get, I got to let it get. That was get bubbling, too, too, too when I saw it. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, forgot, because like, oh, usually it's just right. My yeah. bad. So, no, it's all, all right. Get the it's little right. Name, man. You got to take the little smile in there, man. Sorry. It's good. It's good. Shout out to the chat room. What y'all put in y'all? Yeah, I got Ginger. Shout out to Mildred. Uh, she took she put five on the turn in the blue for me and you. Uh, um, cheers out here. All right, I can't see. Uh, cheers out here. Oh, she drinking some pine needle tea. Oh, that sounds incredible. Don't, don't forget these down here. You got Truth Seeker. Oh, shout out to Truth Seeker. Truth Seeker says all praises to the Most High. 
no doubt from True Seeker. Big up, big up. The Divine, verse is coming. Divine Unique. Um, you still ain't hit him with his verse yet? Nah, I'm Damn, bro. Tall, it's been a long time. <laughs> Divine Unique, 20 on it. He says, formerly C. Jones on here. Oh, yeah, I remember C. Jones. I used to call it Cat. Uh, shout out to Divine Unique. It says, a dub for the love. My nigga Rasul back on. Don't feel uh, don't feel right. Without Rasul. Without Rasul love. Allah love. No doubt. Yeah, so that's from that, Divine oh, Unique, man. brother. Big up the Divine Unique, man. And make sure y'all subscribe to the Killer Priest Podcast. Yo, word. man, hit that super chat. We am here. We paying bills and we are building. No, we're paying yeah. bills, but we're doing the bill. We're, we're the bill that we're doing yeah, yeah. is B-U-I-L-D. That's what we're paying. Yeah. We're, we're paying. We're uh, we're paying the build. <laughs> Fast. Fast. You know what I'm saying? Fast. You know, it's, yeah. it's, 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 and you know, the thing about it is when we start elevating and the, the more tea that we drink and the more liquid that we drink, we get right. the, um, get the information that's, that's, that's coming from the universe itself. Yeah. And it comes through us through, and I want Uncle here, you know, through the magnetic plates of yeah. this, you know, we can, we, <laughs> I can juice it up, but it, it, it's the beauty of, um, the information that's inside these small molecules yeah, that we facts. don't yeah. see yeah. that yeah. governs the rule that which we do see yeah. facts. and that's us being ahead in the physical yeah. form facts. and there's there's information that's given up from uh things that we can't explain but but yeah. things that we could enjoy hey, indeed that's all I'm gonna wow. say to that shout out to the uh, whole chat room yo y'all the best chat room in the world so yeah, keep, yeah. keep it coming and uh <laughs> I got a question. Hit us up. Hit us up. And we have those lines. Shout out to uh, Coach Kendaka. She was the one that when we did. We did open up line. I, I think we should do that again. Yeah, yeah. Today, you know, she had that. Uh, she she uh, had got the lines open up where the people can ask you questions and stuff like that. All right, brother. Um, get in. Uh, it's on um, you. I sent you that link, man, for that tea right there. All right, I'm, a, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna get it from her because we drink tea. We want to promote it. On here, oh, you know she got the, Yeah, she got the, No, no, that's that's something different. That's the next level type of tea. It ain't the, that's, that's it right there. Yep. Shout out to Icy's also. She does tea. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So we're going to have that on here. Shout out to Icy. Icy. Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah, I got it. Tea by Tiffany. Tiffany.com. We on it, brother. Yeah, get on that, man. That's so tea, yeah. www.t by by Tiffany.com. Word. Okay, we got that, brother. We'll put it up there. Word. So yeah, it was a it was a question to ask, right? Yeah. What about the missing link? Right? Well, I would like to say is scientists don't use that term. They do not use that term. In reality, we, we're all the missing link. We're all in transition. There is no missing link. I say it again. Scientists do not use the term missing link. Because when you try to use that term, it's not like something is missing. But of course, a lot of bones is missing. Everything that ever died on planet Earth, you can't get their bones. You know what I'm saying? Extinction is the order of the day. 99% of all things that is created on Earth have went extinct. I'm going to say it again. 99% of all living organisms on planet Earth have went extinct. So, Do you have facts on that? Yeah, that's a fact. Do you have, do you have facts? You want a source on that? Source, source, source. Oh, you know, the primary <laughs> source. You can't just say that. You know, we still, we still here. We still. I was about to say we still. See, everybody here, got so. a chance to say they were, so. but I got to have the source. I ain't that. <laughs> <laughs> source it up. All right. Well, we, if okay. that's true, we'll take your word for it. If, if that's true, that means that we're going to be extinct eventually as well. So you got to also build a. Ooh, well, you got to build on that. Hard. Human beings, if you're according to, that that was hard. according to you. Human beings are going to not exist eventually, right? Uh, but that was a good one. But here's the thing: I believe that amongst amongst the so-called intelligent humans on this planet, they, in my opinion, they're creating a doctrine to leave the planet. This is why you got Elon Musk, another guy who owns Amazon. They have space. Co- they got all this stuff that they're doing. They're doing all the stuff on Mars right now. Could be fake, could be real. We don't know, but that's that's the narrative of it. You know, according to the so-called, hey, I, according you, to the so-called white man. Hold on, let me say this. According to the so-called white man, 
Yeah, the, the the whites the whites are gonna leave. They're gonna they're gonna go to Mars, and leave That'd and be leave. The most stupidest thing. If and they leave ever do and that leave shit. and leave all of us here. That's what they talking about. What is right, the so called doctrine? The new do, the new the new age doctrine. I think that's a throw off though, yo. To be honest with you, I don't. It could you got to be stupid to leave this planet to go to Mars to do what? <laughs> And so you think the sun lasts forever? No, I do not. We already know that. We know scientifically speaking that the sun is not going to last forever. Why not? Because and hydrogen. They say the sun is hold on, hydrogen and helium eventually collide and and and, and can implode to each other to create a white dwarf. So the sun is not going to look. It's going to implode eventually. It's going to die out. It's going to die out. <laughs> You had the components, but you messed that all up. You, okay. you did it. Okay, go ahead. And so go ahead. gravity he love it. He is loves always, it. He loves sun, it. Go ahead. The sun is always fighting against gravity. And so the core, like you said, the hydrogen helium is pushing the core, it's, it's pushing, you know what I'm saying, yeah. the gravity back. When when it no longer has the, the material to push the gravity back, it will implode. The core will get hard, right? And then, like you said, you'll get a, a white dwarf, meaning the sun will get double, triple its size, right? And then it explodes and become a supernova. <laughs> That's so beautiful. <laughs> That's funny. This guy. Shout man. out to Dunkey. <laughs> Dunkey. Hold on, let me get wild. Hey, ball. Catch that. Cause, That's uh, crazy. It's the chat room. Um, crazy, oh, man. I can't believe we said that. I got to read that now because uh, Unk Reich. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 oh, you see it? You like see it, Unk? You see it? Uh, I want the, I want Betty to share my screen. I want the source up. All right. Uh, Dunkey, all right, we got to uh, let him run. Let me read that. Matter of fact, you read that. You want to read right, that? Yeah. It's oh, you read it, Russell. Yeah, you read it. Right. I'll read it. This, this, this guy, this is crazy. This guy, Donkey, look at his fucking name, Donkey. <laughs> Come on, don't disrespect the chat. All just because right. they go, that's what the chat do, man. The all chat right, is, fine. Yeah, he yeah, said, yeah. it's crazy to have Rasul and his dad on the same show. That's a, that, that's a crazy ass Talk about you, huh? <laughs> said, oh, where's my pops? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do like brothers, yo. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all got the same passion too. Y'all got the well, same passion. Uh, well, you know, I'm because just the same school. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Well, Doctor York thing. taught y'all to yell like that. Huh? Now, me, me, me. Did Doctor York used to yell at y'all? Nah, I, I mean, I'm, asking, I'm asking. I'm a serious question. Uh, I had a I had a class with Doc. Oh, he didn't never listen to y'all. That's why y'all yelled. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm no. You question. I'm, I'm, I'm asking questions. I never had like I was never really like a. I wasn't like I wasn't like Wajau and uh, Tahuti and all them guys where they had actual personal classes with him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was just a guy. I listened to the lectures. I got the books. I went down to the land, and he was there. I got I got to meet him a few times because he liked the, the music that we was making, but it was never like a a conversation like 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 this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's a yeah, real. Me too. Yeah, me too. Me yeah. too. Same way as you. Yeah. yeah. But Wajau, Wajau, and Tahuti, and I think yeah. Chuck Morgan, those guys got to actually really yeah. sit down with him. Yeah, and, and 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 uh build with get brainwashed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess that's a you know, you nice know, good old fashioned yeah, brainwashing, yo. Yeah, hold on though. You nah, can't it keeps say, you clean, your thoughts are clean. Yeah. Hold on though, you gotta ask Uncle this. You you didn't learn nothing from Doc? Yeah, learn? I learned I learned how 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 malicious human beings can be. Mm. Yeah, you ain't like, hold on, hold on. You don't, you don't say it, it, nothing that it seems to me. You kind of are you still holding on to the doc? Yeah, yo, you bit? gotta let that go. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go into it. Still holding on. Maybe yeah, 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 yeah. Some, just, some cats on. I know still wear, you know, they still uh, wear the Kangos. They still wear the, you know, what I mean? <laughs> they still, you know, what I mean, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. But they still mm -hmm. won't let go of nah. something's happened in the '60s and the '70s. You well, know, so well, you know, still with, it's their culture still. Ah, man, you know. You know it's hard it to let go. No, nah, no, nah, I'll tell you what it is, man. Bro. I never lived on the land. I never, I never, I never had a personal, I never met the man, you know, personal. He right. just said he like listened that. to your music. Yeah, and but you that, said he met you, you that's, personally. That's, that's, what did he hear I met music? him personally, but it wasn't oh, like a, man. you know, to Unk, no, I'm talking about. You could meet him and do all that, but, but it, it wasn't him. Wasn't, yeah, it wasn't no bill. It was a bill, but it wasn't like a real bill like this. Was he a real. 
<laughs> no, no, yeah, I know. Cause you cause, saw him. Yeah. You saw him in the flesh. Yeah. And you got to talk to him. Talk but to it him, wasn't yeah. real. He ain't really feel what you were saying. Or no, no, really no, no. It wasn't like that. On another level. It was kind of like a celebrity kind of thing. You know, Unk know what I'm talking about. When you, All right. When you um, see Doc so on the explain land. Explain to us, Unk. When you see Doc on the land. You feel what I'm saying? Right, when you see good. Doc on the land and stuff, mm-hmm. even if you get the medium. Yeah. All right, if you a guy that's not really in 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 the lives in the phone. community, yeah. if you don't live in the, the community and you he, see him, he sees you he, all the time. You're just a guy that's coming up. He may like your art or whatever. You he know sounds what I'm like a narcissist. And he you, you make some t-shirts or whatever, and he hook you know, boom bang boom. He sends you some books. He might yeah. give you some cash. You know what I mean? Because he like what you're doing. You representing him. Right. But I I, I was never really that close. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't, in, he wasn't part of the daily activities. Yeah, I wasn't really a part of the daily activities. So why is it so hard to let go? I, I say that because I, I was never really in there like that. I wasn't in there like Wajau and uh, Tahu. You wasn't and, a uh, part of the, the real, his thing. and Because and, I didn't live on the land. I right. wasn't building I wasn't building. But you pushed, his, building, you pushed his but I message. Pushed I pushed the you message. Put, you pushed his message. You and believe I got more the, in his word, in the message, than, than in him. the messenger. Yeah, I think that's that's really what it was. Yeah. Yeah, so the really message the message is what caught people. And yeah. that's how it, it is for most of these fake preachers. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And yeah. these fake uh, leaders out there that manipulate most of the... Most of, Young people. It's yeah. mostly the young people. It's a lot of older people. Yeah, because I, yeah. I was young. I was young. I was young. But if you have your father in your life, yeah. if your father is in your life, that's why yours is a weird uh, situation. I'm not trying to just point you right. out, but I'm just saying, if you have, and I like what Unc said, if you have your father in your life that can protect you from certain things, you know what I mean? Just like uh, uh, get manipulated uh, by older men who's yeah. preying on the minds of younger people. And this mm-hmm. is what I, what I say. Mm-hmm. And um, lure them in with. Beautiful uh, talking loud, but ain't saying really nothing. That's what that James Brown song meant. Yeah. Then you could go, and now I, and it seems to me, Unc elevated beyond that. And then mm-hmm. Unc, I got to give Unc his flowers on this part. Yeah. Seems to me, Unc elevated above that and wasn't caught up in that zone. In the height. And, yeah. and, and but was, gave him respect, but just. Well, I don't, I don't think, I don't think. I'm not think, putting him above you, No, brother. no, 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 Just don't, no. Don't get emotional. I don't think, Just give me grab my No, no, because you got, you got people <laughs> like. Case. No, I, I'm not, I'm not agreeing, I'm not disagreeing with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with any. Yeah. I think that people like myself and Wajau, like I said before, I think that we joined the organization for a common cause. I mean, yeah. you know, we was trying to, you know, I, Wajau worked right with him. So he got to see the whole thing. I think yeah. Tahuti, but Alan, Tahuti, Alan, or right. also Tahuti. I don't know Wajau Tahuti, two different individuals. But Chuck Morgan, yeah. Chuck but Morgan Chuck elevated Morgan, out of there too. He, he got out of there as well, and he, he got elevated out of, his consciousness. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chuck Morgan is like he, he's like the he's, I say that Chuck is like more of like he's really the reporter of the of the of the madness hmm. of the <laughs> madness. That's, that's, that's what he is. That's a good way Chuck. to put it. Chuck, Chuck Morgan, yeah, it, it, Chuck Morgan seen York steal his work. I told you, I yeah. actually learned from Chuck Morgan, right? That's deep. That's Chuck deep. Morgan's work. That's deep. Yeah, That's deep. And he didn't get well, credit for his work. He didn't get to credit. Who? Well, yeah. a lot of stuff. I mean, you know, you can go into that too. But I just feel like, like a lot I think of us. Tahuti went, went out of there too. Go ahead, yeah, go Tahuti got out of hey, there as well. Was able to think though, man, so I can share the screen. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give him yeah, a link. It's, a, it's uh, an old saying, so, man. So he can share his, uh, his source. Shout Thank out you. to the engineer, man. I think... Uh, peace, shout peace. Out, What's shout good? Out, uh, I think he needs What's some. Good? He want to share some of his sources. Oh, you want to share your screen? All right. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. One second, yeah. one second. Uh, yeah, I didn't get to tell you that last time, man. Appreciate, you know what I mean? No your doubt. Work, man. No hey, doubt. Thank hey, you, sir. I want to ask you a question, Unc. So uh, I'm right you're, you're, you're all set to share, by the way. I'm going to give you a lot of props. Because I'm glad you I'm glad you bust too. I still drink tea like me. I'm glad, down, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you bust Tahiti. I'm glad you bust Tahiti behind. Call him Tahiti. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mix it with the tea. It's now Tahiti now, right? Tahiti, Tahuti. <laughs> I'm glad you bust his behind when you brought up the primary. Because I tried. I brought up maybe like four primary <laughs> sources that I thought that won that debate about the pyramids. And right. I seen that. I seen that you was debating in them. And a lot of people went big up to the big up to the the chat room. I love you guys, man. You know what I mean? I, I was watching that the other night when, when you was on there with the hoodie man. And they they was quoting quoting my stuff, quoting quoting your stuff, and it was great. It was great. This is what it's all about. My whole thing is is that, you know, this guy, he tried to say, 
we got to get an engineer on 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 the uh, on the show. A guy that understands engineering, the precision, the precision of architecture and engineering, because he tried to say that the Africans sailed up the Nile, the pyramid was already there, and then they just <laughs> built on the foundation and yeah, figured it all out. That's not going to, like you said, it's never going to work sitting amongst real geologists, sitting amongst real architects, sitting amongst real scientists. You can't step in there and say that and then say the Nitiro built it. That, yeah. that doesn't, that, that's, you can't use that in science. But well, hold on, we're going to get him. Let me show this, this real quick, because you're right. So this is National Geographic that says, what are okay, mass let's... extinctions and what caused them? Uh, it says, gotta, uh, in the last uh, 50 million I'm, I'm, years, I'm, 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 last 500 million years, life has, has had to recover from five catastrophic blows. Are humans dealing uh, with planet of six? Now it says more than 99%, just like I said, more than 99% of all organisms that have ever lived on Earth are extinct, right? As new species evolve to fit ever-changing ecological niches, right? You gotta understand what ecological niche is. Older species fade away but the rate of extinction is far more constant. At least a handful of times in the last 50 million years, 75 more than 90% of all species on Earth have disappeared in a geological blink of an eye. And catastrophic, and catastrophe, my fault, and catastrophes we call mass extinction. No, I'm saying it wrong. Catastrophes. Catastrophes that we call mass extinction. That's my source. Now, let me finish this. This is what I learned being in Uwak. This is how you defeat this. This is by Neil, Neil deGrasse. Watch this. He says, science, science literacy is a vaccine against the charlatans of the world that would exploit your ignorance. Once again, let me say again. Science Literacy is a vaccine against the charlatans of the world that would exploit your ignorance. And so that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to figure out how did I get exploited? I got exploited because I was ignorant to science, science and literacy. That's why I did that. That's why with my man right there, when he talking his talk, you know what I'm saying? I know how to separate it. I can enjoy the way yeah. he called us a battery. Uh -huh. I know the flavor and the life he bringing with it. I can enjoy that and not really think he was a battery. Because I'm scientifically literate. I can understand he's talking about the charges. And how it works. I can make the correlation. That's not a problem. The correlation, that's not a problem. But I'm saying early in the game, trying to learn my history, I couldn't make that distinction. That's why I stay strict with the science. You know why? Because our ancestors brought the world at. And if y'all didn't learn nothing else from me last time, I showed you that the creation of the scientific method comes from Africa, right? And the creation of science comes out of Africa. And it was brought to European nations. I showed that in the debate. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question to build on what you were saying. That piece that you was talking about, we got the Africa with the unk. I'm wearing the unk right now. You wearing the unk right now. Yeah. Is that yeah. a scientific symbol? No, not at all. What? No, it's not a no, scientific it was the, symbol. It was used for for a sandal. Actually, it was used for a sandal, right? And then when you see the nexus on the wall, you'll see him hold it, giving life. So it means life. And could be part of a sandal. Simple as that. I read the book, The Science of the Unk, too. <laughs> you ever read that book? I have read that book. That was a good book, but that wasn't. You nah, don't that's believe not that to the, be science, that's not, the, that's not what the meta metrics say, though. That's not what but the meta metrics say. I'm just saying nothing wrong with that, though, yo. We just got a little difference. Ain't nothing, I'm telling you, ain't nothing wrong with that. So you don't believe that the Unk is a symbol of negative and positive energy? No, I don't believe nothing. I gotta be, you got to show and prove it. I'm not here to believe, I'm here to know. As a human being, we're here to know and discover our world and understand our world so we can live and survive in our world. That's it. Okay. So when we hey, look baby. on the battery, right, you look on the battery like the battery in your <laughs> car. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because it's relevant to life because, like I said, okay. the human body itself is a battery. You know, we, we're composed of both negative and positive energy. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes our attitudes are negative and sometimes our, okay. you know what I'm saying, attitudes are positive. There's only two energies that roam around us, you know what I'm saying? Day and night, the moon and the sun, negative and positive. Okay. So the unk itself is a symbol 
of negative and positive. So therefore, being that it's a symbol of negative and positive by the key at the bottom and the hole at the top, then we understand that that symbol is a symbol of negative and positive energy, therefore making it a scientific tool. You know where that come from, right? Where does it come from? It come from Madame Bavowski, the Theocratical Society. Mm -hmm. It, it comes from the very white people you claim you don't want to listen to. Yeah, it's called it's called New Age Science. New Age Science, not science. What they did was in the 60s, you know what I'm saying, taking acid, smoking weed, free love and all that. They mixed all the religions together. And the one that led the way was, uh, uh, I, I just said her name, Madame Mavowski. Uh -huh. She started the Theocratic Society. You can look at her, uh, her symbol, you know what I'm saying? And she mixed all the religions together. Y'all lie to you not, dog. So the uncle itself, you're saying, is, is the the uh, um, the definition of it, you're saying, comes from her, but not the definition yeah, of what it comes from. But not, yeah, what it says on the, uh, not what it says on the wall. Yeah, it's not on the wall. Our ancestors just sent, just used it. Whenever you see the word life, uh -huh. this was actually the word for life. For life, Remember yeah. Remember glyphs? Had found had meaning, yeah. so it was life. Yeah. yeah, true indeed. So life itself, how is life created? I just told you, don't nobody know that right now. It's how not nobody wrong. Nobody know that if 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 well, a man, yeah. let me finish. If a man and a woman come together, right? Oh, you mean that? Yeah, yeah. The sexual union, yes. So that's how life is created, right? That's how human life is created. I so, thought you mean the origin of my fault. Yes. So a man represents what kind of energy? Positive, right? Yeah, because they say, because we got opinions, go ahead. And then the female represents negative, right? Why she always got to be negative, though, yo? That's, that's why I mean, that's, that's just, not... I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm not staying in the aspect of her attitude is negative, even though we know it's a lot of queens out there with some negative attitude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about her being negative in the aspect of meaning that she's a receiver. Like, because when you study the battery, you understand that lead itself is a puller. It receives energy from copper. It ignites it through the combination of water and salt, chemically reacting with copper and lead and producing electricity. That's how you make a battery from scratch. So when you put that energy together of negative and positive and those juices flow, that salt and that water, that's what creates an electrical spark. And when you create okay. electrical spark, you produce life. You see what I'm saying? We actually have an electrical charge when we produce life. So therefore, when we produce life, that's why we wear the unk, because unk represents that negative and positive energy coming together to create life. That's why it's called the key. That's why it's called life, because when you bring negative and positive energy together, and just like on the car, it's, it's really simple. You know what I'm saying? I always was taught that when you look at Kim and look through Kim and through the simple as eyes. Don't try to make it too, you know what I'm saying, extravagant. Just look at it through the simple as eyes. Our people understood that when they came together, that's why balance is so important. That's why Set is pushing so much of gender, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 neutrality and trying to get rid of what nature naturally created and try to confuse the people by saying, no, you can be negative, but at the same time positive, and this, but that don't produce life. What produces life is when a man and a woman comes together, that produces a child. That actually produces the chemical reaction to start the ovary and the sperm to chemically melt together to produce a child. So being that that's the key to life. And then not only that. That can be scientifically proven that negative and positive energy produce electricity. That's why I say we batteries because it's the electrical charge inside of us that we maintain because we got to drink water and eat salt every day to survive. Yeah. I, I, hey, I got to let you build, yo. You building. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say that's what the that's what the unk represents. You know what I'm saying? It is a scientific tool because it's an actual scientific fact. And like right. you said, and scientific saying, fact is what I'm saying is a scientific tool to the pseudoscientists that created new age science. Our ancestors on the walls, which Wuja can read. We got a whole translating team. They can read the mathematics. And none of them say that. That's a pseudoscientific explanation for this. This is simply life. Yeah, that's I, what uh, life what is. About, uh, also, I, I want like to point you out. It, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I, you know, I learned it like you learned it. Yeah. And just like bust me out with the glitch and say, "Come on, yo." <laughs>
Then what I'm gonna well, say? If I'm I mean, follow my ancestors. I think that, I, follow my ancestors. there's a lot of a, a, there's a lot of uh, symbols in in Kemet or in the glyphs for life, as well. Mm -hmm. like, you know, we could talk about the uh, um, the dung beetle, or just the story of Ra emerging from emerging from the um, from the darkness. Yeah, the dung beetle going through its transition, transition, and coming out. The whole story of of how Ra Ra came about. Mm -hmm. That right there precedes in, precedes the forces of nature because the forces of nature made Ra come about. Yeah. And it wasn't, and, and, and he wasn't born, it, it, an animal wasn't used. It was an insect, insectosaur. Yeah. So, you know, let's say, you can say insects as animals or whatever, but yeah. they're not like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, or she like primates or whatever they use the bug. They yeah, use, they use the insect or a bug. Yeah. So. Top chat fifty five. Yeah. But she like when I study Kemet, I look at like like the unk to me is the most important key factor because like you said it's the symbol of life. Right. So from life, everything everything goes to a procession of life. Whether it's any being on this earth, we go through a procession of life. Yeah. The opposite of that is death. That's all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So being that the opposite of that is death then we know that if a human being is born, we know that the sun is born. Mm. Because yeah. everything has to go through that cycle in order for life to be produced. Right, right. So we're not separate from the moon, we're not separate from the sun, we're not separate from the stars, we're not separate from a plant. Because we all going through the same cycle. What's that same cycle? Of life and death. You know what I'm saying? And that's everything. Everything goes through that. So you can't, we, you know what I'm saying? When they showed Newt and showed how Newt was giving birth to Ra, I know that to be true because everything has to go and be born. Because that's how the universe is set up. The universe is set on the dual of nature. You have light and you have darkness. They both coexist, but at the same time separate. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Same mm. thing with good and evil. They both coexist, but at the same time separate. Like a battery. Like a battery. Negative and positive energy. But that's the scientific fact of how we build technology. We take that same science from life, and use it and put it in the form to make technology for us so that we can create things. But all we're doing is borrowing from nature because nature is the best teacher and observation of nature is the best teacher. Yeah, but I thought, I thought life was eternal though. It is eternal. So, so if life is eternal, how can death be the opposite of life? Because life keeps going on. See, I, I got four kids. Talk, Let me, yeah, for real. And See, I, I the same blood, I'm, I'll give it to you. The yeah, same blood, the same blood that's in me is in my son. Correct. Right. Yep. Yeah. So you the did. same blood that's in me is in my son. That means life eternal. Because all I did was pass my blood on to him. We now it might not that. be in the same physical mm. form that I'm existing in, but my same blood that's in him is gonna be in him. It's like the same blood that was in my great granddaddy is in me. Like, so oh, life is eternal because I, all we're doing is rebirthing and passing the bloodline. I've got to fix his hat on that one. <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah, carbon, it's called a carbon copy. I you agree with you, though. But I'm saying I agree with you, but then you say death was the opposite of life. And I said, how could that be if life is eternal? Because this physical form go fall back to the soil. And that's a form of death. Just like it's well, coexisting at the same time. That's why I say... They both exist. They coexist at the same time. So what happens is, is that when your shell fall, if you produce life, that life keeps going. But your shell fall. Same thing with the sun. Suns, they heat up, explode, and then they gravitate and pull back. You see what I'm saying? Actually, when suns explode, they create dust clouds, right, which yeah. would ignite other stars. Yeah. Right? True so indeed. the reason I said life is eternal, because you can look at the Nile Valley and look mm -hmm. at our ancestors and know when, when when things die, the same things die in the river, right? Yeah. Hippopotamus eat an alligator, or an alligator, a crocodile eat a hippopotamus, and you presuppose it's dead or somebody drowns, mm -hmm. and they fall to the bottom of the Nile Valley, mm -hmm. right? And they decompose. But yeah, but when the when the when the, when the flood comes and the Nile floods. And that dark soil, mm -hmm. that which you thought was dead, actually brings life again. Thanks. No more different than when the salmon go upstream, right? Yeah. And the bears come and eat it and feed it to their cubs, give life. True when indeed. they get to the end of the salmon run, 
and it decomposes in the soil, mm -hmm. it gets nutrients to the flowers and the plants. So, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so actually, death fuels life on planet Earth. That's why That's I say they both coexist. They I just yeah. want to hit that real quick. Yeah. Well, they both coexist. There's a yeah. correlation going on right there. Yeah, they both coexist. You, know, you can't have you get you can't have death without life. So yeah. you, you, there, there's no definition like for needed. death. Yeah, some got to die for some to live. Let but me you get, know what's crazy Hold about on, let that? me let me give a shout out real quick. Shout out to Dominic Green, put 999 on there. I remember when science was micro and, and the most high was macro. It is interesting how society goes in cycles. Where we change the lens, we view reality. I like this build. Y'all having peace to y'all. Peace. Yeah. Mildred, uh, Mildred, uh, what's his, Mac, uh, Map, Map, Ogna. Uh, Mildred Mac Obna. The unk is the key Mapanga. to Mapanga. Mapanga, okay. Uh the unk is the key to life. Shapes is shapes of the uterus. Womb is ancient life. From the womb to the tomb. That's hard. That's hard. Shout out to the chat room coming through. Dominique Green once again, nine nine nine, says, To me it seems Unk is a humanist, and y'all want to romance uh, romance or spiritual bill out of him. And he's saying y'all not wrong. And it's cool, but it's grounded. Laughing out loud, no pun intended. <laughs> good, good, good ish, y'all. Yeah. Y'all yeah. see, see the screen? Okay, yeah. we about to hold up. We about. I to. see that book so so many times. Yeah, I see that. In my that. lifetime. In fact, I probably Jones. had that. <laughs> That's it, right here. I, I think I had they that. Oh, space yo. without time. I got you. Yeah, I see you, Dom got Dominic. Shout out to Dominic Green. No space without time. Yeah. That's go true. ahead. That is true. The secret doctrine, value one. Exactly. There you go, cosmogenesis. Yep. The synthesis of science, religion, and philosophy. Mm -hmm. H.P. Belowski. Mm -hmm. He's a pseudo sophisticate, yo. Yeah. Uh, but you got to be grounded in science. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, you, you know. know oh, sorry, go ahead. But, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, like, uh, you know, it's one thing to have pseudo science. That's what I talk about. But so if you can't physically make it, an actual scientific, you know what I'm saying, experiment that actually produces something, then it is that because you can't actually make it. That's why I always re uh, uh, correlate back with the battery. You'll probably hear me say that a thousand times because that's something that you can actually make and show and prove that it's a scientific device that will produce and, and build electricity. AD. So therefore, when you understand technology, we understand that the basis of technology is the battery because everything that we use, even that phone that you got in your hand, produces an electrical current. So that's how the science of, you know what I'm saying, us understanding life and understanding our correlation with water and electricity of how we're built on this planet. And that's where all the technology comes from that. You feel what I'm saying? Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Go ahead, AD, hit him in the head. You, you, you said. All right. Breaking news, John um, McAfee found dead hours ago in prison cell. Who's that? John McAfee? Yeah. No. Who, he who said, is he? Uh, he was said many times, pull him up real quick, I don't know. He was said many times, but he came to my phone like, he's breaking news, I don't even know who he is. John J McAfee. Yeah, Who's John, John McAfee? McAfee found dead. He said many times he would never commit suicide, but they're making it look like it was a suicide hung by the neck. What's the guy who was trafficking little kids? Was he down with him? Um, you talking about? Um, uh, yeah, you talking about? He did. Boy. That, that hung his himself. Had but his this guy, this guy stuff. name is um, John McAfee. It's, it's McAfee. It's the guy McAfee. that made the uh, antivirus software. Oh. What? oh, the guy who made the antivirus software is. Why did found they lock dead. him up? Why did they lock him up? Uh oh. I don't even know why he was in jail. John McAfee, yeah. Antivirus creator found dead in prison cell. Wow. Yeah, that That's sounds, real news? That sounds a little sketchy. It's BBC. BBC, oh yeah. Well, BBC has the, the real news. Yeah, it's real news. So well, he created I heard it here first, yo. You know, you know about him, um, um, antivirus guy? I never heard. I never heard. Of him. I'm trying to figure why he locked up. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. Why is he why locked up? Why was he in jail if he created a a, a cure? Well, he's stoned. Maybe, 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 maybe. Yo, he's about to expose some stuff. 
They yeah, put him in there. Definitely. And they sent the guys in there to take him out. I mean, definitely. It's crazy, man. Mm, definitely. Remember that one brother? Somebody said, tack, uh, shout out Tyrone Taylor. Tyrone Taylor Jr. Shout out to Tyrone Taylor Jr. Tax Invasion. I know tax a Tyrone Taylor. Wow. Yeah. That's the way he's going to tax invasion. They yeah. always get him like that. Then they put it, they put something they, to it. Then they, know? then they, they, yeah, man, it's crazy out here, man. Cyrus Biz is mad as hell. He says, uh, they tried to take him out like two times before that. Fire, wow. fire. He tried to well, get Well, he's dead before. now. He's gone now. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy, man. You got to watch out for the alphabet boys, man. man. You got to watch out, man. FBI, These guys, CIA. you know, they, oh, they, yeah. they, 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 they the most shadiest individuals on the face of the planet Earth, man. Hmm. You don't have to worry about the bloods and the crips and the, and the, the cartels and all that stuff. You got to worry about the alphabet boys. And what's fucked up about, excuse my language, YouTube, what's messed up about the alphabet YouTube boys. YouTube says, we're welcome. Uh, 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 what's messed up about those guys, and I have nothing against them, because I don't want them coming to get me uh, or sending someone to kill me. Hmm. But, uh, you know, here's the thing about it. Like, you're going out there, and, you, you know, there's a lot of guys. I don't want to say names. And it's just like, you know, when they come for you, bro, they're going to come for you. And it's like they got every gun to kill you. They got drones. They got robots. They got software. It, it, you can't take them out. It's like Agent Smith, yo. The Matrix and shit. The shit is real. Yeah. Like, it's called you know, Organized Army, yo. Yeah. That's yeah the, the, uh, if, any, if I'm afraid of anybody... It's probably the alphabet boys, only because I, I know how deadly these guys are, and they'll send they'll send a homeless guy to take you out. Hey, um, hmm. what yeah. got what <laughs> got you? <laughs> I know it's a homeless guy to take you out, man. <laughs> yeah, what what got you started on this um on this whole mission that you on? Like uh, this whole been in the cold for five years, yo. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Been in the cold. Come on, you know well, you learned. Well, no, the top. What, what, what you say? Yo, you know you learned. You learned something from Wu Nuwap, man. Well, you at least, learned, at least you learned something from Nuwapo. You said no, it on I'm camera, sure, brother. Man, that that what I what I learned from that, I could have learned in a science class, yeah. in a real damn class, right. yo. I had to go. I, I didn't have to go through that experience. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. If it, I was trying to you literally, don't cut him off. Hey, I'm gonna tell you how you sound. So I'm gonna be honest with you. You sound like you a person that don't want to let go of Dr. York's teacher. Yeah, come on, yo. Dr. York. You sound like, I mean, how do you run with you? Uh, you sound uh, like you're holding on uh, to Dr. York. Uh, the last yeah. bit. You the last, you the last the member. Last, the last samurai. Yeah, yeah you the last That's crazy. member. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, York didn't, I'm saying he didn't it's bring that groundbreaking no original to the game, yo. He just, he, he did what Madame Mavowski and him did right. in the European communities, yo. Yeah, he was a so sophisticated, but Europeans actually started that game, right, of being pseudo. That's their game right there. The whole theocratical society, the whole new age science that everybody think they're going through already. Dude, I did that already back in the back in 2000. So what I'm saying is, look, man, y'all y'all can't get me. That's why your man with the nonsense with, with the pyramids was oh, ridiculous. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like like this guy right here, look at the end of the conversation we was having, after two hours and a half of trying to make this Negro being show a source, he finally shows a source and sneakily leaves out the shit and sneak it in like we're supporting him. I pulled the shit up and read it. Nigga stop lying. That that like the like the source said, it said the inner casings, we talking about those big blocks, were on this local site. 500 meters away in the rock quarry. It said that. And then the eight ton shit you talk about that came from Aswan was strictly a few stones that was building the uh, the king's chamber. Nigga, you lie. why you gotta lie if you so sharp? Why you gotta confuse people if you so sharp? Why you got a spider running around your damn hat? I was waiting for the spider to jump off on one of y'all. I know y'all the dope off. That'll made my night. He said that was made his night. Yeah, I'm on the I'd have hooked him too, yo. As soon as he jumped down, I'd have hooked him right over there to the cat. Like, I don't know if you seen. We all caught up on the web. I know, right? Everybody on the web. You know, you know. I had a debate. I had a debate with the same. Let me finish my point. I'm just trying to say this, man. The guy is sneaky. He's trying to use that Malachi York nonsense. 
He's missing. He can't read no glyphs. We got Wu John them, yo. They read glyphs, man. Yeah, that's Shout true. out to Smash Rockwells. Yeah, he said Killer Priest. He was on one of his albums too, yo. Who, he who? said shout out to Killer Priest. Shout out to him. Who, who, yeah, yeah, when you gonna need to bring Smash through, yo? You know he the metal Who, who scout you talking about? Rap. Smash. Rap What's his real name? Rap God, man. Jonathan Owens, man. It's rap God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely rap God. Yep. Oh, you okay. gotta bring him through. You got you gotta bring him through. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me build with him. I gotta build with him yeah. first. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah no problem. Yeah. No problem with that. And there's so yeah. many rap gods, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know he ain't got an so actual specific, he ain't got yeah, a specific he title. He ain't got a specific, that's his good call. Yeah, rap God. Yeah, but my, my point is, is that this guy, man, got on this panel, right? The guest gallery. Did every he tried to like, <laughs> can we please gallery. pin you down, sir? Is the nature root what? Oh, they some super human beings. That's not what the text say. That's not what the literature says, dog. Mm -hmm. We can go to the green Sahara, right, and find men with masks. The same thing you see in Egypt, right? That mm -hmm. ain't got nothing to do. That's part of their imagination. That's part of their religion and part of their spirituality. They never thought they was real. Nobody thinks an alligator with, with human hands and feet are real. And I'm saying to get on here and profusely do that for days in and days out. The lie about it. I'm saying our people deserve more than that. First of all, black people use math, engineering, and science. The whole world gives them credit for that. He want to come and take it away with one swoop of the pen. Him and that nut that's in Africa right now hiding. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mighty Hebrew, know the, the, the mighty. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I love Hebrew. Hebrew. I love he Mighty Hebrew. Hebrew. Why you gonna come you at Mighty Hebrew, 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 Hebrew like that, man? All right, all right, all right, man. All Yo, man. both of them fools. The mighty he fools say the pyramids was built in 400,000 years ago in Naga in India some damn way. So, so once again, black people can't do it. It's got to be the Nagas to do it, the serpent people to do it. This fool get on here with a spot on his hat talking about the next group did it. How come black intelligent people that went to school, That's engineering right. school, artisans, mathematicians, workers, uh, you know what I'm saying? How come they couldn't have did it, bro? That, that's what I, that's why I was infuriated. That's why I stayed on that nigga head, because it's not right, yo. I'm trying to inspire the next generation to get in tune with science, bro. Not to get in tune with your fucking chakras, but to get in tune with science so you can build great edifices like that again for your people, bro. Well, and you he, know what? I yo, gotta let's say, bro, oh, brother, boy, let me say this real quick. Brother Sanchez, I mean, Brother Sanchez, see, uh, can you dig it? Was always was on your side also. He on my side? Give, yeah, he tried to give you some pointers. Remember, he tried to call in and give you some pointers. You didn't take no pointers from nobody when you was doing it. Well, but, he, well, he, 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 <laughs> but I got to say this. He do agree with you also on that. I got to say that from Can You Dig It. Yeah. Hmm. Well, here's the thing. I think that Unc ain't see that. I don't know if you've seen that debate, right? But well, I showed the ancient, uh, ancient, the ancient glyph. I showed the actual... Uh, uh, ancient drill that's in the museum. You, I forget what museum you can go go to. And I talked about the uh, the moon moonier or the uh, the monair uh, uh, papyrus that they found. Uh, maybe like further further past Aswan, who are actually the, the pyramid builders mm. who cut the, the cut the limestone and and brought it up the Nile. His whole explanation for that. Was no, they didn't do that. You tra he, he tried to de debunk the, the, yeah, the, the evidence that I provided from you know so called Egyptologists, but this stuff is this stuff is accepted, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I tried to show real, real evidence. He tried to say none of that stuff is, is true and that the pyramid was built already, and then the, the Africans uh sailed up the Nile, it was already built, and then they just built on top of. Up on top of what is already there. That's impossible. No engineer or geologist would agree with something like that. The, 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 just just the, uh, the precision and skill of how they did it. You can't, listen to me, go ask any engineer. You can't have, the foundation is already laid for something as, as uh, a strategic, in the, precision, the mathematical precision of, of, of how they cut the stones and laid them. You can't just Walk up to something like that and say, okay, I know how to build on top of that to make it perfect. That's impossible. Hmm. Most engineers will tell you that the engineer and the architect are the ones that show you the blueprint on the actual foundation of the building first. Hmm. Then they build on top of it. So he's yeah. wrong. Tahuti is wrong for trying to say 
and he's actually discrediting black people or Africans by saying mm -hmm. Africans sailed up the Nile and it was already built and didn't say, oh, well, yeah, they just added on to what was already built. No, he, he didn't discredit Africans. Well, he did. He said he, said he, did. he said they were already built. It's like that don't. Yeah, he said they was already built. That's discrediting yeah, black that's, people. That's saying he, he's and actually he's um, actually agreeing with the Euro Eurocentrics. Listen, man, you're not gonna refurbish no damn house if if, if you don't fuck. First of all, they make you get building permits, right? They yeah. make you no. You, you just can't go. No, he, he said that they look like us, right? Yeah, he's, you, no. I'm saying you cannot. Refurbish a property without having classes and structural integrity. Because if you go in there and move the wrong beam, trying to make something different, the whole fucking house fall down. So you have yeah. to have an understanding of being a builder. So you're not going to put no limestone cases and all this on no damn pyramid if you don't have working now on how they fucking built. It makes no sense. You're going to jump up, look at the building. Yeah, put the stuff on there. Come on, man. It's a bunch of... It's a bunch of... <laughs> yeah, it's... it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's do it hey, hey, um, like, this is what man. I'm talking about. If you know all this information, you two, why don't y'all go on, on Ancient Aliens and tell them that? That's no, a good... Know that well, crazy -ass white people should have I'm not... Yeah, I ain't trying to argue with them. Right. The David Hatcher children's and uh, all these other dudes... Yo, man, listen oh, to me, man. Those you, are the, 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 this is the reason. Yo, yeah, hold on. Let me say this. Um, this is the reason why you have this kind of pseudo information out there because of no disrespect. I ain't trying to be racist to those white guys who created that narrative, including Zechariah Sitchin. Mm. Yeah, him too. Nibiru, excuse me. Nibiru hasn't came. It's 2021. Mm. Where's the spaceship at, Doc? Well, Where's it at? Start, you just started. This whole conversation saying they're well, showing that you told that guy that they're having pure, I mean, they're having UFOs all over. Right well, you they're, said, they're you said well it's all out here's there. the thing. It's, excuse me, sir. Well, it's out there. The conversation is out there. You know what I'm saying? And it's a good conversation to add, but and that has nothing to do with the pyramids and Egypt and all that. That's the, all that's pseudo. You we don't know about the bureau. You, 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 well, that, what, what I'm saying, let me separate mm -hmm. it. You got the, the cycle, you got all this stuff about Nibiru and extraterrestrials, everything. Everything is on Never this planet right. about about extraterrestrials being creating human beings. I'm fine with all that, but when it and then you well, have I the UFO. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish what I'm saying. Oh, now you man. have the UFO thing. The UFO thing is an illogical statement. I've always said it that unidentified flying objects is, is illogical because you're talking about something that you don't even understand. Yes. That's that's one thing I'm gonna say. So I want to say on this on the show is that. You don't gotta yell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can hear you, bro. That that that. Yeah. Yes. Like you, yeah, Here's the thing. Yes. Said, now yeah. the, 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 yeah. the so-called the so-called unidentified flying object. You know. That now it's real. They're talking about it. But that that doesn't mean that there's Martians from other planets flying around. It, it could be anything, really. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So the whole the whole concept of um, Anunnaki's creating human beings, I'm not even saying is, is, is wrong. What I'm saying is, where's the real proof? Because Zechariah Sitchin, a lot of that stuff is, is based off of, you can, most scientists say it's pseudo-information. Yeah. And they said Nibiru was, should have been came and got Dr. Goddess. York was the main one to talk about. He was the main U one. Talk about UFOs. Well, yeah. no, Sitchin, no, Sitchin no, was. No, Sitchin that. was. Sitchin, them, Sitchin was the one, first yeah, one. Yeah, Dr. York, 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 York. He brought it to the okay. black community. And Dr. Yeah. York. He brought it to us, the black that. community. Okay. Yep. Yeah, he blackened it. He blackened yeah. it. What about this? I was about to sing the song "Sweet Low Sweet oh, Chariot." Yeah, 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 that's great. Yeah. Yeah. What You're were crazy. they talking about when they when they sung "Sweet Low Sweet Chariot"? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was. I mean, hey man, I, hey, I would have rather I would have believed in that back like, then if I was really I running saying, from like, the slave masters. It's a, I would have believed. Sweet low, I would have believed in that. It's a saying, man. It says, "Never put too much faith in leaders because then you lose your ability to know when you've been deceived." Nice. Mm. Yeah. Never, never say that real slow. I don't want to get the meat out of this because people yeah, things go past. It's yeah, a say fast it, yeah. society. Go ahead. Never put too much faith in leaders because then you lose your ability to know when you've been deceived. Here you go. Yeah. So I like that. <laughs> yeah. That's I like good. that. That's good. I mean, you know, I, I was already we out. All, yeah, exactly. I was already but, out a long yeah. time all, ago. And let me say this uh, uh, before you go, and I'm gonna let you go in. You can go in, um, uh, like what you just said. That was a that's a great quote. quote. Uh, 
we have we have to just we have to do a, a reset and set back too. Because while this whole thing is setting back and just rethink things, and there's nothing wrong with being wrong. No, we yeah. have we have this as us yeah. as people. Period. Just have this thing of. I'm wrong. You're taking things personal. Yeah. And when you take mm-hmm. things personal, that's why it damages your, and this, this damage control to your ego. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And you're living off the false narrative anyway. You're living yeah. off the ego yeah. because we're in an ego society. Fact. This whole society teaches nothing but ego. It pushes ego. Yeah. I mean, you have to be a narcissist to survive. It's the abuse that's mm-hmm. wrong. When you start yeah. abusing people with mm-hmm. that type of egoness, yeah. then you'll start being wrong. But this is a society is totally uh, negative, but we just got to know how to man- maneuver and come back to us being us and Thanks. being a, and being a people without judging and putting... Um, these these uh, pressures on ourselves. Yeah, yeah. And See, I like to go back to the old. Yeah, I yeah. like to. I think that us as a people, what we need to do is go back to the being the old, what I would say, tribal ways. Like for instance, my family, mm-hmm. right? My yeah. blood family, my cousins, mm-hmm. my aunties, my mom, my dad. That's my tribe. Mm-hmm. So my children, that's my tribe. Mm-hmm. We get our land. We build on our tribe. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's deep. You know no, what I'm saying? That's deep. Yeah. And that's Killer hard. Priest get his land, he build with his tribe. Mm-hmm. Me, I might have this over here on my land, you got this over here on your land, we do trade amongst each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Square one. And, yeah, and then if your tribe is cool, because the really the people that run the world right now were the people that kept their tribes together. Yeah. And the people that fell apart and became individualistic and became... You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, dominated by other tribes that were stronger. Right. Then they now they become servants to those tribes. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It, the real way that we build as human no beings is to build our own personal family. So when I look at, when I started studying the, the walls, that's what to me stuck out the most. The king with his queen, his sisters, his family. They all received their power from their divine being, and they gave him the power to rule over his land and his people. Whatever they believe in their aspect of what life was, that was his tribe. That's why they looked at other tribes as being foreigners because they wasn't of the same bloodline. They wasn't brothers, sister, cousins, and things of that nature. They had no overall. But this society that we live in now is a melting pot of all different kind of tribes. And all those different tribes... Even though we say, oh, you know, they're going to spin them in the races, we still come from a bloodline of this is your uncle, auntie, mama, daddy, such and such and such. And when we get back to that as a people, we won't be trying to all come together as one. We'll all come together as tribes. Indeed. Some hey, hey, somebody said, <laughs> I looked at, I glanced at the Western, somebody said the tribe for a quest. <laughs> but that's real talk, you know what I'm saying? I remember Ghost told me something like that one time. Tribe called Quest. Yeah, and like Raekwon said, my seed, marry his seed. Yeah, marry his that's seed. How keep, that's how we keep yeah. Wu-Tang all in the family, yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, yo, it's like... <laughs> We 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 move fast tribes, man. We we at the point of civilizations now. So, so I mean, you move thing, past tribe. I oh, haven't moved past it. no tribe. Let me say you know this. what I'm saying? This is, my, this is my thing that I don't really like. That we actually keep trying to go back to a period and capture something in that period where we got defeated. Please stop taking me back to the point when I lost. What you yeah, talking, nobody talking about when you I'm talking about when we was winning. That's what we studying. We studied Kimmy. You studying when you winning. Listen, man. When you try to make rituals and uh herb magic, incense magic, the melanin power. Oh, you man. know what I'm saying? You know, you you actually take me back to a point in my history when I got beat the fuck up. So what I'm saying is right. We studied the past so we can understand where our mistakes was. We didn't keep up with the arms race. The reason Egypt was successful because they was in the Mediterranean, right? And, and they ran across other people. That's why isolation is so crazy. If, if, if I show you a group of isolated people, if you show me a group of isolated people, I show you some people stuck in the damn rainforest. You know what I'm saying? With about 30 limbs. They ain't gonna make it to the next generation. Isolation is terrible. 
There is no uh, recorded record in history of a people being isolated, you know what I'm saying, being able to survive. A, bu a, a bunch of a group of people that is actually traded with each other and learn things from each other. So that should be the order business today. We That's need to I learn said, from other Lord people. You got to keep up with the arms race, bro. The arms race is serious. You not only got to keep up with the arms race with other nations, right? You got to keep up with the arms race with the viruses. That's why it's so ridiculous to me. Like, I never understand why <laughs> people want to take us back into a point in our history when we was trying to use herbs to defeat viruses. It doesn't well, make sense. Hold on, though. Hold on, Let me say oh, something. Man. Man. Let me say yeah, something. Oh, 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 oh. You had us going, yeah. and then you took the train. You took the train. Oh, yeah. took the train. You had, you was going. You oh, he was flying good. Yeah. Then you just took the plane and flew right into yeah. the wall. Yo, and then you talking? <laughs> you know, you try, oh, oh, you going you gonna try to tell us that natural herbs don't heal? That you we should not use herbs nah, in a natural. He, he switched herb. it to the virus debate. You know what I'm saying? No. Listen, I know. Right. Listen, I, listen. I live. Out, we live out here in Los Angeles, brother. Doctor Sabi's son. Doctor Sabi's son has a store. You can say it like Doctor Sabi's son. You can say it. Has a store up there on Melrose, and um, I don't know. That was, but he's on Melrose. He's yeah. got a yeah. He got a store. He got a store over there, and you know, he told me personally that he healed two people from coronavirus, brother. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, and he has he showed us the proof. So I don't, I mean, and he used it from natural herbs. It's about to go. So, back. so you saying you gonna tell me that uh, you you Where's can't the use natural remedies or, or use the herbs from the planet Earth to cure to, to cure certain remedies, brother? I, you gotta explain yourself. Uh, Where you at, brother? Uh, what happened? You I'm gonna say out? this, yo. Even though time <laughs> may change, human nature don't change. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People still got to eat, sleep. You know what I'm saying? Those things still drive us. We still got to drink water. Human nature, time may change, but human nature don't change. So when you're talking about, oh, well, we going back to a time when we lost. No, when you study Kimmy, you're not studying the time when you lost. You're studying the time when you were up. You know what I'm saying? And you had your kingdom built and you was building. Now we all up under somebody. So our kingdom's not built no more. So it's not studying the time when we was defeated. We learned from our mistakes, but like I told you, you Let know what I'm saying, there's duality to everything. Every kingdom that rises shall fall. Yeah. That's just a natural order of thing because just like the sun rises. Let me help let me help Unc out on this part. Yeah, I think yeah. Unc is talking about the fake Cats be running up there throwing sea moss in your face, and you know what I mean. Uh, right, cats, right, that, right, that, right, 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 right. No, with right, the branded right. those branded, branded names. Yeah. yeah, and. Um, those cats because because they <laughs> there's a group you know what I'm saying a whole bunch of groups out there that like the brand stuff and they and they, they have the information wrong mm -hmm. the information right. is in the actual plant itself the mm -hmm. information is actually in there like Doctor Sebi was great but Doctor Sebi had to mm -hmm. understand the the language of the plant right the plant was telling him what to do he was the puppet yeah for yeah. the plant mm -hmm. the plant was telling him who you use this, and it was telling the animals too, because you right, have to observe right, all of right, those things. You have to right, observe right, the animal, right, right. how they react off of certain herbs, how they react yeah. off certain fruit. You have to observe a whole bunch of things. And this goes back to where, where we was building earlier, of that human obser uh, obser observing things, you know, right. observation, right. goes plays a lot into it. So you have to understand what the tree, you have to understand the tree, you can stare at it, it knows you're going to stare at it. It has certain colors to it that pull you into it. Right. It makes you look at it. You know right. what I'm saying? It makes right. you right. different from them. They grow certain strain, mm -hmm. uh, right. ways so you can look at it you understand certain things. Mm -hmm. So you, here you got this cat coming from, uh, I don't <laughs> not to this or no, but I'm just saying you got a, a cat who pick up a little dirt and stuff, put it in a bag and tell you that yeah, this is yeah, going to yeah, heal yeah, you. That's going to yeah. heal you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think that Unc is, uh, Unc yeah, is talking I, about. I not, actual, not actually the herb itself. But it's the people that the run that, 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 yeah, exactly. Is that, am I, am I on that? I'm just, just trying to help you out a little bit. I, I don't even need no help, yo. Okay. <laughs> yo, I got you. This guy, yo. Yeah, oh, no man, you, 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 yes, okay. I'm, okay, you're going to go all the way in, brother. That's good. Now, He's going here's all my the way point in, I want to do. So, like, I would be an idiot if I would come up here and say that herbs wasn't what early man used because that's all the hell we had. That's right. You only know what you know. 
right? Mm -hmm. But the thing that's bizarre and unusual to me is you'll say, well, I'm not going to take an aspirin. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get the natural form of it, right? Mm -hmm. comes from a plant. Am mm -hmm. I correct? Mm -hmm. What you not understand is the only reason that aspirin right, is able to help you because there's an active ingredient in it. So the same active ingredients that's in the daggone plant is the same active ingredients that's in the daggone aspirin. No matter what you say, that's what your body is taking in, the active ingredients. Mm -hmm. So all that is in the herb, miss me, because it makes no sense. The element chart is the element chart, and chemistry is chemistry. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let me source up. Here you go. Watch this. Are y'all familiar with this guy right here? Can you see the screen? Yeah. Percy. Mm -hmm. Percy. Yeah. Julian. Levon. Who is he? A steroid chemist and an entrepreneur. Percy Julian ingeniously figured out how to synthesize important medical components from an abundance of plant sources, making them more affordable to mass produce. What am I trying to tell you right here? Y'all didn't even know, right, mm -hmm. that the pharmaceutical company is using the science that this black man brought to the world. He reached total synthesis. He separated the active ingredients. He unlocked the magic of plants. So this is a black invention. Instead of taking a whole pound of herbs, right, or a whole pound of uh, yams, Right, because you got some stories out the yams, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Get the active ingredient out of it, and we can mass produce it. Because now we're not living in a tribe of 20 where your herbs might be good. We're living in cities with a couple million people. You so go. your stone age tactic is not going to work. Y'all put up Dr. Sigmund, not me. I'm trying to tell you that the Africans <laughs> in Africa, mm -hmm. right, they were sharp enough to let it go. They realized that the herbs was not fighting the virus. It didn't work, man. Y'all act like we couldn't but, sit there, mm -hmm. right, and get an infection in the community. Right. People die. We got a social distance. We got to cover our mouth. Because social distancing comes from West Africa. Burning down the huts, right, comes from Africa when the disease get there. Social distancing comes from West Africa. Y'all act like we just kept bumping our heads. Boom, boom, take the earth. Boom, boom. They say, man, this shit not working. What we gonna do? Somebody, some intelligent guy say, yo, that guy is sick. Yeah, he's not getting the point. Let's take some yeah, of the pus from him, yeah. right? Let's, let's cut an arm, put yeah. that pus, smallpox pus, in a little cut. That person will get sick. And now, now, after he gets well, he will no longer be able to catch the smallpox. That's an African invention fighting the virus with a virus. I mean, and, and so it behooves me well, when we try you know, to go back to the point slow. where you, we don't do that when we back stuck on herbs. Well, let me say this. Let me say this, brother. No, no, address that. Oh, uh, no, we got to address it. Oh, you want to address it. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, so I, I, I didn't hear, I didn't hear the whole I mean, thing. Y'all address it. You know, that's that's beautiful that Brother Percy, he came out with that invention, and you know what I'm saying? You say that the, the, the pharmaceutical companies, they're using that, and that's a beautiful thing. What we're trying to get you to understand is that the same government that you're saying that giving you aspirin and you're going to take the aspirin over what doctors say, what I'm trying to show you is that that same government that gave you aspirin is the same government that gave the people cocaine. Same government that gave people crack. You know what I'm saying? That's also a so-called plant with an active ingredient in it and gave it mass produced it to our people. Right out here in L.A., we still see the uh, uh, effects of these scientists from these pharmaceutical companies, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. making pills such as, like when, uh, I'll give you an example. I was in prison for a long time, for 11 years. And one of the main things that they used to push on the inmates inside of prison was psychotropic Come medication. Yeah, I want to at that person. Go ahead. I'm sorry, brother. Go ahead. Keep, keep going. Mm -hmm. Psychotropic medication, right, was used on our people in prison to what? Make them docile so that they can do their time. I'll tell you a quick story. There's a brother that first when he got locked, he said, man, I'm going to get on them pills. I said, brother, don't do that, bro. That's that's not how you want to do your time. Just, you know what I'm saying? Read you some books, work out, come out a better man than you was before you got locked up. You know what I'm saying? Instead of him doing that, he decided that, you know, I'm going to go take 
you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, these psychotropic medication, I'm going to do my time like that. So every time pill caller come by, he'll give him some excuse on why he need to take this medication. I seen that brother exactly four years later. And the way that the drugs had deteriorated that man's, you know what I'm saying, mental cognitive ability was one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my whole life and experience from seeing a brother that we was both the same age and then seeing him four years later and he's totally deteriorated. So when we talk about this pharmaceutical company and how they got these active ingredients and how you rather take that science, look, black folks are tired of putting their trust in the people who do those type of things to our people. You know what I'm saying? Who are putting our kids on Ritalin, coming with all kind of different type of, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, excuses on why black kids need to be on Ritalin. Why our people need to be on psychotropic medication. You go down to Skid Row right now, majority of those people that's down there are people that's, that suffer from psychotropic medication disorders. Like, literally. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they in prison, they get the drugs, then they come out and they can't function no more. So, you know, when you talk about trusting them, you know what I'm saying, the, these people that make these medications because Percy, you know what I'm saying, gave them the... The, the science on how to take the active ingredient out of a plant and turn it into a pill form, that's cool. But let's talk about the other pills, too, that they're giving to our people. Mm. The Ritalin. Mm -hmm. The psychotropic medications. Let's talk about those, too, and the damages that it's doing on our people. Those, that needs to be explained, too. Why are we trusting ourselves in these pharmaceutical companies when they're doing these things to our people? I'm gonna tell you what needs you to explain why you avoid the damn question. You went all the way around the hard string, make us feel bad about this and that. That ain't what I talk about. You did that same thing right there. That's a different conversation. I'm not gonna let you get me like that. And you know you my man, dog. But about, let's deal with what we're talking well, don't about. Cut them off. Hold don't on, cut bro. Them off. See? See? What we was talking about was do herbs work against viruses? See, that's the conversation. It was, Not yes. what white people did for us. Mm -hmm. um, and matter of fact, you know what? I'm tired of making white people superheroes. Mm -hmm. Like, like your man, the engineer, y'all make him seem like he's a superhero of the show. He's, he's, he's not, not, he's not a white guy. Well, uh, he's talking to finish. He's sitting back saying, what, 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 what? At a certain point, Doug, right. like, Stop right. mentioning right. that. All right. All AD's right. not white. He's not a white guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm Colombian, yo. That's all Columbia, good. I see, I see what you're saying now. I see what you're saying. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me say this. I oh, apologize oh. for that. Yeah, it's all yeah, good. Come no, 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 no. no, on, back oh. to the vibes, bro. Oh. Back to reality. Right, but okay. Hey, I got to say, uh, were you born, like, are you a Aquarius or a Pisces? A Pisces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I felt that AD is good with that science stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. proceed. Y'all proceed. I told you AD is good with that. He, he knew your sign, man, by the way you act. Hey, hey, um. All right, so, but actually. Can't avoid it. Can't avoid it. No, nah, I'm not going to. I'm going to step straight to it. Actually, you, the herbs are healing. But it, the, the, the key word is mass, produ is mass production. See, you said the ingredient is coming from the plant and is mass produced to heal a whole bunch of people. He just learned how to mass produce the herb that's Ooh. healing everyone. The Ooh. brother, the brother, the, the one you told us about. Yeah, Percy. So no, we he both actually have... really, at, no, that's not, no. He learned how to, he figured out that it wasn't the damn plant, it was the active ingredient in it. What is the, where's the active ingredient? Where's that from? It's the plant. From the plant. Thank you. So then it don't matter what, how you take it because it's that it reacts to the body the same way. No I got what you say. Exactly. We say the same I, thing. I, I it don't understand that. I got what you're so saying. Friendly. It don't matter how you take it. It's still the same ingredient. That's what so you're you saying. So you get the same side effects. Watch this. If the, the, all the shit you're talking about, about side effects, you would get them same side effects from herbs. Yo, y'all got... Y'all can't be serious right now. I thought y'all really studied the herb game. Side it's side, side effects. effects herb right here. I'm getting a side effect. So what you saying right, is that... Not, I'm just saying side effects is... Look, listen. Mm. I'm getting tea drunk right now, so that's the side effect of that. <laughs> y'all don't believe me when I tell you everything on planet Earth is poison? Nah, we believe you on that. Well, I can understand Too that from a scientific point that. of view. You, you know, no, I mean, I'm we, saying we, we, that, we that what they learned was that everything can be can potentially be a poison. 
Yeah, and I showed y'all with oxygen, how yeah. oxygen is actually a poison. It's classified. It could be potentially a poison. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got, you know, y'all know I got my right. damn sources. All right, all right. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. well, so get it, with it, me. It's classified, it could be classified as that. No, no, no right. listen. Go ahead. Essentially, what, what I want y'all to understand is. A classification it's, it's the, doesn't no, always mean it's listen, a fact, brother. It's the, no, it's the amount of something that makes it poisonous. Okay. If you drink too much goddamn water, it's poisonous. If you mess with too much cocaine, it can die. Native Americans uh, <laughs> took cocaine to work in the fields. Mm -hmm. They knew how much to take. Right. But if you're in Baltimore, Maryland, and you're a drug addict, you shoot too much, you kill yourself. You you said, hold on, hold on. Let's just slow it down a little bit. You said Native Americans taking cocaine? Yes, they the leaf, the coca leaf. Yeah, coca, uh, coca, 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 coca. I thought it was stuff you get. They up wasn't, they wasn't battering, they <laughs> wasn't battering. <laughs> yeah. They wasn't making it into the. the they wasn't yeah. snorting. No, they wasn't it, snorting it, cocaine. It, it, I don't know what this conversation is. I know crazy. he's already crazy. Yeah, no, no. So we already. No, you uh, can't really use that. Like that. no, he said the cocoa leaf. Cocoa leaf. So wait, are y'all kidding me right now? Y'all no, never take no, no. I'm just saying, say cocoa leaf. Don't say cocaine. Man, the thing that gets you high and give you energy is the active ingredient. Y'all got the active gotcha. ingredient. Like, just say that. Gotcha. Just say that, brother. That's gotcha. all we saying. Gotcha. Y'all don't have to say that. It's the active ingredient. No matter how your mind will work, cocaine. we still have on. a scientific understanding right. that the guy going to crack cocaine nonsense, the guy was locked up, was bananas because it was the same active ingredient. So you let Europeans don't even go to jail for damn near five grams or ounce of powder cocaine, but you lock black people up at a high rate and you get damn near 50 years for an ounce. And when the truth was, we needed a scientist to step up and say, hey man, it's the same active ingredient. That shit's crazy. But nobody stepped up to the mic. So whether it's a leaf or a crush down to powder, it's the active it's ingredient that gives you energy, bro. Right. I agree with you. More, more hold on. More, no, no, morphine, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's the trash of the, of the heron, the poppy. Heron, it does the same thing. It's the active ingredient because you can use heron and shoot up and get a high and nod, or you can go to the hospital and shock trauma and they shoot you up with morphine. But He's it's right. the amount they give you. He's right. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I can't, listen, man. I fucked with everybody. Right. I really love my people. I'm just saying, dog, like, like, I had to get this shit straight, dog. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If you don't get it straight, they're going to keep tricking us, bro. Yeah. Don't trick me, man. Hey, listen. Don't, don't make me try to take some herbs with uh, projects in Harlem with, with, with thousands of people, and the herb ain't going to work, ain't going to be effective enough because there's too many people. Like, like, the herbs was cool when you had tribes of 20. It was dope. But as soon as you got domestication of animals... Right, the a, a farming with cities and large structures came. Now humans are piled together. Now you're getting in more ecological niches now with animals. You're getting zoonomic transfers. So the herbs that you slow to the punch, they're not going to work. Uh, herbs have never worked on stopping you from catching a virus at no time in history. And guess what? Our ancestors say, man, that shit don't work. It might work for giving me a headache, it might, but it don't work for that shit. And that's why I talk about Onesimus. And how he gave the world violation. I'm talking about this world right here. Look him up. Look, look up Onesimus. Okay. Right? Look up the West African. Look at look at the Sahil. Right, well, I know the Sand Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The but Hill. also, you know, here's the thing. All right. I want to add on to what you were saying. And I'm gonna give y'all niggas a source too while we here, talk. Here's the yeah. thing. The yeah. concept of the creation of the aspirin <laughs> comes from Africa. Mm. So why don't you act like it then? Yeah, well, you, you tell man, don't, don't try to use that. I'm not saying I, I ain't standing up for Africa like that, brother. Don't be afraid. Don't try to, I never was afraid. I always came on this on this show and talked about the greatness of the African and African technology. Okay? Okay? Right. That's why I'm bringing up the concept okay. that, uh, that, that Africans are... I don't want to say West Africans or East Africans. Let's say let's just say yeah, the African, Joe, because that's the African. Racist. Okay, they was the that's ones racist. that came up with the, the, the for the common uh, uh, the not the aspirin. They didn't do it like that, but they were the ones that came up with the with the chemical compound or the acidic to, to stop the headache. So the whole concept of of uh, uh, your I agree with you. All of that medicine comes out of Africa, brother. It comes out of African religion. That's what I'm trying to tell you, yo. So why are we going to act like You can say like religion, man. You can say religion. We, you got to throw the religion concept out the window. You're not because herbs was part of traditional African religion. Like, we go, 
Really, you ain't call it medicine, dog. All right, what? all right, fine. All right, you want right? to use it so, like that. So I'm, I'm just trying, I'm trying to, to show you like something. That. That, that listening to crazy white people has reduced you to go back in your history. I don't history. listen to crazy white people, bro. Hey, listen, man, you do. Who, if you who are you talking about? If you who, who do I listen to? Who listen, I'm talk, who listen, you saying? You saying I listen to crazy white folks? Yeah. Who are you talking about? You can't okay. name. I didn't so, get that. Hold on. I didn't get that concept. I didn't get that concept. Gotta pick the hammer up. Gotta show the hammer. Watch this. Will you ever take a vaccine? Will you ever take a vaccine? What? Would you ever take a vaccine? Have I taken what? Will you take a vaccine? A vaccination? Yes. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't think I need to take it because I feel right. great. Right, because you listen to crazy white people. There you go. What you talking about? You telling me I need to go get the vaccine? I'm telling you, hey, hey, Killer Breeze. Wow. Here we did go. I Here we go. Here we go. The men the killer raw the great. Here we go. Hold on, bro. All right, did go I ahead. Did I show you that I debated the largest anti-vax community in America? Did yeah. I not show you yes, that? Yes, you showed me. Was that yes. fucking black people or not? Oh, I forgot they were black. Were they? No, no they, they were white. white. They were white people. white people. My bad, my bad. White people. You're right. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Yeah, they were white. He funds the movement. He's yeah. a white guy. Dale Bigtree, he made you anti vax He's a white guy. When you're on YouTube Googling, they're white people, dog. And they fight against the system. And guess what? And I told you yesterday, or day for yesterday, that the fight was these niggas. Listen to me. <laughs> these niggas have came up with some whacked out cur these talking nuts. about you the virus with the virus. They sitting over there not scared of the smallpox no more. We over this bitch dying. And now you're going to tell us to listen to them niggas? No, we anti-vax. So the anti-vax movement started going against African high technical medicine because, because violation was high technical medicine when the Europeans got to it in America. I don't like, think you understand, bro. Let me finish my smell. Yeah, the right. only thing that they had was a good Christian prayer and some crazy folk medicine. Drink some apples and some damn bark root. The Africans had been violated. Now, here you go. I'm going to show you my screen. Let me just source up or I'll just shut up. Ain't no need to be being on here if I can't source up. Here you go right here. Medicine, West African and the Sahel. The knowledge of the knowledge of inoculating oneself against smallpox seemed to have been known to West Africans, more specifically their Akan. A slave named Onesimus explained the inoculation procedure to Cotton Mathis during the 18th century. He reported to have gotten the knowledge from Africa. So when you're talking about we not going to take a hard. vaccine, hard, you're though. being a white fight. person and you don't know it because you're not scientific literate. If you okay, think you're okay, worrying okay, about okay, some okay. white people going to kill me with a vaccine, my ancestors did that. All right, I fine, 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 fine. You're making a good point. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Let me say this. Let me say this before you. That was hard. Priest, that was hard. Yo, no one's... Hold on, hold on. He's not getting a point. No, no, let me say Listen, go, go listen, ahead. listen, my brother. Yeah, one I'm at not time, saying man. one at a time. I know because you're gonna go and then you he go. He was finished. He was finished. All right, no, no, you go, you all go, right, and right, then with Kepper, because I thought with Kepper wanted to go, but get, yeah, you're okay, going, yeah. you're going so. You got the, you got the, you got the hammer. All right. Yeah, I ain't gonna hit you with it. I'm just gonna hit. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here's, here's what I'm cool. saying. Here's, yeah. here's what I'm saying. Um, you, you, you basically are saying that the vaccine is is basically approved by. You know, we should take the vaccine, basically, right? That's what nope. you're saying? Nope. I'm saying we should take it because it's better than that shit Inky them niggas got. That's why. Better than What's who? Inky? Inky he's talking. No, he's saying say. You saying Sabi and them guys, all those guys like that, right? What, what, Inky, 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 he's talking about uh, Minister Inky and all them guys. Right. Listen, right. listen. Yeah, I told you it was about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Now it's coming out. Now it's coming out. Listen. I knew it was. All I'm saying, I'm not agreeing with no Minister Inky and none of them brothers. Yes. No, I'm not. I said I didn't take the vaccine because I'm not taking the vaccine because I'm, I never got sick from fucking COVID. Why do I need to take it? Why do so I need to take the vaccine? Like you don't know that fifty percent of the people that catch it is asymptomatic and don't know they got it. You don't have. Like I, I know all the knowledge on that, bro. Like, listen, I already took the test. I'm good. Like, why do I gotta take a? Why do I gotta take a vaccine? So though? how did it disappear though? So why you think you good? 
Explain. I'm listening. We want to know. Well, why I feel. Think let me tell you something. something that is let me tell you something. Let me tell you no why. You let me tell you why, brother. Because, because, la- because, let me tell you something, brother. I went yeah. surfing. I went surfing the other day. Me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, AD Priest. You went surfing? Yeah, I went surfing. I was riding the waves. I skateboard <laughs> every day. Men kept a ride. Look at this brother. Look at this brother right here. We don't got COVID, brother. We live in Los Angeles. The sun is shining down on us, and I feel great. I, I just ollied over the, the, the five stairs yesterday. I feel great, brother. Now, I don't know about you guys in Atlanta. Okay? I don't know about what you guys are dealing with over there. I, I don't know who caught COVID <laughs> or who didn't. All right? I know I don't have it. And I feel the same. My immune system is strong, brother. So I don't know. I don't know. I understand He's what you're right saying. Now, I don't. Listen, hold on. Hold on. I don't. Listen, I never caught COVID. Now, now I can understand what you're saying, but you're not going to, you're not going to convince me to go get a vaccine. I'm not trying to. You, I you're not going to do that. Sit here and laugh at you if you do catch it. Right. I, see? Just like you I see that? Listen, so I've never said the same thing you said, right, bro. Man. Brother, I'm, right. I'm finished. Go ahead, Greg, say what you said. Come on, shout out to my man, Sarnetta. Shout out to Sarnetta. All right. Shout out but to Sarnetta, Sarnetta TV. He said the same thing you said, yo, but he got no. COVID now. So I don't Who'd he get like from? that shit. Sarnetta is my man, yo. Right. Man, his kids, man. I appreciate his kids and his wife, dog. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to lose Sarnetta against a vaccine preventable disease because a bunch of goofballs that made some shit up and trying to sell a fake ass supplements, dog. Like, not on my watch. I don't care if none of y'all like me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you what it is. No, we ain't saying man, that, yo. I ain't fuck with nobody, dog. Trust me. So oh, I'm man. saying I appreciate Killer man. Priest because he bring me on the show. Right? He don't agree with everything I say, but somewhere back here, that nigga sharp. He say, I, 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 I don't know. We, all, see think, this nigga we is. all think you so sharp, I'm brother. You, I asked you a specific question, bro. You sitting <laughs> there right now, confident that you ain't got, you ain't never had COVID. So how the hell you don't know you gonna catch it? What makes you think the shit just gonna disappear? Oh, now man. we got a vaccine, COVID just go disappear. Yeah. That's funny. All I'm saying is, hold on, yo, they, they, look, the God, hold on, I'm sorry, raise my voice. Listen, they saying it's not FDA approved, 99% survived the rate. So it's kind of like, listen to me. Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Do you know why? Go ahead, brother. Hold on. Do y'all want to know why? Why are you so pat? Yes. Hold on. Let me explain it. 98% people survived. Do you want to know why? Yes. Yeah. Tell us why. Because if the shit was like Ebola and killed most people we came in contact with, it couldn't have spread around the world. The fucking virus is cunning and baffling, bro. It wants you to spread. It don't want to fucking kill you. If it killed you immediately, it couldn't spread. So what it does is, it, 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 it's just enough to get you sick. Ah, that person don't die. Most of them don't die. But it's killed 600,000 people, dog. The virus is sharp as a harp, yo. It wants to live like you want to live. Y'all tripping with that, bro. So I'm going to ask you one more time. What is it that you have that's going to stop you from catching that virus Did you think just, just disappeared for some reason? I just want to know why you think that. I'm, I'm going to keep it. Oh, no, let me, let me, oh, let me, oh, let me, right, let me build for you in a second. Let me check yourself against that. Let, let, Both listen, of y'all listen, 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 reach down out of it. I want to know what you say. Let me say something, bro. Let me say something, bro. Let me say something, bro. All right, so listen, listen, listen. That's super chat, yo. What's going on, yo? Listen. That's a good one. Well, I'm trying to say, that's why I said you're not getting the point. It's not that we don't want to take the vaccine or that, oh, we don't understand that African people invented this vaccine. And you know what I'm saying? Listen, Chinese people were one of the first people to create fireworks. But guess what? Somebody else took them fireworks and turned them into guns. So it's not the actual people that created the actual idea of, oh, we need to take vaccine and vaccine is going to heal us. It's who's the who's it's who got the needle in their hand. Bro, that's the problem that black people have right now. It's not the fact that, okay, yeah, African people created the vaccine and yeah, dude, we're this we're going against our own history and science. No, it has nothing to do with that. It's the fact that black people don't trust Johnson and Johnson with their needles. We don't trust Moderna with their needles. We don't trust all these different uh, corporations with the needle. It don't have nothing to do with who created the needle. It's who got the needle now. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? That's the part that I'm trying to get you to understand. It's not who created the science. 
That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Black people created majority of most sciences. That's cool. But guess what? That science is in somebody else's hands now. And like I told you, the same people that's producing these pharmacies, pharmaceutical drugs, it's the same ones that's giving our kids Ritalin. So it's like, why are we going to put our faith and trust in the same people that we don't trust? I don't trust putting a needle in their hand, bro. I don't trust Johnson & Johnson myself personally because they was giving tactrum to people for a long time, telling them it was baby powder the whole time it was causing what? Cancer and women. So, you know, these same corporations that we keep putting our trust in is the same corporations that got the needle now. And now it's like, oh, we supposed to just all hand over our faith to these corporations to put the needle inside of us? I don't trust them with the needle, bro. I don't care who invented the needle. I know our people invented the needle, but I don't trust them with the needle now, bro. That's the difference. Okay, so so the hell with the black lady that actually had the research in the mRNA vaccine, the hell with her, right? The hell with her because I don't know her. <laughs> okay, so watch this. I don't believe nothing you just said. I'm sure I'm you gonna don't. I'm going to tell both y'all right now. Both of y'all, <laughs> did y'all go to school in America? Huh? Did, did even one of y'all go to school in America? Indeed, we did. We oh, all so, live so right? You don't day, know you ain't going to bring up the school system. Why, why, why the school system. Hold on. Let him, let him, let him, let him, let him okay. go. Go I'm saying so it's safe to say that both y'all have been vaccinated. Am I not right or wrong on that? Tell the truth. Okay, yeah, I, I, I can say I, pro I was, I was no, vaccinated. Answer the for... question, but don't stammer and stammer. Just say yes. Okay. I, I was, but here's the thing. I'm going to tell you something. No, 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 bro. No, right. no, no, okay, no, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm asking, uh, what's for come? How do you say your name? Kevin Ruff. Kevin Ruff. Go ahead. Kevin Ruff. True indeed. Was you vaccinated, bro? I'm guaranteed I'm sure I am. So, so what I'm saying is right now, I do not appreciate. Was it my choice, though, bro? Like, that's another honest. question you got to ask. Not, to no, that up. ain't the point. Honest Listen, okay. I, do, I, I do not appreciate that two black men mm -hmm. that has been afforded the safety yeah, yeah, of yeah. vaccinations, mm -hmm. obviously you're hearing well, and the vaccines work, but yet you're telling the next generation that they're not allowed to be afforded with that same protection. Okay. It's irresponsible, bro. That's all I'm saying. I'm not you saying that, this man. One through. You I'm gotta not, really think this would do. Neither one of y'all is ain't nobody say, You ain't crazy and you ain't get sick and right. it protected you like it was supposed to protect you. You have reached it. You have reached man, to the so age man. of reproduction. Y'all probably got this kids. So but one possible. thing's for certain. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on. Watch this. How many brothers and sisters do y'all know that's been shot and killed by gun violence? I know, I know, everybody, I know everybody. I know a lot of people. A lot of people. Okay. Lot yeah. of people yeah. How many of y'all have known friends that have died from drug addiction. Yeah, I know. I know a lot of people, yeah. How many niggas y'all know die from a vaccine and y'all talk about that shit? I'm listening, bro. I'm waiting. Give me some names of your homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Well, that no, you can say, you can say, None. No, yeah, the no, Tuskegee experiments, what about that? Just answer the question. It's it's the Tuskegee experiments, what about, what about that? Hey, the man, see? That. You see what you're doing? You doing what Kahuti did the other day? No, Just I ain't doing that. No, I'm saying it's an Lord. experiment. It was experiments. That was an experimentation. They, they, those guys took took the medicine and then. <laughs> come on, man. Come they on. They coming after you now. Uh, 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 you know, I got, I got brother. Listen. I, I got Arna on the phone. Go ahead. I know, no, no, no. Right. Let them answer the question. You listen, right. Right. Let me right. tell you, you something, brother. They, I already talked, but they've been. Listen, you I didn't finish the, the question. Yo, didn't on, finish. Bro. It's only fair, bro. We've been, we've been answering answer this question. Just answer this question. I just, I just, I just, answered. No, I, just no. I just answered it, yo. What you say? No. No, I said, say it again. Say it again. One I more said, time. how many niggas do y'all know? Y'all go to parts and say, yo, John died. Mine's from is back. quick. I don't know okay. nobody who died. Oh, from the I, I say that. That, that's that's actually a biased question because there's a lot of people who died from vaccin vaccinations and, and died as a result. But he asked In you, fact, how much hold on. Know, how, how, how much do I know? Yeah. How much do I know? I don't know no friends. I don't know no friends. Actually, I I don't know no friends that died at the fine. Thank fine. All right. Thank what does that really I'm, mean, I'm, though, bro? How about you, Capital? How many friends do you have? You know what I'm saying? Did y'all, when when, when y'all have a party, say, man, yo, Wish McCormick died, Tommy died. The same way we do with niggas getting locked up. Joe locked up, Billy locked up, Tommy got killed down there, uh, Billy got robbed and killed down there. Y'all know the conversations we had, but yeah. we never had these conversations about we died from vaccines. When, dog? Give me the history of black people dying from vaccines. Now, but let's, let, let, me, let me correlate this real fast. The vaccines that we get as a child, right? 
the vaccines that we get as a child, right? That they give babies, bro. That's how safe they They give it to babies. I understand infants. that. I understand infants. that. Yeah. You get, if you give an asthma to an infant, they gonna get lock on? you yeah. up. Hold on, hold on. What I'm saying is, is that this is a totally different beast, bro. This is not. You can't compare this to when we get childhood vaccines. This is something totally different. When I see six different corporations fighting, you know what I'm saying, to get. I, first of all, I don't even know. None of my brothers that I know have even taken the vaccine shot. For them to even say whether they've lived or died or, or that. Now, as a child, that's different. That's a different animal. Those are in hospitals, different. This right here is something that's an epidemic that's being pushed by corporations. It's a big difference, bro. It's a big difference between people that's being pushed by corporations now. See, when corporations get into it, that's when it becomes different, bro. Corporations always always been in vaccines because it takes billions of dollars to make vaccines. Yo, so corporations always been in it. Yo, the ones we took as babies, the corporations was in it. Yo, like come on, man, it takes money to do that. That shit don't fall on trees. It takes human beings to work. I got some brothers that actually work at vaccine companies, making them in. A, you know what I'm saying? Actually put them in production. So it, it it always took money, bro. That's not that's not it. I'm just trying to get y'all to see that we don't talk about. Our brothers and sisters dying from vaccines, like we do talk about them going to jail. Well, for this is a new days. epidemic, bro. Oh, this no. is new. It's not even been years yet. It's only been months on this whole episode that we're going through right now. You can't you can't talk like this is a this is a different beast. Everybody analyzes every situation different. I'm not gonna say that the vaccine that we took as a kid is the same as the vaccines that we're taking now. These are two different separate issues, bro. This is two different separate entities. This is a virus that you're saying that is going around spreading and manipulating itself, yet it's only, you know what I'm saying, 99% of the people are surviving. So how deadly is it? Are you saying, well, people become asymptomatic? Well, it can't be that dangerous if only 99, if 99% of the people are surviving. Man, so, listen, black people in North America, right, they, they lifespan has dropped by 3.5 years, yo. Men, black and men. That's stress black being women, over here, bro. No, no, I, man. Yo, listen, be listen. Yo, all right, man. look. Hold yo, on, uh, let me make this last statement, please. All right, because I got somebody women. on the phone that want to get oh, at you. Because you know, you, you know, he said uh, now you got the guards calling in. Go ahead, uh, um, go ahead, Anna. Yep. Peace, 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 peace. 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 Everybody, peace. peace. He hear you. Go ahead. Peace. All right, Rasul. Peace. 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 And Kepara, peace. Peace, God. Peace to the chat room. Peace to the brother Ankh. Peace. You know, um, I respect I respect everybody's you know position in the square. You know what I mean. Um, the thing I like about Ankh is that um, he try to come with as much uh, information to back up what he's saying. That's what I like about him. You know what I'm saying. He don't. He's not just talking out his neck and shit. You know what I'm saying. That that part I appreciate. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, there's other things that, you know, need some refinement in his information. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to go like this. <laughs> Set up. <laughs> Set up. <laughs> yeah. Set up. Yeah, the God, Wait, I ain't the God, you the God up, said yo. refinement. Okay. Yo, you know what I'm saying? In the wisdom bill degree in the 1 to 40, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That is, for those who don't know what that means is, the lost found Muslim lesson number number two. You know what I'm saying? Um, from 120 lessons. Okay? The questions and answers. Questions asked by WF Muhammad, answered by the honorable, the most honorable, Elijah Muhammad. The question goes, the 28th question goes, and what kind of rules and regulations including all laws in force while manufacturing the devil. This is one of the, lo the longest degrees in 120 lessons of, for, for those who are familiar with that. You know what I'm saying? So the answer is <clears throat> Yaku's first rule was to see that all his followers were healthy, strong, and good breeders. If not, he sent them back all that he found that was not good in multiplying and that 
they should marry at the age of 16. Next, <laughs> Yaqub gave his people the law on birth control. <laughs> All right? No, that don't get so nervous. Good. Don't get ner- Don't get nervous, <laughs> Rasul, because I know that's sex and all that, and you nervous no, I about sex. I ain't laughing. La- <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing nah. at Unk, yo. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, God. Unk, just... funny as a, he a funny boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but that's what I say. He needs refinement in his information. Like, you know, I ain't afraid of um, no damn something. Just stick to yeah, it. Right. You good? Yes, sir. Yeah. Next, Yakub gave his people the, the, the law on birth control to be enforced while manufacturing the devil. That was to destroy the alike and, and save the unalike which means kill the black babies and save the brown babies. This law was given to the doctors, ministers. I'm going to say it again. This law was given to the doctors, ministers, and nurses, and cremator. The doctor's law was to examine all that married. And this was his law, that anyone desiring to marry must first be qualified by the doctor and in turn be he qualified or disqualified them to the minister. The minister would marry only the ones that were unalike. The nurse's law was to kill the black babies. Check this out, y'all. Kill the black babies at birth by sticking a needle in the brain of the babies or Mm. feed it to some wild beast and tell the mother that her baby was an angel baby and it was only taken to heaven and someday when the mother dies her baby would have secured her a home in heaven but save all the brown ones and tell their mothers that she was lucky that her baby was a holy baby Get your cat. and and she should take care of her baby educated and someday it would be a great man all nurses, doctors, ministers, Yakub put them under a death penalty. He failed to carry out the law as it was given to them. Also, the cre- cremator, who would also burn the black babies when the nurse brought it to him. Also, death for them if they reveal the secret. He also mm. had other rules and laws which are not mentioned in this <coughs> lesson. The reason why. I quote this, you know, this degree. I say this slow because you normally, you know, the guards, we quote it like five milliseconds a minute. You know what I'm saying? Right. With speed and preciseness. But I wanted you to hear certain points within the degree as far as the needles, the, um, the degrees on birth control, the laws that was distributed, and the, the staff that he had in order to carry out his laws. Yes. Which is the same situation mm. that we're dealing with right now. It's called the FDA, which is called the pharmaceutical uh, situation. You know what I'm saying? The, the corporations of pharmaceutical, which is called, you know, uh, what is it called? FICA? Not FICA. Um, Federal Drug uh, Administration. Uh, um, well, it's, it's dealing with the medical, the medical cipher. You know what I'm saying? As far as like doctors and all that. So they all have information on what's in the vaccine or any vaccine, be it polio, be it smallpox, be it typhoid fever, regardless of what the, the vaccine is. Because even at birth, when we all, you know, we all fathers, right? All our children was given vaccines at birth. Except okay? Mine. So... <laughs> the, the laws are still being carried out to this very day. So we're going to get people like, um, you know, Chicken George, I mean, excuse me, like um, to, to, to promote the white man's, the devil's, you know, laws. And he's going he's, he's gonna, to he's gonna com- try to convert us in. So, um... <laughs> Oh, so like Lord. so like so so he would come to us a dude like that would come to us as he got information like like Tahuti bombed him yesterday and said yo you quoting Wikipedia you know what I'm saying that's not don't yo, Wikipedia yo. hold on yo yo Tahuti quote we, 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 <laughs> hold up, hold up. Wikipedia that's not the too. point well, I'm finished all right, all right go ahead that's not the point 
the a point trigger is, for you. To who the name is a trigger for him. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but son got to learn patience. What? So, so it's just that Tahuti caught it. It's not that I'm standing with Tahuti. I'm standing on my square by myself. I'm just saying, anybody that knows Wikipedia, anybody can write anything on Wikipedia. I myself have wrote shit on, on Wikipedia. Mm. You know what I mean? So, oh. like, I didn't have to have any credentials to write anything. So, you know what I'm saying? That's like, that's like getting a chick and getting in bed with her. You don't even know her background. So you don't know what you're going to get up with the next day. So that's neither here nor there. That's not really... That's not really profound. Profound is when you go and do the research and you travel and you go do love, hella right to get the right information. Not right. relying on, on Wikipedia or the internet. You know what I mean? You go and do that research. You go and swim those 9,000 miles. So all I'm saying, G, that everything that's in this lesson that I just quoted is going on to this very day. It hasn't changed. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to have people like this dude right here who out of one side of his mouth try to talk like he got a lot of knowledge and then turn around and call you a nigga. If you did the knowledge, I watched this dude twice and all he did was call y'all, myself, everybody who's coming with information, niggas. Y'all mm. niggas, y'all niggas, y'all mm. niggas. Like... <laughs> Yo, oh, shit. Sound like you got you a personal problem. Up the iron you must, sheik, yo. You, you must got, got, you him must got a personal that, problem yo. with us. You don't get him, though, right? It's you know my name, dog, so I got to get him. Get him. You know what I'm saying? Because, yo, I'm 53 years old, 54, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been building and teaching for over 35 years. So <laughs> nobody have that right to call me a nigga. I've, I've worked my way into being a god. I sat with the best of them, including York. Mm. Oh, yeah? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I'm just saying, be like, hmm? this, this right here, oh, this no. right here, this you right here. On the show. I am. I am she. Yo, this right here, man, this right here, yo, this is bullshit. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? This is straight bullshit. Because, All right. like, Don't take the vaccine, because, like, yo. we got that. other issues that we need to address. Mm. Other issues? You know what I'm saying? Not who, who was the biggest fucking rock in the pyramid. That's corny. You know what I'm saying? We need to address why the police are still kicking in our doors and killing our babies and our and, and the women. We need to address stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm, I mean, the knowledge is peace. Real. You know what I'm saying? The knowledge is peace, though. Let's dress, you know what I'm saying? But like, but like, priest, let me tell you something, God. Me and you, what, what y'all brothers is doing today... It's historic, all right? Mm. Check it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show y'all something, B. Real talk. I'm not hating on no Kim and on the whole tech. None of that bullshit. I'm not hating on any of that. I just want to make a point and show y'all something. Indeed. What y'all doing today is very historic, including Brother Aunt. See, I don't call him nigga. I call him brother. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's above his head. I don't know, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But what y'all doing today is historic. So. Thank you. A hundred years from today, people are going to talk about today. A hundred years from now. And you know what they're going to say? Those are the ancestors. They did this. They did that. Priest had this on. Menkipara had a gold Africa pendant. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. Rasul, Rasul didn't, don't know when to be quiet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, man. Yo, hold on, man. Don't, you better stop sending shots at me, yo. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you get away. You sent you send another shot. You sent another shot, yo. You know what I'm saying? Yo, 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 hold on, man. Nah, I'm just saying, man. You can't let guys like this come on in here like that. You know what I mean? He was gonna say that. What? Yeah, he's just messing with you. Yeah, all right, man. Get out of here, man. I'm messing with you, guys. Get out of here. You said your piece, man. You said your piece, man. You got to roll. Man, I like it. Relax. Yeah, all right, man. You got to rank on me, though, man. I'm just making a point that people are going to look at this for 100 years from now, you know what I'm saying, and and gain something from it. The same way we looking back 100 years ago, you know what I'm saying, and looking at our ancestors and debating about it. See, that's the wrong energy. Mm. We're not supposed to debate about what they did. We're supposed to learn from what they did, so we don't repeat history. But that's feeding in the unk hand, because that's what unk said. 
Yeah. Oh, I mean, truth is truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. But, mm. like, yo, the, the, uh, we got issues today. Yeah, the police wasn't kicking in pyramid doors, and, and you, know, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, right now, we got some serious issues to deal with. <laughs> yeah, so like, yo, that's all I'm saying. Nah, so no, ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing new under the sun. All right, you know brother. Yeah. Hey, yo. Hey, we 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 got you, brother. We got we you know we on time. So we are. Um, that was great. That was great. So we're gonna give uh, yo man, that was man. Make some noise for this, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just <getting> out. <laughs> yeah. Yo, all right. Stick around. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you back, and we're gonna let um um. Um, rebuttal, unless you want to come back to this, right? It's, if you want to rebuttal, that's on him, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Knowledge, knowledge is infinite, G. Indeed. The black Indeed. man is God, man. The black man is God, man. Period. Indeed. Indeed. Right. Indeed. Peace. Indeed. Peace. Indeed. Hey, she's to you, man. My, hey, my apologies uh, for calling you a nigga, yo. But where I'm from, sometimes that's a term of endearment, man. So, I, you know, <laughs> depending on who you're talking to. But let me get this straight. This guy came on here talking about I'm doing a white man something, and then he mentioned the number one white man, Master Farah Muhammad, is a white man. We that all know it. We ain't gonna act like that ain't what it is. <laughs> then he read out the lessons to talk about killing, kill the dark skin babies. Watch this. Kill the dark skin babies, right? Mm. And let the brown ones live and tell the brown ones, tell the dark skin ones mother that the baby's in heaven. Did this guy just come on here and read some lessons saying kill black people, dog? And, and we gonna act like we ain't hear him say that? <laughs> but he was, he, it was, it was, was a quote in a degree. He's yeah, it was, a, it was a metaphor that he was no, saying. No, kill. no, don't make me go get the damn book because y'all know I got it. Uh -huh. well, the book is how yeah. they breed out they trying to make, Yakub's story is trying to make white people, dog. Trying so what they what? do is they breed, and if it come out dark skin, they kill a damn baby. How come y'all, how come that's not Happy registered? birthday to Jody. How come that's not registered to us? That the dude called a white boy. Remember I tell you that most of the shit come from white people? He called a white boy that said kill black people if they dark skin. Just to make white people. That, that's not, see, that's why, that's why, that's what I'm trying to say, yo. We didn't catch that, yo. That's, that's funny to me right there. I got the lessons. I don't know if you twisting this one wrong yeah, that's right what here. Sound because, like me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Do we, do, 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 should we, okay. Got to so source who, up. Huh? Now, who is y'all cool? Who is y'all cool? The big head sciences. Yeah. And what was he trying to do? He was breeding white, he was breeding and making uh, white people. We called it so, devil. So what did he say do to the dark babies? He said kill those and separate the, yeah, the dark ones from on the this. light ones. I knew he was going to come back on this one. Go ahead. Well, how, am I, so how am I just, how, how am I messing what up he, something right here? What, what he's on, trying to tell you is, is that the no, same science that applied then, as no, far as them using needles and stuff like that to separate no, people, no, is the same science that they're applying he, today. He, 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 I think I don't want to answer this self. Go ahead. Yo, let him ask me, man. Let him ask me, yo. A ask him. <laughs> man, I don't need to ask you. All I heard was... Right, hold on, hold on. Let me turn this down, man. Skin baby. First of all, yo, see? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You wanna, yo, yo. Honor, you, you, you wanna come you on Zoom? The, you don't, you don't got the I dog heard. mad, huh? Yo, yo, you you wanna come on Zoom? Hey, come on, yo, y'all. Wait, y'all gonna sit there, yo, and allow somebody <laughs> read something to say, kill dark skin babies, yo. And y'all, y'all think it's some kind of metaphor? No, no, I, I don't, I'm not right, saying that. I'm saying give me, you gonna give, give me your, give me your out, email. I'm gonna let you come on Zoom. If I'm wrong, then y'all just correct me. Send me your email. All right. No, no, we ain't saying you wrong, huh? What we saying is this brother right here. White people, then of course you have to kill the black people because if you okay. keep allowing black people come through, then white people wouldn't be able to make it based off what they saying Listen. because they keep dark skin. I, like, we, I understand so that. I don't even anymore. listen. I don't know this brother. I don't even agree with him. I'm just letting him. You know. He's, he's, listen, listen, bro. Come on, man. I was never a five percent. I always believe in the loss of panel with the island. That don't apply to me. Nation of Islam lesson from Master Rob. I, I read him. I read him. I read them. Okay, and in those lessons, it clearly talks about that's what the, yes, yes, water. it talks about that. Yes, you literally murder black babies by sticking a needle in their head. It's not a metaphor, yo. How right. do we act? I gave it to you. Okay, can we start doing some super chats?
right, let me uh, let's do a, a super chat real quick, and we're gonna get back into this because this is getting heavy. Uh, Nelson Garcia, and and he's about to call in. He's about to go into the Zoom. Nelson Garcia, shout out ten bucks. He said, uh, "Deliverance, deliverance." Uh, oh, oh, my bad. Exactly. Difference with COVID vaccine and childhood va- um, vaccinations. Yeah. Uh, Cut out a word. No prior. Oh, I thought it was a word in there. No prior vaccine was developed under the twelve months. Nor were issued by FDA approval. Without. Without. Without FDA approval. approval. Yeah. It's that's not the truth, yo. Y'all know it, man. Come on, man. Y'all What's know the truth. Nero man. says if Mojito, uh, he asks if Mojito was a person. He is. He's, he's a great, great, great ancestor of somebody in here <laughs> that came to curse, <laughs> that came to follow AD. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, FEAR, F-E-A-R, the acronym is False Evidence Appearing Real. Heavy, that's dope. Kimmit, uh, Hey Ru Hancock, says, I love it when we can build without disrespecting each other. Shout out to him. And that's something I, I, I wanted to hold on to. That wasn't a shout out. That wasn't a chat. Just, no, I think they should get rid of it. I needed that one. I wanted to look that up later. Uh, yeah, yeah, just go back to, just hold that for me. I'll look that up later. Uh, Priest, you need to holler at... Uh, oh, that's that's uh, later, too, because I'm going to try to get him on the podcast. Okay. All right. Yeah, I can. All right. We, let's jump right back into this rope. <laughs> it's going. No. It's getting deep. I need let's, y'all. I need y'all. Uh, although he just shifted the whole damn conversation. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. We back on it. You, nah. you, you was quoting the lessons. You was right, quoting... So I mean, is it supposed to be metaphorical? Yeah. All right. Let him, you can let him in. It's not metaphorical because they say that's how the white man came to be 6,000 years ago. So I'm just saying, why we, why is black men in all different complexions, we gonna stand up here and let a person tell us about a white boy. Y'all just all said y'all don't trust white people. Now a white boy gonna tell us how to kill, how to make a white person by killing black people. Like, come on, man. That, like, it, maybe it's just me. Maybe we need to be politically correct or something like that. I'm I'm just trying to feel well, where am I missing this at? Uh, well, I don't I don't agree with I don't we don't particularly agree with that. I mean, I was with the brother. I don't said. think he understood what I don't think you understand what uh what God was trying to display to you. What you were saying was that in a degree, it was talking about the medical field and how they used the medical how Yaku used the medical field to attack black people by having them hold into a secret of constantly working towards the agenda of killing off a certain type. And he's saying that that same tactic, not them necessarily doing that now in the medical field, but that that same tactic of the medical field used as a weapon against our people. That's what he's trying to get. That's the science he's trying to get you to understand Mm -hmm. is that the medical field itself, right, which, like I just said earlier, never put too much trust into a leader because then you lose your ability to know when you've been deceived. Same right. principles apply here. Is that yes, as people yep. themselves, according to your family, you have to make a personal decision of do you want to put your trust inside these people who have a history of doing this devilishment to our people? And a lot of people are saying no, and they're dealing with the consequences of that. And there's people like you that are saying, Yes, I put my uh, faith, trust, and love into the system, and that they're going to poke me in the arm and give me just some oil, water, salt. And something like that, and I'm going to be good. Whereas other people are saying, "No, we don't trust these corporations, and we not, we're not with that." Why would you say that, though? Actually, it's the opposite. I don't trust people. I don't trust black people. And I don't trust white people. That's why I deal with science because it determines who's fucking lying. I didn't know that white people had a moratorium on lying, and black people wouldn't do it. Like, I didn't know that. Last time I was shot up, it was by a black person. So human beings have the ability to kill other human beings. True indeed. So, so I, 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 I'm I, saying, for you to say that I trust anybody is ridiculous. That's why I deal with science, because I don't trust people. At least I can look at the data and the information uh-huh. in an orderly fashion and see what it is. Whereas though the other hand, I just got to listen to a bunch of crazy people who once again was listening to white people. Uh, the, the whole alkaline thing and, and mucus is a disease. What did that, who said that? Where that come from? Dr. Sabi said that that mucus was a disease. That mucus yeah. is the is the primary cause of disease. Mm-hmm. That all diseases are tied to mucus. If any disease that you look at, it has the uh, the proponent of it is mucus buildup. 
Nope, wrong again. Can y'all see my screen? Uh-huh. Who's this person right here? What's his name? Arnold Eric. Yes. Now watch this. He was a German naturopath, right? Alternative health educator, best known for developing the Mucolus Diet Healing System. Uh, Earnhardt authored books and articles on dieting, detoxification, uh, fruit deterrentism, uh, fasting, food calming, health, longevity, naturopath, physical culture, and uh, what's this? Vitalism. Watch this. Mm -hmm. This is what he's famous for right here. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Views on human health. Earnhardt claimed that pus mm -hmm. and is forming foods were the cause of human disease, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, Slime-free foods were the key to human health, and fasting, simply eating less, is is nature's omniscient a method of cleansing the body from the effects of wrong or too much eating. There you go. So that's so Dr. Sabi once again got it from some weirdo white boy that was disrespectful. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. But how can that but you say you're getting it from a weirdo white boy, but is there proof and let me ask you a question. Is there let me quit is there proof is there proof that is there proof that that's not true? Man, listen, all I'm trying to do right now Y'all keep saying, I trust white people, but it seems to me y'all using white people. And I'm saying, I don't how, believe... How, how, are you, how are you using white people, brother? Every how, time... How, we, how say, are you doing that? Every, because you, you, Dr. Sa you trust Dr. Sabi, right? I'm, listen, I'm... We, What's up? I, listen, I ain't, I'm not saying... I, I never used none of Dr. Sabi's methods, so I can't say if I, I trust him or I don't. But, all right, well, fine. I mean, I brought it up. But in, 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 in men kept a rock. Well, we just bringing him up because he's the leading head of that of herbalism in our community. One of them. One of them. One of them. Right. All right. So what was my point though? That we get stuff from uh, already. All right. Uh, fine. Crazy ass white people. Fine, Did I not fine, say that? Fine. All right. Fine. I mean, you're using you're using you're, using you're using the same thing too. So there's no real argument. No, I mean, no, I'm not. I'm actually giving you evidence. Evidence. You're, you're giving me, you're giving us evidence of. You're saying that okay, Doctor Sabi used this method, and and right. and he's get, he got it from this guy, this white guy you just showed us, fine, now, now, right? You seen that? So I don't got. That's not for debate. He said it out of his own mouth. Don't make me put up the video. I don't feel like doing that. This is not about Doctor Sabi. This it's is not. About, it's not. This is about Kepra telling me how and started really asking the answering the vaccine questions he started talking about how can we trust white people so i'm asking you y'all come to work or drive cars don't y'all that's correct okay when, when every time you drive down the highway at 95 miles an hour and stepping on brakes you trust some white people every time you put your baby in a car how i trust some white people because i step on some brakes <laughs> so now you're just making up stuff man you, he's saying that they made the cars but that's not necessarily true because they don't all make different cars. My car no, particularly they, they comes from they, Japan. They regulate the car seats. They regulate the car seats that you put your babies in. Right. Well, I mean... And get the FDA-approved food you eat. And every time you get the FDA-approved marijuana now, and every time you get the FDA-approved yeah, yeah. liquor, like, come on, bro. Like, we can't do that to me. It comes from Japan. <laughs> you can't right, Yo, man. Listen, man. That, that, oh, I mean, I get what you're saying, but you we, telling me what you're saying. Well, I you see want your me point. to falsely, you want me to blindly, me. blindly, falsely uh, uh, follow these people because they make everything around me. Like, no, I still oh, have wow. the, I still have the ability to use discernment. You know what I'm saying? Saying, so certain things I might take from them and certain things I'm not going to take from them. And the vaccine itself is something that I choose personally not to take from them. Now, Apple in the store, I might take that from them and eat that. But at the same token, that don't mean just because I'm just because they make everything around me that I got got to just use blind fear and and just be trustworthy on everything that they do. No, that's like I just told you every earlier. I know. Do not put faith too much faith in leaders because then you lose your ability to know when you've been deceived. So it's like, yes, okay, cool. They make apples, cars, and all this other stuff that they put in stores and stuff like that. But I have the power and right. To say no, I'm not gonna take this. I know, but guess what? But when you exhibit your power, I don't say that you're trusting white people. 
See, but when I exhibit my power and say, I'm going to deal with this white person based off of the scientific evidence, then all of a sudden I'm a crazy guy. I'm trusting white people. See how I go? <laughs> so I'm saying, don't measure me with that. Right, because I can measure with the same thing. You trust car seats that you put your babies in that's actually regulated by the by the FDA or whatever. It's regulated it's, when you go in your so I put I put my children in car seats because that's what's available. Peace, peace, can you vaccines for my kids because that's what's available, bro? So so we both make that choices. Don't mean everything that's available I is good. Right, is we need kind of let's regulate. Right yeah, 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 yeah. Let's move on. Right. We got um brothers coming for your head now, um. So we got a brother on here. Got the Iron yeah, Sheik. We got Iron Sheik. He wants Iron you. Chambers. Iron Sheik wants because uh, you asked you asked um, the degree. He asked us to he asked us to ask you to I, ask him that degree. I got it. I got it. Pre. Right. I got it. Don't even worry about it, baby. I'll take care of it. All right. All right. This family. Right there. Oh, okay. Peace, God. There's six families on the planet Earth. Okay. Can y'all hear me clearly? True indeed. I want to know if you take the vaccine first, because that was the question. But I, <laughs> don't, don't, you went off I tell you for a fact, I ain't oh, taking no God. vaccine. Twenty five minutes. He All talked right. for twenty five minutes and didn't mention that vaccine thing. But go ahead, we're listening, on Sheik, which is a white wrestler's name. But go ahead. Somebody said I'm shook. Hey, right, well, how yeah. am I shook? I mean, yo, man, um, he's just doing that because he's trying to intimidate me, but it doesn't work, man. <laughs> but um, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, we have six, we got six human families on the planet Earth. We got the original man, you know, the black man, the brown man, the red man, the yellow man, half original man, and the Caucasian man. Okay? Six, six nationalities. Okay? Okay. Now, you said that W.F. Muhammad was a white boy. You know what right? Hey, and that, 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 that you said, right? Am I wrong? Okay. And you said, I quoted something about him saying, kill black babies, correct? No, I said that's in the lessons that Yakub is talking about killing black people. It's still wrong. Okay. Help me okay. out. Because, because if you, if you, you know, <laughs> it's crazy. It's like, it's like, taking the candy from a baby. It's like, if you know anything about the lessons in Yakub, so you say, or got a book, you no, know, go get the book, D, because I am the book. <laughs> Yakub <laughs> didn't live long enough to see his creations. Oh, he was Okay? Let's get that straight. It's not a metaphor? Let's get that straight. Yakub did not live long enough to see his the end of his result, uh, the Caucasian being born. He didn't live that long. Okay? So, you know, I don't know where, maybe you got that off from Wikipedia too, but let me hear, let me tell you, brother, he, right. he didn't live that long to see that happen. Now, right. um, Yakub did not say kill black babies. I but, said before I started, when I went off on the wisdom build degree, I said questions asked by W.F. Muhammad, answered by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Did okay. I or did I not say that? Yeah, go ahead. Won't you won't you read All right, it? so so that's the contradiction right there. You said I said Yaku said kill the black babies. No. Who he said kill the black babies? The question. Oh, okay. I, I'm I'm answering your question. Uh, the, que on. the answer is Elijah Muhammad answered the question. Okay? So, if you want to say somebody that said it, Elijah said it because it was an oral exam. It wasn't a written exam. It was an oral exam between him and his teacher. Between the bars, huh? It wasn't written down because if it was written down, there'd be no reason for registered card holding members in the Nation of Islam to write a letter to Detroit. There'd be no reason for that. So, all right, wait, all I'm trying to say is, you say Yakub was real, am I correct? I didn't say that. I said Yakub did not live long enough to see his creation. Yakub of, no, of 8,400 
Okay. And, uh, 20 miles outside the holy city of Mecca is okay. the same Yaqub of the Bible, Jacob, the same person. Okay, so I think my confusion is, what was Thank Yaqub, you. What, I know, what was Yaqub doing though, brother? That's all I know. What was he doing? Yaqub was a black man. Yaqub was an original black man, okay? Yeah. So and um, his thing, his, his thing course, like any other black man. I'm asking a specific question. I don't want to cut in. I'm just saying, specific to the lessons, what was Yaqub trying to achieve? I'm, I'm answering that. I'm answering that. Right. I give thorough answers. I don't give broke answers, brother. Okay. Okay. Because I don't deal with birth control. Every time you cut my wisdom, it's like I dealing with a boy. I apologize. I just want to get my question clear for you. Go ahead. I got you. I got you. I'm going to stoop. All right. So, Yaku was an original black man. Okay? Mm -hmm. Um, Just like any any black man with who was highly intelligent, they feel themselves to a degree. Like you. You, you got some arrogancy because you know you've done whatever work you've done to achieve the knowledge that you achieve which is okay that's 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 a that's a characteristic of being god is being arrogant and honoring you know what i'm saying yeah. so i i understand i don't i don't let that you know throw me off so yeah. like with any black man you know what I'm saying they feel themselves so um yaku you know what I'm saying he wanted to make a people that can master his people. Because, see, Yaku was talked about through, you know, about, about other people. They, they described him as a man with the intelligence of two brains or two men or the big head scientist, blah, 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 blah. So they a lot of people knew he had a he had a, a reputation of being highly intelligent. So he wanted to show forth and prove his power by making a people who was unlike. His people in every way, and he will train them and teach them to master them, and he will, and those people will rule them for a certain amount of period of time. That's what that was about. It was really, if you want to call it anything, you can call it a science experiment, okay? Because that's what it basically based down, you know, boiled down to as a science experiment. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, all I'm saying is. I, only, I jump back on here to correct you that Farad was not a white boy. He was half original. He wasn't a, a, a or you know an original man. He wasn't the black man. He was half original, but he did not say anything about killing black babies. Okay, so Yaku. See what I'm saying? One thing, one thing, one thing about me, brother. Huh? One thing about me. I want you. We just met, and I've been science to you a little bit, but yeah. I'm gonna tell you something about me, G. Okay. One thing about me, I'm I ain't no joke when it comes to these teachings, bro. I'm okay. no joke. Ask Greece. The whole Wu Tang know God when they see him. When yeah, I come to the, them, do split like the Red Sea, G, because they know what it is with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. A Johnny, I'm not a Johnny come lately. Hold up, done. I'm not a Johnny come lately five percenter. My my tree goes back to a law, the Father. My, yeah. I didn't learn yeah. about the five percent. Listening to rock him or going to jail. I didn't get it that way. I got it organically. My All uncle, right. my uncle walked with the father. My uncle met Allah at 16. My my other uncle met Allah. I got family members in this nation that walk with the father. I was born and raised All in, right, on 107th Street <laughs> in Harlem. So I know I, what I'm talking I'm about. Okay. Right, let, me, let me say what I'm saying. So Basically, what you came on here to tell us was... It's the correction. That's it. And the correction not, is, not them, because they knew. They was trying to tell you, you but you were talking you over them. But I'm simply saying that you're basically saying that Yaku was doing an experiment killing black people to make white people. That's the part I can't get past. No matter I, who... It's, it's terrible. You're right. It's, it's a, a okay, horrific so all, thing. So that's all I wanted to get out. Damn. It's a horrific thing. I'm with you on that. I know, but then you, why would you read that lesson to me in the process of telling me that what I was doing was kind of right? I highlighted, I highlighted, I highlighted some things in there, brother. Um, I highlighted some things I, wa I was hoping you heard, like about the vaccine and the process that they went through by killing the black babies by sticking needles in their heads at birth. That's what I'm showing you. I know, and I wanted to make, I wanted to, I wanted to draw up a point that 
that is still going on today in abortion, that is still going on today to make makeup. You know what I mean? These things are still going on. Like I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you what I did as a father when my children was born. I requested that they give me the placentas of all my babies. I got eight babies, G. Did they get vaccinated though? No, sir. I fought tooth and nail. I fought tooth and nail. It was like, why you don't want your child to get da da da? I was like, because you can't tell me you were sent it for number one, and number two. I, we don't need that. My my we, we did all the tests. That's why my, my queen went to the doctor to make sure she was healthy enough to have the child. So why y'all trying to stick her? Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. So you ain't never get a vaccine either? None of my children. I said you. Me? Yeah, oh, you. yeah, I did when I was a baby. When so, I was a baby. So I'm just trying to figure out. Why are you afforded the protection of science, but yet your baby's not? Like, I'm confused. No, my yeah. babies are not dying. I got grandchildren now, so I don't know. What I'm they are afforded. You, you from New York, right? Exactly. You remember when an aesthetic Jewish community, uh, somebody came from Israel and brought, the, uh, I think it was the measles back. Remember that? Yeah. And, and it was crazy. It was an outbreak, right? Because they wasn't vaccinated. When they vaccinated, the shit all went away. You remember that, though, right? Vaguely. Yes, sir. So I'm t I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is, is that we are surrounded by disease and pathogens, right? And the African idea of being able to handle that is to fight the virus with the virus. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. So I'm, I agree I'm with you. Can I, add on <laughs> can I add on to something you said, please? Can I add on to something? Yeah. Um, I agree with you with that, G, wholeheartedly. However, bear in mind, a lot of the diseases that the Caucasian brought back to society that exists in society today, like chlamydia, you know what I'm saying? Let, let's talk about the SCD, like chlamydia. Those are canine diseases. He got that by living in, as a savage in the caves of West Asia, as they now call Europe. So you don't know black people was in the caves first. You don't know that? That's not the point. That's not the point. This we was in. No, caves. it's not. No, it's not. It's not the point. The point is what they was doing in the caves. What, what to get those doing? diseases is the point. All right. So you do have zoonotic transfer. You know that what a zoonotic transfer is, right? Where a a, a, a virus can potentially jump from a, a a animal right to a human. Understood. Okay. So I don't know about all that. Somebody in the caves. All I know is the first homo sapiens say to walk off right. I said, I said, if you, you like to research, research it. Yeah, chlamydia, I, chlamydia is a canine disease. Yeah, but research? Herpes, but herpes is too. Herpes, but, but all of it is. Yeah, but all every, of it is. Yeah, but everybody got herpes though. There's no getting rid of it. Like early, early hominids had herpes. It passed right, it on. I don't, I don't got no herpes. What y'all talking yes, about? Yes, you do. But uh, you do. How you get the hell? What, I ain't got no, I never had, come on, man. I ain't never <laughs> had the symptoms. Do? And nothing, bro. How are you gonna say that? that? I'm talking about the right. Listen, you arguing with a person who I, say I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. No, I, 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 I hear hey, what you're saying. This ain't got nothing to do with you, man. Right, yeah, right, not, right. I know what you're saying. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give you. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a park my car next to yours. Um, check this out. Yeah. Um, in the in the early 2000s, right during the big at the apex of the AIDS scare, right? Right. I was doing some research with Dr. York, mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying? He came out with like, no, everybody got AIDS. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so as we researched it, it came out to be factual because yeah. of the foods we eat. Oh, See, the really foods we eat that has preservatives in it That's different, pre yeah. preserves the body to a degree which yeah. allows a lot of sicknesses and disease to lay dormant in the body. Yeah. It just takes something to trigger the disease to come to the surface. Yeah, that's a fact on some things. Right. That's why I said I'm going to park my car next to yours. Yeah, but now, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't never heard nobody. They ain't, nah, everybody don't got AIDS. That ain't. That ain't. You got different types of uh, herpes uh, viruses, too. Y'all can get bugging out. <laughs> But I'm saying, look, look, check. Y'all see this book? I want everybody to see this. Virology. Virology. 
principles of our house. You go ahead and pay yourself 200 and get the two value set right here. Uh -huh. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all can't get around. The science is undefeated. So we need to we, we best be learning it because our enemy definitely uses it. And so man, that, you, you hit it right on the head. We best right. be learning it because our enemy using it. And that's right. what I'm afraid of, because the enemy is using it. But that's fine though. But but just because our enemy uses it don't mean he's gonna kill all his babies to kill you. Because you have to show me how he can make a separate vaccine for him, because he gave it to his whole army, army, air force. Man, you gotta Navy understand Army. something. Let me tell you something about history real fast. Hold on, let him White finish. Let him finish, Lord. And then, and then, and then, right, and then, go ahead. Go ahead. Let him do his bill. I'm simply saying the whole thing is, is bananas. Right. Because you could never convince me that the President of the United States took the daggone vaccine, the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine got vaccinated, all essential workers to make this joint run got it. And, and, and why would somebody do that to decimate the whole country? Like, who does that? No matter how diabolical you are, you need people to be diabolical too. So I'm, I'm just making a point that man, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to make. Matter of fact, I don't care if nobody get the vaccines. Like that ain't even my job no more. I did my job. My job is to clearly say, right, I'm vaccinated. I'm not dead. And if I die 30 years from now, then I'd have been 83 any damn way. And who cares? Shout out to uh, Chavez um, McCray, five on it. Can y'all on the panel give the people any, um, if, what's that, effects Yeah, Efficient yeah, data. Efficient data. Efficacy data. Yeah, or, or double-blind control studies of the meta-analysts and the SEBI treatments versus COVID. <laughs> oh. I ain't just you, <laughs> y'all. That was a, as one, as one of the unk boys. <laughs> That's dumb. Not going out. Yeah. So, so, so here, I'm gonna do this for y'all. Watch this. Y'all see this book right here? It's called Trick or Treatment, right? Mm -hmm. And the central thing to this is, no matter what we think, until the clinical trials was invented, right? They didn't know why stuff was doing what it was doing. Why, why the medicine worked, did it work? It might have worked, it might not have worked. But the only way to know about the elderberry, the vitamin C, the chicken bark root, chicken soup, and all that, only way we know if it's working or not is if we have a double blind clinical trial. Simple as that. Before that, anything y'all taking right now, did y'all think help y'all? You are experimenting with yourself. That's why I laugh. Y'all say the vaccines experiment. No, the vaccines went through all the proper clinical trials. It's no longer experiment. It has left the experimental stage. And when it leaves the experimental stage, right, then they give it to the general public. So when y'all take all that stuff, you're really experimenting because you don't know. Hell, they killed George Washington with bloodletting. They actually thought that relieving a quarter blood an hour would cure this man. This man just simply had a, a common cold. And they bloodled him, and he died because of that. But what about, okay, what about the... European medicine, European medicine is only, you know, what, 200 years, and Asian medicine is like 6,000 years. So... Mm. No, I mean, man, I mean, yo, yo, you know. you know what, you know what, Unc, I've read about that too. That the people that was doing the surgeries were barbers. That's why you see that spinning thing outside the barber shop with the red, blue, and the white. That red represents you can go get a blood transfusion from the barber. Yeah, yeah, they illness. Blood letting, yep, they had, because they had to, yep, they was, yep. So you ain't know I knew that, huh? No, that's cool. I mean, we all. <laughs> Yo, what about? Oh, you took it. <laughs> you really know the cars do that, right? <laughs> knowledge, knowledge. Knowledge, knowledge. Hey, Sheik, you had to throw that in there, huh? Okay. <laughs> that in there. But, but what about um, all the vaccines that's considered like uh, like experimental with, uh, by the FDA? Yeah, uh, so that's not true. A EUA, emergency use authorization. An emergency use authorization simply allows them to start, watch this, start the production of vaccines while they go through the clinical trials. It's an administrative move. It allows more money and funding to go to it, right? So the question is, most people can't tell you why it took 10 years, you know what I'm saying, to make the measles uh, uh, vaccine. Do y'all know why? Because we talked about this was too fast. Why did it take 10 years? It took 10 years because they had to figure out an environment to grow the actual virus in to make it less harmful. And it took them 10 years yeah. to get that. 
Okay. Yeah, it's a process. Definitely a process. So then they reduce you to five years, right? So the question is, why was they able to make the vaccine? They had the vaccine 24, 48 hours, 20 to 48 hours after the Chinese had mapped out the genome and sent it to all the scientists around the world. Within 48 hours after that, they already had the damn vaccine. The question is, how the hell they do it? That's the question. So, uh, well, I, was, I know the answer, right. but yeah, that's I need deep. Stuff. Man, we still, yeah, we get up here. Yeah, we, we got to change the subject, man. We've been on this. You believe what you believe yeah, at the end of the me. day. And um, yeah, that's right. cool. No, hold on. I'm not believing. Mm -hmm. oh, you, you know what you know. And uh, let everybody know yeah, well, we y'all believe it, and, but everybody got a right to make their choice. I exactly. just don't like getting beat up, and y'all tell me I'm found a white man, and then all I do is sit around and show you how everything y'all do is found a white man, and everybody act like I didn't just do it, like Dr. C. I, I don't follow no white man. That's crazy. Okay, well I'm not. I've been, say I've been, I've been freed myself for that. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I make my own money. I got my own everything. Oh, like, I don't, I don't, I don't work for the devil. None of that shit. Like. I'm just I, ain't, I, I ain't even been, I, yo, I ain't even been on public transportation in a decade or two. So yeah, you I'm totally out of his uh, shit. What? Simply saying. Word. I don't even know how much the bus costs. Listen, I'm I don't just even know. Bullshit. You know how much the bus costs. Has been changed? No, I do not. Uh, no, I do not. I've been off of it too, man, for a long time, bro. I'm just saying, not. Fair, fair is fair, right? I'm simply saying that you can't say I trust white people because everybody on here do things that clearly show that you trust white people. So- Yeah, there is a level of trust, I agree. Guy, I think we all got a right of choice. So I'm not knocking your choice. Why the hell y'all knocking me? Like, oh, um, you found a white man's signs? Okay, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, you take the vaccine, that's white man thing. No black people invented that. What you want me to do? So the black people we all had a fun. Let's change the topic of the discussion because I'm about scientific literacy here, yo. Simple as that. Hey. All right, let's change the subject. Yo, Priest, we coming over to start this album, man. <laughs> in a minute, I'll be over there in a minute. You know, we got the horseman <laughs> thing going on right now. So yeah, I'll be over yeah, there. I I'll get the today. Yeah, he's, oh, you spoke to him? Good. All right. Yeah. So, I had some serious beats coming on there, yo. Who? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yesterday, right? My man the um Mark Buddha. Mark, Mark Abuda, yeah. Yo, is he selling some beef? Like, check this out. Yeah. Like, I need Who's some beef. Who's that? Oh, okay. Yo, hey. Oh, so now you be rapping. You, you be on the mic. No, oh, that's dope. Now I, got, now I got my nephew, and okay. everybody say they person nice, they nice, they nice, man. But I ain't going to say nothing, yo. I'm just going to say, yo, I just need, I need, you know what I'm saying, some he's, damn beef. Like, I, I, ain't, I ain't the man, man too you want to talk to, yo. I ain't is the man right there. Yo, uh, you can read that, AD. Is he? Eyes, huh? Iron is the yeah. man, yeah. I'm the god of peace, brother. Yeah, yeah. Read that for uh, what, it, what it take for me to get some of them, yo? Um, just stick around, bro. I mean, we we got it for you. I mean, cash okay. is there. You know what I'm saying? You got yeah, to do it. You know what I'm saying? Have your wallet, have your wallet <laughs> or the ATM card together. And you know what I'm saying? You come to the <laughs> crib, come to the yeah. studio, and pick up any beach you want, beats. Like, you know. Yeah. I'm like Willy Wonka, man. It's Willy Wonka over Fresh. here with the Fresh. beats. I'm going to vouch for him, yo. I'm going to vouch for him. Yeah, he got beats. All right, she. I Yo, all right, so Kate, you gonna you gonna shout him out? Somebody read that. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Kaba Praxis was just saying uh, there are certain diseases genetically engineered to affect specific ethnic groups. Biologists know this. It's called biological warfare. This is right. This is common knowledge in the scientific world. Step the game up. That's from Kaba yeah. Praxis. That's right. That's right. Kaba like Praxis on the show. Food. He always coming through. All right. Like food and shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I so mean. How can you make a, a specific disease for a race where there is no race? Hmm. Uh, I'm listening. Tell, tell, tell no, that that's what you were saying, AD. <laughs> we was going back in there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't read it. I just, I, I just said, yo, just read it. All right. We, we just want to read out that, that super chat there's right no there. There's no race. That, that's there's race. no race. Yeah, when you start talking about race, now you're talking about uh, Negroid, Caucasoid, and Mongoloid. That was racism that fueled the con transcontinental slave trade. That was signed to be racism. Simple as that. Hey, yo, well, I'm a racist. I'm a racist. Well, let's let's um <laughs> let's move on. Let's move, <laughs> let's move on from the sh uh, let's move on uh, from okay. the subject, man. We got music that we have to do. Um, you, but I'm not you, prejudiced, though. Yeah, you. Word. Yeah, you're more welcome to stick around. We um this is the part that we are uh, we we um 
I want to hear that music, man. I listen to I that want music. To ask, can huh? Can I ask you something, though? I'm not, I'm not about the virus. Go ahead, go ahead. You know, I watched it. I watched the program, and I and I, I noticed you used with Tahuti, right? What was that book you used? Because I was using, I was trying to find that book. Okay. Right here. Yes. Some bread, right right, here. Yeah, there it is. Right there it is. There it is. Now, is in that book, right? There, mm -hmm. there is, there is a brother that I that I spoke to online, right? A good friend of mine. He does Rama art. I don't know if you know that. He, he makes clothes and stuff. And he actually showed. He's he, he's a cometologist too. He actually showed a glyph, or illustration, of the ancient pyramid builders. Uh, moving the stones, but I wasn't able to find it. How you jump right back on the subject? Well, because he he brought the, <laughs> no, this, we talking about the peers, we ain't talking about the virus. But uh, I, I was I wasn't able to find the illustration, but it does exist. Oh, uh, one of the, yeah, it's one of the physics magazine. Action. That's what it was in. Yeah, that's I think it was in Time Life, right? Cover the no cover the action physics magazine and how they actually was pouring this liquid substance. Which actually laid laid the damn thing, no matter how big. Right, was just, that was in the illustration, wasn't it? Correct. Yeah, it's, spect it's spectacular. It's crazy as hell. You'd be like, wow, I didn't know that. Where Where is the illustration that? I gotta get the mag. I got the magazine. I gotta find. Because that's the it. one I wanted to show to Hootie. That would have rocked the whole debate. Because I showed yeah. him the ancient tool. I showed yeah. him the glyph, and I right. wasn't able to get. I wasn't able to get that primary source. That was yeah. the one that was going to destroy him. That yeah, was going to wipe him out. They actually found near, near the rock quarry. They found tools and papyri. They, like I think you mm. was talking about. It. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, tried to. Know. He tried to use. He tried to say that that tool that I showed, uh, it wasn't yeah. really validated. I showed him the, the actual glyph on the wall. I showed it to him. So you know how big them obelisks are? They tons. Yeah. Granite obelisks. Yo, AD. Missing two. Yeah. 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 They proved they could cut stone. Right. The, the, the guild, that's the stone guild. Right. They the first masons, the builders. That's right. Building in masonry. Not in Summa, Summa building mud. No, right. this is something different here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this the it's stone. A whole nother science. That's a whole nother stone cut guild. So, that, that's the problem. We can't, we don't have, and like I said, that, uh, you know. Nah, we, let's stop. Let's change the subject, right, man. Right. I'm standing on the same thing all, <laughs> the, all night <laughs> sure. about these pyramids, man. <laughs> like I said, we, what, we, what are we doing now? You know what I'm saying? We got to start building right. something in the, in the right. future. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Those, those right. are that's thousands of years ago, man. Yeah, so we, you know, we are now, you can't even build, you know, you got, we got to put our lives back in order. You know right. what I'm saying? So we got to right. put up. Our mind back in order, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Mildred, uh, shout out to Mildred. Uh, how does it Mildred, um, um, he said, I'm going to wake up one day and realize everything he thinks he knows is a big fat lie, especially the science, especially the science. All right, go uh, so tell us, the middle of her room and don't science. move, huh? Tell us, tell us, stand in the middle of her room and don't move because <laughs> everything our world works off the of science and technology. Your cell phones, the broadcast is technology. Technology pushes science, and science pushes technology. So okay. it's it, it's a healthy part of our life. It's what our ancestors used to move them forward progressively, yo. And so if it's about really moving forward, then it has to be about scientific literacy. We've mastered the art of religion, but have we mastered science and technology for our community? So I I I, I, I hate when the nation of Islam, right? talk about we need to do this, they could have sent people to school and been biologists, mathematicians. They could have did that with the grid to help move the community forward for real. Right? So that's why I appreciate programs that have a diverse opinion, you know what I'm saying, where people can kind of get something that maybe they could take home and move their family forward. I just think it's essential for growth. Hot, yeah, it's growth and development. So, you know, hey, yeah, moving forward. And not to mention, we can chew gum and walk at the same time, too. So I really hate when people say, oh, y'all just talk about that. Wait a minute, yo, we can talk about history and ancient times and 2.5 billion years, and we can talk about 2025 and plan for that. Because every other community that is strong and solid, they talk about all things. They don't just say, you can only talk about this. They kill us in the street. We, we need to focus on that. No, we can deal with the police brutality, and we can deal with needing, needing to have science. We can deal with biology, and we can deal with how our ancestors built the pyramids. We can do all these things because we are just as intelligent as everybody else, 
Everybody else do the same thing. They got math class, science class, history class. And they don't say, hey, yo, we just going to have math class. That's it. It, it, I'm saying we Diversity. stand up. No sense, yo. Give him a so, bomb or something. Yo, him, all right, uh, Dominique Green. Yeah, Dominique Green uh, says Silver T is literally uh, trust that the person next to you won't kill you for no reason. LOL. If y'all could time travel, where would y'all be going and why? That question's for you, huh? Back to time travel, where would I go? Mm. I'd probably go to West Africa, man, be on the beach, yo, with the mangoes, man, chilling, chilling with a couple wives, man, just kick back, man, you know, watching the water, yo, and look at them <laughs> shit. Yeah, damn, boy, what we gonna do now? We're in trouble. Because we sure as hell ain't got none of that. I would like to travel back to that time and see them ships, and I think I could warn my people, we need to build something like that. That's what I think. I would like to be in that time to stop what happened to us to put us in the slave trade. It was under development of science and technology that allowed them to put us in this position. Simple as that, dog. Mm -hmm. You can't stop a person from robbing you, then you can't stop a person from robbing you. But if you got a team of dudes with you and can stop them from robbing you, then they'll stop trying to rob you. Simple as that. Indeed. Oh. Moving right along. Me? Oh. No, 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 no. We finished with that. Okay. <laughs> that's like moving right along. All right, so, AD, this is the time when we get into the music. We gonna move. Yo, man, thank you for uh, coming through, man. It was great. I mean, you can stick around if you want to uh, listen to the music. Because we are. Uh, yeah. <coughs> All right. So now is the part where we get, we got 654 in the building right now. So right. now is the time where we get into the music. And we got some, oh, wow, King Los. King Los. Oh, that's going to be dope. This is going to be dope. King Los All right, sent so, something in? Huh? He, he sent something in? Yes, uh, Shooter and King Los. So this going to be, this should be good. Word. Yo, listen. All right, so this is the time, AD, you take over from here, and we'll listen to some music <laughs> and get into some more tea. And um, Horseman, the album is out right now. Cop I'm that. also working on some new stuff. And... Um, this is some great, great time to be around. Word. Uh, also, I got something with uh, Sheik. You know what I'm saying? Sheik is right there, so we're going to be working on something soon. Iron Chambers. All right, all right. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, no right doubt. There. You still there, Sheik? What up, Sheik? Still yeah, there? yeah, I'm here, I'm here. I've just been working in the studio the past three days, solid, making new beats, because Priest took a bunch of beats from me. Planet Asia took a bunch of beats. A lot of dark man, uh, cat oh, okay. just did a whole album. I, I need to re up on beats. I'm running low, Word. you know what I'm saying? So I've yeah, been yeah. working really hard making some new joints. You made some new murder you know beats. Uh, shout out yeah, to uh, yeah, shout out to Calista. I just heard that we we uh we hit the top on iTunes charts. Yeah, it's dope. yeah, yeah, it's dope. yeah, yeah. Dope. okay. The awesome. Lord, yeah. I think yeah. you guys are top 10, man. That's really, really good. Mm. The top, the top, the iTunes chart. Shout yeah. out to Callista. Oh, man, we're getting hits all over the place, man. So the album is doing well. We're going to hit the road soon. We're going to be on the road. We got we got some uh, tours we setting up right now. So if you're out, out there looking, man, just snatch us up because we're going to be on the road. Shout out to my man, Kirk Sabalis, you know what I'm saying, uh, to the whole team and everybody, the whole horseman, Corrupt, Razzcast, Cannabis, yo, is it? Hell yeah. All right. So, all right. So now, AD, take over. Yeah, let's go. All right. We're going right to it. Uh, so this is a segment in the show that we call Song Promotions, in which we play tracks that were submitted by you guys, the viewers. Uh, the first one we're going to do is, was submitted by... Who's that? By, uh, let, let's see. Pseudo Kills. We're going to go right to it. What's your name? We, oh, yeah. So Ariel submitted a, a track. Wow. Where's and my man? We're gonna log in to Spotify for this one. Try to look for uh, Lil Da Vinci sent me something before. Hey, yo, priest. Yo, that's hard. No, that's hard. Is that a cup? Yeah. Hold up, let me get. It's that. a it's a picture, it's a, a wine picture. picture. Yeah. We get that, man. Yeah. We get that. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get out of here, man. man. All right, brother. Peace. All right, um, All right peace, um, peace. Yo, um, a... play, you got anything you want to plug? Plug, plug first. Yeah. 
Yeah, man, go to my store, man, Abjuwear, man, A-B-D-J-U-W-E-A-R.com, man. Shout out to Dr. Oyama Yacht, man. Her force is strong up in there, man. Uh, Sister Kyle, man. Shout out to the Pseudo Killers, man, Amaral Squad, the Masi Clan Warriors, and the Kofi Pasai research team, research team, man. Team Osiris, man, y'all know what we're doing. I appreciate everybody, man, and thank you for allowing me to bless this lovely platform, man. I'm going yeah. to put my screen, screen going on and sit back and listen to this music, man. Don't leave your boy out there without no beast, though, dog. Don't do me like that. We got you. <laughs> we got you. We got you. We got you. All right. It's going to be hard. All right, so let's do it here. Let me see. Getting back to where I was. Hold up. Shout out to Can You Dig It, too. Yeah, yeah. Santana. What's good? He's hitting me up this whole time here. Uh, Kaba Praxis, you want to read that? Oh, man. I said the ethnic groups, not a race. Don't ignore the decades of science. <laughs> you bringing it back. <laughs> Yo. What's that? Called the ethnographic studies and ethno and ethno ethnology. Mm. Got that out. Yeah, 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 See, yeah, when you drink a tea in a while and you start reading and stuff like that, you write mm -hmm. write rhymes. You drink, exactly. You gotta you know drink your I mean? tea out of these, God. Yeah, I take a shot from there. I think I gotta yeah, take That's a dope. shot out of one of those, right? You gotta bring that come crew, over yo. there. The wine has to be red, right? Why does the wine has to be red? It doesn't have to be red, but you know. <laughs> I know, right? Could be another color. Red, red, red is, is good. Red wine is good. I know. Great. Um, you can't have uh, watermelon wine? No other fruit? Probably Just the could. wine, if you ferment it, right? You ferment, I was about to say that. You ferment you it, you probably could. All right, so the first one is called uh, Killmonger by Shooter and King Los. Here King we go. Los. I'm gonna play a minute and a half. King Los is a D show. You gotta, gotta like King Los. I done killed in DC, New York, Philly, Jersey. And now I'm home. Kill manga, I found my way in the city now. Tell the king I'm coming for the throne, I'm about to sit him down. I'm a rude boy, I'm about to run this town, and I don't care if it ain't adjustable, I'm gonna fit the crown. You part of the route that I got my talent through in order to become king, I knew I had to challenge you. Making a killer, no care for me is a new Black Panther gun patriotic, die for his country too. I'm the one to bring the fire to the camp. You look like food to me, I'm about to leave you with my stamp. Now he can't move, I got this motherfucker clamp. Tick tock, shoot at his feet, he about to make a dance. Don't nothing funny, come out of this for a 1K, don't worry, can we all gotta meet our demise one day? Seen him in the field tripping, it's gonna be a fun day. He on collision, he Turn around on this one way. I can't picture you hurting me. Study perfectly. Messed this at your own university. Now look at you versing me. Curtains on this murder scene. Cause certainly you fit in this bag. You just a person me. My goal is to make the power sway in the morning. Down in the sheep ain't hard. I got time to join it. Put your bets. I got a piggy to throw your coins in. I've already said your fate, but I'm not in the spoiling. Take over his empire, man. It's only right. His guard try to grab me something smelling fire tonight. On the arms kicking. Yeah, even my older fight. Thought I bit off more than I can chew. I got an overbite. You might get a strike, but you ain't bowling right. Won't spare him. He gonna die and I'ma hold his kite. I don't wanna hear about your plight. All you gotta do is walk to wherever I just said the light Still trying to figure how I got the bird to sing Lord won't forgive me for what I did in this ring Heavenly Father, I had to clip his wing Then talk shit to his people, this your king? I'm the alpha dog, I ain't had to make a pledge He ain't really a killer, so I just threw him off the edge Left him in the water, now all I see is red you can see, I am not dead We masters of metaphysics, I've been meditating Manipulating the mechanisms, levitating I wrote it in hieroglyphics with a cryptic language You have to study etymology to get distinguished I am Havu or Cyrus, no virus can penetrate Nor can no ISIS intimidate Your life is preposterous, that of imposters And mine has been scribed in papyruses Isosceles, flying saucer hypotheses It's a dictator not a democracy How could you copy keys Made from a prophecy This shit is blasphemous This a hypocrisy Guess I'm with Pac would be Big Pop would rock with me Hip hop confide in me Rappers rely on me Saying the best boy is back Was to lie on me That shit inspired me King Hey Killmonger I'm fucking with your ill hunger When you go at the king And make you feel stronger mm. Alright Give it up for Killmonger As the name of the song By Shooter and King Los <coughs> And that's on Spotify right now what you think first? Cool. Yeah. B was right. Oh, I got yeah, no production dope. tips. Uh, King Los is a that's guy, published. Superb MC man. Yeah, yeah, he came through. He killed it. Facts. That's Word. The first cat. Yeah, I don't even have nothing to say. Yeah. Really, right? That was just Facts. dope. Everything about that was dope. Mm -hmm. Shoot shots, shots for that one. Wow. Yeah. Yes, sir. 
Okay. Yo, Next Chris, one. what tea is that you drinking? This right here is called uh This is called Green and Black Finest Jade. Mm. <clears throat> really good. All right, next so it's, one. It's a blend of green and black. It's called Jade. This is by Vo uh, we're gonna do a minute and a half of this track. Vossi Powers. It's called the Lyricist. The Lyricist. Why this bit balls? The Lyricist. Why this bit balls? The Lyricist. Why this bit balls and spit pyramids? Uh huh. The Lyricist. Yeah. Why this bit balls? He spit pyramids. Yeah. The Lyricist. The Lyricist. Why these big balls, he's mad. Better than the Midas touch, the way I write it up. They might be brilliant, but they lights ain't bright enough. It's gonna start a solar system when I light it up. He get the volcanoes fired up. I mean, he inspires me. the bandstand legacy of the family. To the whole party, real fickle, feeling randy. It's the Grand Chianti with the tickle for your fancy. Me as kills, dill pickles from the pantry. Fuck the struggle, keep a couple of hustles handy. And here go the ear hole version of nose candy. The heroin, they keep tapping your Vein. No, that's high mentality that keeps smacking your brain. Now you hip hop junkies relapse in the game. Feeling like that rap singing was crack cocaine. Selling hope from the oracles of the unknown slang. Yes, I'm dope. The oxy got in the hip hop and got patients that get shit popping. Proper doctor, hip hopper. Keep all this pill copping. Good golly, Miss Molly just dropped it. She said at the cabbage patch, they still whopping. While I'm on this micro fizz, micro dot in this ill doctrine. Make them freeze as they watch him Swirl around the pot on ice when he rockin' Cause my delivery's on mail, man This is me stopped and I'm on shit like Sherlock This is me Watson with all these nanomites And this neurotoxin I can go jackin' and high with this concoction My delivery's on mail, man This is me stopped and I'm on shit like Sherlock This is me Watson, yeah All these nanomites and this neurotoxin I'ma go jackin' and high with this one for the lyricists Yeah, the lyricists Uh-huh, why they spit balls, he spit pyramids all right, Vossi Powers, the lyricist. All right, how you like that? Pretty cool. You guys, pretty cool. I mean, you know, I like it. I mean, you know, I had a, like somebody said, it had like a ninety vibe, ninety West vibe. Coast. Yeah, and it had a, like a, um, it was cool. I don't, I don't have nothing bad to say about it. No, 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 no. I could vibe it's a to dope it. Track. Yeah. Nice, nice. All right, next up now. We got Granddaddy Hawk, Gates of Hell, and we're going to his SoundCloud. So here we go. Oh, we got K9 coming. Woo. Have we, blacks and whites in America specifically, why have we not come together? What has kept us apart? Welcome, my sister. Take cover, my sister. The wolves on the horn, done blown, my sister. But when the scorn of this profit for being born, Magnum lifestyles, latex promoting poor. Child mind blown off the shots of the depot. Uh, Baby mom's better off lacing the crib with tech holes for no fear. Why would she get a short from the get go? Left her cars and let's go. Fucking thing she needs you for. Stiff dick come equipped with Velcro. That's why the devil bought the trading post in the concrete jungle. I rumble with power, never cower when my arms are sour. Study the course in the final hour. Delilah, suck sex them off. Eve made Adam pay the cost. Jesse Bell got red tripping off. Welcome to my all the war, sis. It's a mirror, see who Because I think the practice of race difference, the practice of race animosity, is directly connected to the economic well being of peoples all over the world. And if we could eliminate that fact, we could reshape economic uh, definitions, if we could find a way to redistribute the wealth of this planet and put it into the hands of people where they could find decency and find. And, and, and find harmony in their daily truth. I think that we can make racism, sexism, and a whole lot of other issues. Oh, hell. The sky is falling. We all concerned with who's balling. Heard what I said. Sky falling. Kim Trails is pouring. Niggas are still snoring. Guess the shit I'm kicking is boring. Metaphysical forming. I'm making forming. Yeah, I'm having a forum. I'm like one with my origin. 
why women applaud in him. Right. Shed light on the old men with red light. What the hell is he talking off? That's why I stay revolving like the ER. We are in the last day like the avatar. Battle scar over my mind's eye with iodine. Scabbed up, pressing my luck, teaching the 85. I counted 100, but only at the 5. Shouting out the chef like it's 1985. Yeah, going on outside like the mob said, I'm unplugging the two. Switch the cold bread. Most of y'all trying to join club man. Sticking up on that leg, ducking the feds. Fuck it. The last thing Dr. King ever said to me, five days, as a matter of fact, before he was murdered. Animal planet. When he was at my home, we just finished a strategy meeting on the Poor People's Campaign. Mm-hmm. And he seemed quite agitated after what we thought was a very successful gathering and discussion. And he said to me, I said, what's the, what's the matter, Mark? You see, very agitated. He said, well, I am. Well, that's coming from the fort. And I don't know how to deal with it this moment. I said, what is it? He said, we fought long integration. It looks like we're going to get it. I think we get the laws. He said, but I'm afraid that I've come upon something I don't know quite what to do with. All right. Granddaddy Hartgate. Yeah, you can hate on just raw. Yeah, yeah that's raw. That's just raw. raw. That's raw. Something about him is yeah. dope. Yeah. It's yeah. the beats, too. Like, yeah. Yeah. He, he, the vocals he, was low, yeah. but it's still raw. Yeah, it's still I don't raw. care. It's like yeah. uh, Raw Raw Borealis. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, that type yeah, of raw. Yeah. yeah. Right. Keep it up, man. Maybe, maybe get the uh, vocals turned up a little bit, but, but keep doing what you're doing. Facts, All right, next man. one uh, by the same artist, Granddaddy Hawk. This track's called Victims. Here we go. Real. Introduction to a nigga like me, O M N I to the motherfucking P. Find me eyes are off between clouds. I be ain't a bird far from playing. Call me Granddaddy, bitch. Most of them niggas wanna see me in the ditch. That's right where I be before I ever snitch. Fin for tell ass, wish I would switch. If I did, probably would have been rich. Truth be told, you can pay me in gold Cause I'ma follow them bricks to the end of the road They showed me 48 laws, I gave them 48 flaws Once upon a time, I had to fit across to be the boss And every time Dick and Jane wanna feel that power Beware what you ask, don't let your soul get devoured I'm in the trenches when my people's is po What you expect me to do? My identity's a state issue Who in my pockets to Lick em, ha ha ha, lick em, lips, lick em, ass, twist em, stick em, ha ha ha, lick them. What you talking about? What you walk about? You on that paper route? You see a large amount? Let me hold something. Home boyfriend, okay, warriors, come out and play. Move, get em, pockets, rip em, stick em, ha ha ha, lick em. Move, get em, pockets, rip em. Stick em, ha ha ha, lick them lips, lick em, ass, twist em, stick em, ha ha ha, lick them. What you talking about? What you walk about? You on that paper route? You see a large amount? Let me hold some. Homeboy front, okay, warriors, come out and play. Move, get em, pockets, rip em. Omni P beat maker, heat maker, whipping the streets to speed racing, seeing cheese, seeing paper. Omni P bought the cheese, trying try, try to count the cheddar, easy with the fifth and the 26th letter. Get smoke better, the sun gon' shine. So many hoes thought my charity was a march of dimes. I'm known to shed light, got a combustible windpipe. Huh, fuck it, I'm blessed, call me Kazoo type. Jab book in, cabbage pushing in your cash, took and be a victim of an ass whooping. When hand I'm a spit of the damn shit. You get buried on the Sunday, damn home, banana split. Putting it down, man. Fat like a round man. Making record sales go deaf on the sound scan. I dump the pistol when I got someone to come and get you. I make bread even if I had to pump a nickel. Ooh, yeah. Pockets, rip them. Stick them. Right. I'm blessed. Yeah, that's tight. That's tight. Call that's me Gazoon Height. That's dope. Even, uh, even if I had to pump a nickel. Yeah, that was hot. Yeah. That was hot. Uh, this hot. guy, this guy. What's his name again? That was Granddaddy Hawk. Granddaddy Hawk. 
Granddaddy Hawk. Oh man, you killing him. He got the name Granddaddy Hawk. Damn. Cortez. Yeah, that's what his name is. Yeah, he on point. Uh, somebody said the Mega Man video game. Yo, you remember that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. He's dope. This brother right here is dope. I like what everything like everything about him. The only thing I criticize, try to get your vocals uh turned up a little bit more. Yeah. I he got hear- a grungy voice too. He's like a yeah. method man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like a grungy method man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A grungy style. Yeah. Just try to get your vocals um maybe turned up a little bit more. And you mix a little better, and you're going to take the game over with a whole new style. So, yeah, he's on. All right. Next one. Well, we um, know this is fire. Canine, right? <laughs> when the yeah. beat is gone. Is Here we go. We already know it's fire. Oh, you just make beats. No, no, no. Nah. Canine. Canine is like a... Yeah. Yeah. So, so, video so, so. Uh, I'm not so. sure. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. When the beat is gone, nobody shed a tear. Mama raised a soldier. Daddy wasn't present here. But in turn, I got this gift rapping. As if God picked up my talent, then he gift wrapped it. I'm rapping all my troubles in a package. Hoping that my purpose is my passion. If not in vain, I'm watching time pass me. No, I'm not satisfied with half assing. Therefore, when I spit it, you see the shit just like it's captioned. I spit it in cryptic so real niggas get it fastest. I'm out here trying to cash in. I'm trying to do it like I've done it in the past tense. 20s, 50s, 100s, thousands, and etc. But shit, the millions work for two to more to marry ya. I told my girl by 30 that I plan to marry her. Well, look, apologies ahead of time for Miss Stern, yeah. Cause as of late, it seems my future's getting blurry, yeah. Faith is getting worried, yeah. I know a nigga worry, yeah. I love you, though. I swear I do just try and keep it true. If I don't get myself together, what I got for you? Huh? What I got for you? I'm trying to speak it to existence like a prophet do. Watch what the prophet do when I get it. I swear I got you. In Puerto Rico, stripping lobster, topping off a pasta. I spit it proper. They trying to knock it. I'm window watching. Cause if the dough ain't the topic, then what's the use of talking? One no regrets in my coffin. I'm coughing off the smoke. I'm crack rock when I spit it. Some niggas call me dope. It's homicide when I'm on it. Like damn, that's all she wrote. Her last buried the flow. I'm talking that murder joke. And that's the show for back. Back in 1984, so if you ain't pick up that line, that mean my age is starting to show for show. Pimmanship over censorship, I don't censor shit. Cause when these lyrics touch the beat, I hope you feel the shit. <laughs> when the beat is gone. Alright, give it up. K9, when the beat is gone. He's, he's on point. Yeah, he on point. Straight fire. Yeah, he's just his fire, yo. Season, man. He's yeah. just season. Yo, he got a... You know what? With him, it's like uh, it's like I th- you think like you feel, you feel like you you heard him like yeah, like you already, heard, on the like radio, you already heard him. I heard him on already. the radio. He's mm-hmm. he's already yo. Know, he's, he's ready to go. There's no critiquing yeah. nothing yeah. he do yo. So no. that's it. He's it's on like, point. Yeah, he's on know, point. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a, I'm do a verse for that. Have nothing yeah. bad to say about that. I'm telling you, I'm gonna do a verse for that brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's nothing. That's all straight up. All right. I mean, uh, what's, what's, what's the other, what's the other, my other Almighty, Infinite. Almighty Infinite. Infinite. Yeah. I talked to Black him on the Black Yeah. Black Intelligence is dope too. Black Intelligence. There's the last one. That's Philly. You from Philly. Yeah. Yo, I'm about Black to be in Philly too, uh, Black Intelligence, in like a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah? Yeah, going on a uh, tour with the uh, DGK. Oh, okay. Skate, skateboard tour. Skateboard tour. Okay. Dope, dope. I don't know why he's bringing me. Okay. Why you on yeah. skate? I can't really do no more tricks. I can do maybe five tricks. <laughs> hey, that's better than Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. But I was... I mean, you're going to do on a tour. You, you're going to do... No, I'm... going to do I'm, five, the five. No, 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 no. I'm, I, I go on a, as a, I'm assistant team manager, so I help oh, out with the team. But that's what I mean. You know, they, they want me to get a trick. Yeah, you know, trick a trick. You know, a clip, you know. True, true, man. <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, all right. I don't know. All right. Trying that shit. So last track, here we go. Uh, he made this 40, just for 40, just for the podcast. <laughs> Yo, Black Intelligence made this for the podcast. Proverb records. No doubt. Let's get him forty. Killer. 
Word. Real hip hop. Y'all been hearing my old shit seven years ago, eight years ago. Uh-huh. Some new shit. New shit right here. Peace 40, I come in the divine name of black intelligence. This castle was the residence. You advance with excellence. Your dad wise put you in class with pop experience. I start by dropping oils on beats. Kill wicked elements. My hands condensed up a swelling tree for frankincense. So intense, I broke the secret society science. Agent coronavirus is by you terrorism. I'm convinced these bars are evidence. He's not fastidious. I write with diligence. I understand the importance. I'm like an ambulance driven with patience. Alexander Miles. We mm-hmm. elevate for convenience. Lewis Latimer with ideas like Bug Radius. The Jordy and Red Sun plan a strategic alliance. This hating ass pandemic robbed the audience. Just say no to the substance. We always been under attack. It's all a setup angle. Evil label signings at the digital table. Big form of fatal medical. Clinical studies are melanin muscle. Yakub, Bill Gates, Mac Needle. Third eye, eagle vision made of marble. Noble rubble. I am no title. Some was here before the Bible. Drop Jews like mm-hmm. Rainforest growing a tropical remove aluminum with cilantro was earth for thought the spirit of Mahalia Jackson she saying the gospel cop shoot you with the gun the doctor shoot you with the needle and when they clock out they put on their white hoods Dr. Pfizer a Jesuit the global scamdemic the men in black flash that light but I ain't forget this toxic liquid microchip is microscopic they trying to put the market of beast inside the angelic I'm not finished yet I gotta finish writing this shit I'm going to go in on this vaccine shit. I've been doing my homework. Yeah, that shit hard right there. You got the whole, look, you got the scriptures right there. Who said who? That's the scriptures right there. Who said that, AD? I think Who said who? That was me. Is he live? Can you hear him? Is that that like a video? I know where that came from. That's a video. Yeah. Yo, he's I thought he was Be Black Intelligence. That was no title right there. That was dope. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Black intelligent. Yeah. That was our Man, grand finale right there. He just, wow. Yeah, he just. He get five mics just because yeah. he's from Philly, yo. He get he five just, mics because mm-hmm. he's from Philly. Yo, I told. I even said this before. I just said, yo, I think he is spit underwater. He is spit in a plane. He is spit. <laughs> if there's a war, a bomb. He just is spitter, yo. Just yo. A spitter, yo. He just walk up. Let me hear something. Yeah. Spit something just, right yeah, now. Yo, yo. It like, don't matter. Like don't like the guy. He did, the, yo. He did, That's he how did. we was back in the day, priest. Yeah, he got the. He you got gotta the, have it. You got guys in the cats say spit on on right there. You had the spit. You got the gene. You gotta have the lyrics right there. Yeah, you got the genetics, mm-hmm. the genetics of, of the making of an MC. You know nice. what I mean? Yo, that's dope. Genetics of ISIS. There you go, mm-hmm. Mike's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Word, yo. So yo, that that um, what that you. That concludes. Yeah, so this concludes the uh, song promotion segment. If you guys are in, uh, interested in getting involved, um, for now, email me at info at webcoremedia.com. You know what I'm saying? It's, tw- it's 20 bucks a track to play about a minute and a half. Uh, yeah. They were all dope today. All of them was dope. Yeah. All of them was dope. Yeah. From the top for all the way down to the bottom. Everybody who, all that we played was dope. No critique and no nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The, li- the little bits turn up the vocal, that's it. But everything yeah. else yeah. is yeah. it. Everything that's else is true. good. Heavy voice. All right, y'all. Yeah, so the album's out right now. We've been doing it up, man. We got 485 in the building. Right. Yo, um, Horseman album is doing real good. We're going to get on the road soon. And um, I haven't been doing my morning my morning tea ceremonies. But I'm going to get back to that, you know, because every morning there's something different. Um, Connecticut Rule Hancock said, Rasul, I asked you for 16 bars a while ago. Oh, shit. You want, you want me to kick 16 you, bars, man? You said you got to do it on command. I did that back. You know, I, I, I paid my, uh, my, my dues, man. They just sent right, five What you want here? A ROM? You, you know, you put a beat on or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Why y'all put me on the spot like that, man? He did. He said he asked for that five. He asked for that 16. Uh, uh, 16 bars. All right. All right. All right. Go. Get it over with. Yo. 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 These the last days in time, they scared of the coronavirus. I have a new virus, it's called the Rasul virus. I attack the microphone, I'm honed to switch up your chromosomes. Listen, lost children, apocalypse now. Killer priest, Mel Chesedic, a rhyme. And my man, and my man, my cop, my kept a raw. Make it, make it raw. I have the microphone, I chop through you like saws. 
here we go. The freestyle flow beyond. Yo, you know, you know. Yeah, I got it. You know. Hey, 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 we can do it. We can see. We can keep going. Keep going. That's right. That's hard. Are you feeling it? Yeah, yeah. You know, you want to hear a little bit more? Yeah, it's up to you. Yo, stranded. Yo, stranded. Yo, stranded. Yo, we stranded on the prison planet. We stranded, we stranded on the prison planet. We took it for granted. They have new viruses. We strapped like ants. We prayed man and straightened through the grass. We stabbed stance, hold the flag. Yo, I'm just hey, I know I ain't freestyle in a while. Hey, <laughs> usually all do it. Macapa was Macapa raw. Macapa raw spit on the stage. We did the stage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I want to say, Tahuti, that was hard, yo. Yeah. Yeah, but that yeah. was on the stage, yo. I was like, yo, that was crazy. Now. I'll do another yeah. one. I'll do another one next time. Okay. I'll do another yeah, one. Yeah, I know Tahuti, <laughs> Tahuti watching like, oh, yeah. told you. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, Tahuti I tell you, man. Yeah. No, he ain't spit no 16, man. That what like he did a, on the show. Like a 10? Yo, man, Tonight. that wasn't good enough, man. <laughs> it wasn't good enough. He's like, yo, you can't. Just stick to just stick to doing your your, your research, man. <laughs> and and your science, your little pseudo science, and Yo, yeah, you know, I can, I can, I can. He don't even have the energy to look like an MC. He don't even seem like he's an MC. Yeah, he doesn't have that kind of energy. <laughs> How you doing, Min Capra? Yo, but yo, they, they give you fire all the. You see, you you fire thank you, thank you. Big up to the yeah. chat room, man. Big up to the chat room. Yeah. Yo, you know I want to send a, a special happy birthday. To the moderator. Oh yeah, Jody, Jody Joe. Jody's Jody. birthday is birthday yeah. today. Jody uh, Joe. I don't know if it is at twelve o'clock, but we're gonna give it to you. We'll give it up to you here on um uh KPP. Word. Killer Priest Podcast. Happy birthday! Yeah, happy birthday, Jody. Word. Yo, K9 murdered it. <laughs> Somebody K-9 said it. Yeah. He ain't got K-9 bars like Tahuti. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Tahuti came up here is like, that's uh, all you got? <laughs> Dude, gonna come back like, yeah. oh, I hey, told you, yo. they finish him. Yo, listen. <laughs> yo, we about to have rap want, battles. You don't want to have that. You don't want me to do that to Tahuti, yo. Because yeah, I'll sit at home and write a whole rhyme about it. <laughs> I know you would. I know, I know how to write rhymes. That's what I do. I yeah, I know. So what? that's I know. not... That, you don't play around. Don't are we, are we going to do rap battles up in here? Is, is this about no, to, no, that's not that kind of platform. But Is this the, the Shelter podcast? Maybe at the end. you know. Eight Mile Shelter? Yeah. Yeah, listen, we got MCs in, in the building. <laughs> I'm having the Don DeMarco sound effect. I don't know. Don DeMarco. You need to get another one, man. Everybody using Don DeMarco. <laughs> Who is Don DeMarco? Who is that? Don, Dem- Don, Don DeMarco. Is that somebody uh, called? Jay-Z said that, right? He's the original. Yeah. I know they took that from one of Jay-Z verses. Don DeMarco. Who is? Yeah. Don DeMarco. You know, a lot of times, Jay-Z, he be saying stuff. That's Jay-Z and Don. Don DeMarco. DeMarco. That's Jay-Z. Oh, yeah, was it like a mixtape? Yeah. What 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 song is that from though? Don DeMarco. You know Jay Z. to look up Don DeMarco. Jay Z be saying stuff like Tom Ford. But you you got Tom Ford. He's, like, he's exactly. a DJ I for you. Tom Ford was. I didn't when even you know who Tom your, Ford was when he, and I had to ask somebody. But here's the thing: when you got your own where? Oh, that's Don DeMarco. Oh, yeah. that's the D, it's he, a DJ. He's a DJ for URL. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's why he throw it in there, Don DeMarco. Yeah. But 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 hold up, Jay Z didn't say that mm. because of him. Jay Z said that verse. He took that and then made that into his name, which mm-hmm. is dope. But Jay Z said the rhyme. Mm. He just was saying the rhyme, and he took yeah, that. Yeah. So when Jay Z said it, he was thinking about something else. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, oh, okay, okay, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like slick through. See, Priest loves to get the origins yeah. of everything. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, you know, that's good. Song. That song, the song is called "You Can't Knock the Hustle." Mm. Oh, it's from K. Okay, oh, there you go. Oh, that's thank you, brother. From, okay, I got Who the Don Money Fold, the Don Don DeMarco. Swear to God, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, yes. that's, that's, that's what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don DeMarco. Okay, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Can't knock the hustle. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the chat room yeah. once again. Yeah. Always chat coming room. through. Always come through, yo. Chat room is always coming through, man. Shout out to um. Yeah, that's it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. And what? And, uh, Mary J. hitting the hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yep, killed yep. it. And uh, shout out to uh, Coach Kendaka. You know, no, yeah, it's Coach Kendaka. Yeah, she, you know, she validated for you, man. A lot of times, she, you know, she Coach a Virgo Kendaka, just yeah. like you. Oh, okay, yeah. Coach Kendaka. Show, that's, yo, we. Um, I didn't know that was that's a woman. Cause you know, I'm Coach just saying. Kendaka? I don't know. Sometimes these, yeah. I don't know who 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 these. I, these 
I, it may be a yeah, woman or a man. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have those names like, like that. She has a. She, she has a. She has I think a, so. Her picture was a female. female. Yeah. She's a female. Yeah. She's okay. a female. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Coach Kentuck. I said she she uh, validated for you. Oh man, thanks, man. Time. Big up to Coach Kandaka. And we're gonna do she Kandaka. she the one um that had hooked up for the for the podcast. Um at that time we did the call ins. So I wanna do the call ins next time, let y'all know now. Okay. And I'll be back on my um my regiment. Um I just been a little bit busy yeah. in the mornings and stuff like that, but you never could, and if you're doing your coffee, because I'm going back to drinking cold brew here and there. Yeah, yeah going back to cold, cold brew. Some of that oh, my shots, nice. okay. Yeah, my shots of coffee. Just go, poof. I'm uh, ready to go. You ready to go? Get on that hole. Yeah, why does coffee make you go to the bathroom, man? Because it speeds up your metabolism, and therefore everything starts right. pushing out. Yeah, fast. it does make you go to the bathroom. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. for real, right away. I remember uh, I was overseas, AD just, yo. AD just answered it, and yeah. I had drunk some. Fuck, I was in. Uh, Spain and I, I drunk some coffee, and we went out, we went out skating, and yo man, I had to go to the back. It was crazy, yo. Yeah, I, I just it really, you really got to go, right? Like and every, was, yeah, and everybody's like, yo, I'm like, yo, I gotta go. I'm, I like ran, I ran over to the to, to the yeah, yeah. to the deli. They had a deli near there the, where we was at. Yeah. And I ran over there. Like, Where's he going? It's like, yo, I had to go to the. <laughs> and we go. had just I, that's why I got up and I ate some fruit and I drunk some coffee. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a cold combination cold. right there, too. Well, fruit and coffee, fruit and coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, fiber. Yeah, yeah. I, I was like, Ooh. yeah, that's a cold combination. I got to the, got to the spot, and it was like, it was over, yo. The skin, right, of, the, the skin from the fruits will tear your walls down, yeah, which man. is a good thing. They're pulling yeah, the out all of that stuff. Coffee. Some yeah. people don't like going to the bathroom, man. Uh, going to the bathroom is a healthy thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, getting yeah, out yeah. all of poison that you yeah, that inhale, right? That's what happened. It all came out. You know what I mean? It's good. Like, then you can walk around and... Yeah, that was good after that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gonna do that, man? I have to. Right. <laughs> <Stop that. laughs> Shout out to Unc West, man, for coming through again. Word making up, it yo. exciting and crazy, yeah. man. Say that my, my son is Afro-American. You said, who said what? what? Yeah, who said that? Who said yeah, he says Afro-American? That's what he said. He said, my son is Afro. You're talking that Afro-American. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like Unk, though, man. Shout out to him. Uh, I got a, yo, he got, yo, he, he, yo, he's a, uh, he's yo. a master debater, man. Yeah, he it is. is like, yes. you're a master debater. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, he, hands and out. So, all the way live. So, who he couldn't, all the way live. To, to who he couldn't, couldn't use, the, couldn't use his tactics against, against Unk, though. No, to who he got a style, He got a style, he got a style. see, and nobody really seen. Yeah. But, but, it, like, like you said, he waited to the end, yo. <laughs> he just wait, waits to the end. And yeah, he it's does. Like he crazy. does. <laughs> he waits to the end. Yep. Oh, um, yeah. Shout out to Ngozi and everybody who's uh, been supporting. Every, everybody, shout out to, let me say this once again, shout out to the greatest chat room on the internet. Thanks, and I'm not yeah. saying that, just I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really, the questions that you ask, Everybody, whether it's Hebrew, Israelite, whether it's Kemetic, whether it's 5%, whether it's Nation of Islam, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just like one big ball on there, man. (laughs) And everybody, whether it's science, biology, Mm -hmm. they was on here on biology, just dropping joints. Mm -hmm. Even if I have to remember like a verse or a rhyme or Mm -hmm. or just something like that, they know. And just songs that I I forgot about, you know what I mean? That's in the data in the in the database in the database, mm-hmm. and uh, somebody from the chat room will pull it up, man. Either Rocketeers or the Westland. Great news, me and um, me and Dave Flores, just ah, I forgot to do something with me. We just finished finished another ill video. Thanks. Oh, yeah. which, which one uh, did you do? Facts. I can't tell y'all yet because it's, it's for what album though? Huh? Lord Son? Nope. Oh, the, um, Nobody knows about this. Well, we just finished about it, but we got something for Lord Son. I'm, I'm gonna do a, a straight up video. Oh, okay. And shout out to my man Bob. Who gonna do the video? Got some dude, people. Dude, yo, yo, got your guy yeah, take too long. Man. He, he went up to the hills. Out, I never seen him again. <laughs> you like that guy? I don't, know, I don't know where he at. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He vanished. I was like, yo, he show. He came over the house and showed me this drone that he just brought. I was like, all right, I'm going to use that for Priest video. Yeah. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after that, I haven't seen him in like a month. Yeah, he was, he was, was gone. He was gone. Oh, I knew that man. when we was walking, he started like fading a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we was walking, he looked like he got smaller and smaller. He started like, I'm, I'm vanishing yeah. to vapors. Well, you got, like, was he really there? 
I don't know. Which song you doing? Which song you gonna do for Lord's Son, y'all? No. You already know. You gotta, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You gotta do it. I um, got one. I got a secret not, thing. Not, 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 not the um. What we doing? Listen, I'm gonna I'm get on what's the name soon because we we're trying to do this cartoon, straight up, and we're trying to do a movie, cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Um, before be I go to RZA, talk to him. I'm I'm gonna put together this thing by myself and uh, just mm-hmm. do this. We, you know, we all intelligent minds, mm-hmm. and um, the Patreon. <laughs> The Patreon, that's going good, and uh, we got we're gonna upload one another one later on, brand new, new new video. Yeah, and okay. I'm gonna show them vid- visuals. Okay. Man, Coach Kendak can talk about. I'm gonna show videos, and and take y'all and there's gonna be levels into the Patreon. Yeah, so so sign up to the Patreon because there's gonna be levels that y'all can get on on in in that. So there's gonna be different type of things. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all, and y'all gonna hear that no one else. I'll see. Right, right, right. Process of creation. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And um how it comes. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But the process of creation, you know, mixture. You know with air, mm-hmm. you get type of information from the um yeah. from air and stuff like that. All right. Somebody said Min Kepra on talking reminds me of Whack One Hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Whack one hundred or what's the name? Well, I mean, that's kinda of funny you say that, but Lee's Lee's unk got some information, you know what yeah. I mean? Whack, yeah. whack, not no dis, no disrespect to whack, but you know whack is an OG. He, Fact. I don't know if he know the same information as unk. <laughs> Probably talking about their style. Happy. Oh, oh, like that way they talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's like a gangster with knowledge. Yeah. But well, the way he throw it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But just cool. But that's good though. It's all it's yeah, all I mean, it's all know, about unk, growth at the end of the unk day. Unk old head, but he good though. Yeah. Okay, I don't, I did, that old head sound. When people say, "Yo, you are old head," and that started in Philly, right? That's, that's Philly. That's Philly yeah, slang. It sounds like you. I don't know. It sounds like just, just like you are some type of. When you say old head, I think of an old onion. A old like a yeah, like <laughs> just <laughs> bad. It's just, yeah, it's, it's, it was it's a just, cartoon just, character that, that old head sound like yeah, you do drugs. It's just, it's yeah. just Philly. It's just Philly it's slang. Philly slang. It's Philly slang. Philly it's slang. A, it's a head. nasty name, man. <laughs> oh, you. What's up, old head? It's not like <laughs> uh, <laughs> old head. Why his whole body not can't be old? There you go. It's an old you know, head, it's a sound like an old it's a fruit hey, old, or something. Old head of lettuce. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like an old head. Yeah. Yo, but anyway, shout out to everybody. I can see that. Um, my eyes are red. Um, yo, this book once again. This is by my man, Doctor Josh Bowen. I got, I got three more coming. Wow. And um, y'all can check it out. Uh, it's called the Atheist Handbook to the Old Testament. Uh, check it out. Uh, in the back of it, read something. And, and my man uh, Carfield has a has a has a. Uh, he's going to come on too. Okay. Who we said we get on Wednesday? J- Chuck Morgan's coming Wednesday. Chuck Morgan. Mm-hmm. So Garfield, we have to yeah. talk about the slot time, and um, Chuck Morgan, and we're going to talk about some real good stuff. And um, I just enjoyed today. The day was uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. fascinating. For that, before I let go. AD land the plane. Let, no, oh, land the rocket. Huh? Uh, make sure yeah. you subscribe yeah. to my YouTube page. Oh, Rasul Law the- Seven Podcast. I'm Sorry. almost up to a hundred subscribers. Trying to get a hundred. So lonely at the top. What yeah. you talk about on your podcast? I haven't started it yet. We're gonna we're going we're going we're gonna get into it. We're gonna yeah. talk about everything. Yeah. It's gonna be in, in you know I got you. I, I got. Hear oh well, you, you know on my platform to on my yeah. platform it's gonna, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. You know, cause you're not guys not gonna you're not gonna it? be able to you're not gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to uh, Let's play tell me what up. to do. Nah, 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 ain't really nothing up there. No, we can play the be, trailer. We can play the trailer. Come through, I can come through and be like, yo, Rasu play the trailer. Play the trailer right there, cause that one that one shouldn't. Yeah, the one that has uh, two hundred views. That's how it's gonna look. If you wanna check it out. The path form. This is the, the path, path form. form. This is the path form. Yo, I practice street mathematics from gold tablets, mm-hmm. stick of geometry like. But yo, this is Rasul Law 7 from the Lost Children of Babylon. You have now entered LCOB TV, coming to a podcast near you. <laughs> that was it. Let's go. Fast. It was real fast. <laughs> No, it was like, it was like, yo, it was like, it was like, it was like, I had to, cut, I had to put something up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, wasn't yeah. even with a microphone either, so. 
It yeah. sounded like I was. But it looked like it looked like the mic was there. You just it was like, it was there. It was there, but we couldn't so, and we couldn't fix the mic. So I was like, all right, well, fuck it, just shoot it like this. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. it's yeah. gonna so. be it's gonna be off the hook. Yeah, yeah, we Better going. To, we going yeah, we, we, right. still, we gonna have Tahuti on there too. Damn yeah. sure. Oh yeah, I'm sure. bringing them on my show. It's gonna be the <laughs> battle. It's gonna be the battle of the centuries on there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Shout out to the fact he knows who's over here laughing. Ooh, ooh, he ooh. All face. Oh, you talking about? Oh, yeah. Shout out to big. Uh, shout out to Tori in the yeah, house, Tori, man. Yeah. Tori, she's Tori, not a Tori, fan. Yeah. She's not a fan of uh, Rasul. So. It's all good. Yeah, all I don't, even know, why. I don't even know why she. Because you was the, you was so quick. I don't quick. even know why. No, because I you. Know. I don't know what she's laughing at. Because you went so fast on there. I thought she, you probably thought you were gonna be a little longer. Oh, but nah. Usually when you like try to get through. I, I had to throw something together, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was something I had to throw it together. It's dope, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You just take your time, and you got to do it. You know, walk them down slow. It's like you was in there. Like, come on no to the podcast. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you know, we gonna, Tori's we in here. We got to have a little bit more fun. <laughs> she said, Lord have mercy. <laughs> yo, Tori, yo, listen, man. This is, yo, this is crazy. Um, somebody said, fight talk. No, that's only with Tahuti here. Tahuti's here with you? Oh, You're yeah. Rap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't come on the show. I don't want to even be here. All right. That cat is here, man. <laughs> yeah, Tahuti declined I respectfully. Him. All right. Listen, man, yeah, it's been great. Peace, peace to Tori. It's Jody's birthday today. Jody? Yeah. <laughs> what y'all say? Throw them together. Get out of here, yo. Oh, you know, don't watch it then. <laughs> uh, yo, oh man, this is hilarious. Yo, this is great. Yo, thank y'all for coming through. AD, you can land in the plane, the rocket. Why does it keep saying plane? It's after, um. Because you said that on the rap. Before we the plane, we the yeah, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yorks. <laughs> the York, the Yorkies. 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 Yeah. Yorkie versus the Yorkie. All right. So we will be back on Monday with who? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's people. <laughs> it's people. All, All right. right. We'll be back on So we'll on see you guys on Monday. Snake man to hoodie with the scrolls of the papyrus It's how that man is beautiful Take a look at that smile on his owl Can see in the darkness light in your rays The razor, the energy, the net hit Two serpents, kundalini, which is what makes you kind The essence, what makes them the hesed Berehe, genesis, the essence My mistress, a sedis Kemet is where we get the metro net is in the letters Got a fetish for heavy metal, so I wear it on my necklace Reckless, driving in a Lexus through the wreckage Decipher, the world in one second, I'll make sense of it I I guarantee you see me, my knowledge, you'll be impressed with it. Hey, do you need to smile more? The minute that you frown, you're gonna get playfully hugged and wrestle down to the floor. Preach that it's okay to cry, roll around, let it pour. You're on a pedestal, let it flow from a thousand lotus petals. Of course, the earth is flat, each disc overlaps, it makes the flower look like. So let's all just relax. Each planet's a platonic solid, the mind's a Rubik's Cube, the sun's a sphere, we get incarnated through the moon. Stars are two pyramids, which make diamonds in the sky. Hypothalamus, eye of minds, mama's enzymes, that plan from the wide frame. My perception is an oblique hypercube You're my guy, you're my dude, priest Of course I sign with you Five-dimensional poly toe Me and priest and holy robes and simplex With a vertex that make a new simplex Up to infinity And the right connectivity and symmetry I'll be kind to you I had a great musician tell me once that If you're a great musician mm -hmm. It could have been any instrument mm -hmm. If the feel is in the head so if you took piano or trumpet or whatever, you would have been a great musician. Well, I don't know. I can't call myself great. I'm, I'm, I'm trying and trying, and I'm a student of music, and I'm always working on it. And I feel like I've just scratched the surface of this infinite thing of music.